Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. Oh, yeah, I can kill this now, actually. <laughs> what am I doing? Silly Fu-chan. Turn that off and turn this on. But good morning, everybody. Sorry I was a bit late. I was... <laughs> typing up a storm my yapping doesn't just start when it comes to streams and talking my yapping also goes endlessly now on twitter now that i'm allowed to post long 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 things but good morning everybody <laughs> we have a new schedule up for the week it is full of some of the things oh we're going to see the opening movie too which I've been told I will not get in trouble for showing, so it should be fine. <laughs> We've got a new schedule for the week, which I'm excited about, but we'll talk about that in a second. First, we'll talk about this. I begged for the rights to play this game for ages <laughs> when it was first like announced to be coming out to the West. Um, they finally gave me the rights like uh, a month ago. <laughs> so we've had like the rights to play this game for a bit. I'm really excited to do it. I've always loved Rune Factory in the past. Three and four were two of my favorites. Five, I've heard, is not as good as the last two, but still entertaining. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. Um, one of the first questions I have to ask you guys is like, do we go for the guy or the girl character? <laughs> From what I've heard, there's no locking between like genders when it comes to like partners. Oh, look at the little confidant. <laughs> um, but yeah, the girl looks better designed to me. Normally, I would just naturally go for the guy because like obviously it was more fitting for me. But the girl just has a better design in my opinion in this one. So I don't know. What do you guys think is better? The more fitting one of playing the guy? who looks a bit tiny and small. <laughs> or the girl who at least has like fluffier hair and stuff. Oh, sure, let's put a poll up. <laughs> the animation looks sick. Yeah, it does. Guy, girl. Which MC? Question mark, start poll. Yeah, I'll do a poll. Because I don't really mind too much which one we go for. The guy, I mean, you'll see it in a second. They show both things here. Factory five. Rune Factory 5. Oh my god, that's such a classic 90s anime dubbing voice. I love it. Oh man, it's so breathy, so airy. Anyway, um, the guy, as you can see, is very typical generic shonen, free shonen protagonist. Um, the girl, on the other hand, has like a bit more to her design. I like the floofy hair that falls down on the shoulders. Um, her outfits seem to look a bit better from what I've seen. <laughs> so yeah, up to you guys. I'm good with either one, honestly. Um, each one has that benefit. But with that said, the guy reminds me of Kagamine Len. Yeah, he definitely got that. Kind of reminds me of Wilson too. <laughs> He's got a bit of that like shonen protagonist vibe where um, just, you know, yeah, basic looking, but decent. <laughs> She's red matching with you. Uh, it's more of a pink, but thank you. With that said, let me also show you the schedule while you guys are voting on that. We'll go through the schedule as we do most times. Wait, do I not? Oh, I'm normally on just chatting when we do. Oh, no, 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 we have it. <laughs> there we go. We've got a new schedule for the week. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. Um, ba -ba -bum. But yeah, the artwork is me as Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher 3 specifically. It looks fine AF. Breto. Holy crap. <laughs> this made me want to play the game immediately. Because, man, The Witcher 3 is definitely on my list of games that we will be playing someday. I think it'll be more of a Shepherd game than an Archivist game. But seeing Archivist dressed up as Geralt, oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> Sorry. Talked about the art rather than the actual schedule. <laughs> Night in the Woods, we're finally playing. It's been requested on the channel since, I think, pretty much when I debuted. It's supposed to be a really good character-driven narrative where a college dropout comes home realizes their sleepy town isn't what it seems anymore. There's some creepy shit going on and there's something hiding in the woods. And on Tuesday, we're playing Storyteller, which again has been requested quite a bit. Um, it kind of works for like the archivist feel as well. We're going to be telling stories. Apparently you use images to create like a comic book kind of story setting. Um, and then it plays it out for you and you see how terribly you did and how much you've ruined the people's lives. It should be fun. <laughs> Then we're taking Wednesday and Thursday off because I've got to set up like a lot of stuff for my... Well, it's not even like it's a lot of stuff. It's just a lot of things to deal with when it comes to other people, when it comes to my birthday Totsumachi karaoke and getting like permissions for the right kinds of things. So yeah, I'm taking those two days off to work on some stuff. 
and yeah, do some other things that I have to really work on now that I'm finally done with White Day. Then, <laughs> Friday, we're finally starting Poppy Playtime. Um, this is another one that people have been asking for a lot. It overly won the poll when I asked, like, which game series should I play for, like, a longer series? We're going to start with number one and two. Um, so, yeah, we're going to play number one and two because one is apparently only about an hour long. Two is about three to four hours long. So, together, let's make up a food chance size stream. <laughs> and then we'll probably finish chapter three next week or the week after. Finally, on Saturday... Well, not finally... On Saturday, we're doing Archivist Advice. This is the one, like, unique stream of the week where it's going to be, like, Zatsudani. Um, this time, instead of collecting submissions on Marshmallow, we're going to be doing collecting them on Twitter. So if you want, like, any bad advice given to you from Dr. Ovid, now in Archivist version, because somebody made me an Archivist asset version of Dr. Ovid, I'm so excited to use it. <laughs> yeah, you can drop them on hashtag Archivist Advice on Twitter. And just like we did last time with Dr. Ovid, I'll be taking like some serious like questions that are genuine asking for advice questions. I'll be taking some silly ones that are very clearly jokes and like bantering with them. Um, feel free to use it as a way to like do some silly things. Last time there were people asking about <laughs> things like, oh, there is a demon in my bedroom, but I kind of want to smash it. What should I do, doctor? Shit like that. Feel free to go as silly with you as you want or as serious with it as you want. I will pick, like, as many as I feel I can actually respond to in an interesting way, whether they are genuine advice or stupid shit. <laughs> Health-related advice or any topics? Any topics. Like, I, I gave a better exploration. If you go on Twitter, I broke down, like, each one of the streams one by one, and, yeah, I explained, like, feel free to go as, like, pers don't obviously don't show share, like, doxing information or straight-up personal information, but feel free to get as, like, serious as you want or as silly as you want. How many submissions can we send? As many as you want. <laughs> like I said, I'll be going through the hashtag. The deadline is three hours before the stream. So 7 a.m. EDT on Saturday. Um, I'll collect up as many as I feel are interesting to respond to, essentially. If I think they're too personal or too deep or I won't be able to handle them in a proper way, then I won't pick them up. Or if I feel like they're too silly or they're like overtly sexual. <laughs> like you can go to a certain level of sexuality. Just, you know, if it's like something very graphic, I'm probably not going to talk about it. When's the deadline? I just mentioned that, Hell Hydra. Um, three hours before the stream starts, so 7 a.m. EDT on Saturday. Um, finally, on Sunday, we're playing Finding Paradise, which is the sequel to To the Moon. Uh, so, yeah. I'll ask on main. I'm not a coward. Oh, yeah, I should say that. I mean, I didn't put that in the Twitter post. But if you want to just use a throwaway Twitter account so it's anonymous, you can do that as well. Because that was one of the best things about Marshmallow is they were all anonymous. It's just I don't like Marshmallow right now. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, feel free to just make a brand new Twitter account. Use the hashtag and never use that Twitter account again. If you want to, like, share something that's overtly silly or overtly, I don't know, deep or personal and you just don't want it linked back to you. But yeah, that's how we do that. That's the schedule for the week. I'm excited. We've got a lot of short form games. Night in the Woods will probably be a two or three parter. Poppy Playtime, obviously, we'll finish Chapter 3 next week. Um, so we may be done with both of those next week. But either way, Storyteller and Finding Paradise will both be one-offs. And Archivist Advice is just a fun one. We've kind of done the idea before, but it was a lot of fun last time, so I wanted to do it again. Aye! So that's our schedule for the week. Thank you guys for letting me go through that. <laughs> what I figured was we... Um, I haven't opened... Well, I am technically sitting in the Totsumachi right now. Oh, uh, well, uh, but I haven't posted about it yet. <laughs> so right now, I feel like if anybody sees me here, they're not going to join anyway. They're just going to be like, what the hell is Fuchan doing? Um, but yeah, nobody may join, but I figured we'd start like a new game for Rune Factory 5, get through like the very intro, and then I'll go ahead and um, post about the fact that I'm sitting here and anyone can join. Um, people may join before that, or people may not join at all today. Either way is fine. I've been looking forward to Rune Factory 5, so even if this turns into just, like, a solo Rune Factory 5 stream, I'm happy. <laughs> but yeah, we're trying the new, like, uh, an open archive thing, where if people do join, we may just chat for a bit while I play the game, or we may switch over and play another group game if other people show up that are interested in doing that. Why did the poll, right when I'm ready to end it, happen to get from 51% down to 50%? <laughs> Don't make me choose, guys. I <laughs> I don't mind which one, but at the same time, uh, God, it's so close. It's 50-50 again. Yeah, it really is. I mean, if I end the poll, okay, it suddenly shot up by like another 100 votes. Maybe that, no, it's still staying on 
Oh, God. Please vote with your heart if you haven't already. There is a poll up in the stream and you need to save me from this. As soon as one hits 51%. Ah, ending. Ending, ending, ending. No, it went back to 50. 50. 51. 51. Okay, ended. Girl, 51%. Although it, it lied and said it ended on 50%, 49%. But that's not how numbers work. <laughs> okay, we're going to be playing as the girl for Rune Factory 5. Thank you for being the tiebreakers, whoever like split that right at the end. Man. The girl pulled ahead for a bit early on, but then the guy really came back. Holy crap. And then right at the end, a bunch of people voted girl just to split the vote. <laughs> the panic in your voice? Yeah, because I was like, I was literally in the middle of a sentence just being like, I'll end it whenever he hits 51. And then it hit 51. And I was like, oh, I ended it. And then before I could click on it, it went back to 50. And I was like, no. <laughs> but then it went back up to 51. Okay, let's start a new game. I've also noticed from the beginning video, I oh, will talk about them when we actually run into them. But there's a character in this game who basically looks like a young girl version of Door. Like Daddy, Daddy Door. So I think we're going to call them Door to Door to Door. <laughs> Which version are you play on PC or Switch? I'm got the, I got this on the Switch. Because I actually got this for myself when it didn't look like we were going to get permissions for it. I was like, I'll play this when I want to relax and have some fun times. And then I just, yeah, never had time. <laughs> so this is my first time playing it. But I got it on Switch just so it was like portable, able to be able to take it away with me whenever I want to bring it to bed and stuff like that. Seed points represents how many people trust you as a ranger in numerical form. Always nice to know. <laughs> how low do you think mine would be like in real life? Everybody talks about how I lie as easy as I breathe and the fact that I'm good at games like Among Us, social deduction and lying games. So I think mine would be pretty low. Daughter? Oh, that's adorable. The Kingdom of Norad, a forest something something. Wow, that passed out pretty quickly, actually. They expect you to be able to read fast in this game, but it's such an adorable game for... Oh, she's so tiny. Oh, crap. I should have done a poll for that, too, about using English or Japanese voices. But I guess we're stuck on the English ones. <laughs> well, that was an interesting cutscene. <laughs> she's cute. Yeah, she's tiny. She reminds me of not Rika, but Rika's invisible friend in Higurashi no Nakukurone. A scream. Ah! It's a girl. I have to help her. Also, I know I'm playing as a girl. I'm not going to be doing any video voice throughout this whole game. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm keeping my normal voice. Now's my chance to be a hero. It's time to become a heroine. Yep, okay. You're just the right woman in the wrong place. Continue as a female character? Choose no to reselect. You'd think they'd show you your looks at this point. Hell yeah. I'm not going to be helping anyone. I just got knocked the fuck out, apparently. <laughs> <sighs> Must have blacked out. What happened? I can't remember anything. What she said. <laughs> the girl's in trouble. Oh, sweet. It's voiced. I don't even have to do anything. I'm used to them voicing other characters, but not the main character. <gasps> Confidants! What are you doing to the poor baby girl? Also, this music's a bop. A monster? Wait right there. I'll protect you. Yeah, be so afraid of the tiny woolly creature. <laughs> Ooh. First, I need to equip a weapon. I'll open the L pocket with the L button. Then I can select my broadsword and press the Y button to equip it. All set. Now I just need to close in on the enemy and press the B button to attack. Even if I lose sight of them. You can always use the right stick to look around and figure out where they went. <laughs> we kind of big though. You guys are kind of big. You're not going to lie. It's like a sheep and a bunny mixed together. Yeah, it's kind of adorable. It's got the giant ears. Other than that, it's like, well, it's also up on two legs. <laughs> Whatever you call sheep feces. <laughs> What if I didn't, though? What if I hide behind the girl? Save me! Uh, help! Fine. Unless... Okay, you live today. 
Oh, look at him taking his little steps. Why do humans think every animal is aggressive? I know, right? Maybe he's friend. His name's Wooly. <laughs> Confidants don't even know how to protect themselves. Get out of here! No, don't even let it land. <laughs> All right, let's do this. We're harmless, and now you're delicious meat. <laughs> We're innocent. You scared the little girl. That's on you guys. Are you all right? Look out. Uh, so they pick and choose which voice lines they actually voice. Interesting. Not so fast. Okay, real fight time. Two of them. I wonder which one I should focus on first. Times like this, I can press the right stick to lock onto an enemy. And I can move the right stick to switch between different targets. I use the R button to dash out of the way of enemy attacks. Let's go! That is... <laughs> a very simple dash. I was expecting like a roll or something. Yeah! Get behind it! This is actually pretty good action RPG mechanics. I, I heard people like really not liking the fighting in this. I was expecting worse, but no, it's gone pretty good. It's not... <clears throat> Either way, we need to get out of here. Come on. Oh, shit. I really am badly injured. <laughs> the tiny girl is carrying me now. <laughs> Hello here, Fu-chan. Hello. It's not our fault she's a scaredy cat. True. But you still got to be punished for scaring a tiny baby. Wouldn't expect monster hunter action from this. Honestly, <laughs> it's pretty good so far. It's got a dodge roll. The attack combos are pretty good. Older Rune Factory is a bit laggy. Yeah. And I mean, on the Switch, it's a bit less optimized than on PC, to be fair. But so far, it's so good. <laughs> I've only tried out the sword so far. I know I used to like using the fisty kind of weapons in Rune Factories because they were fast. Every journey begins with a single step. Why? Okay, I need to... We definitely need to go into audio settings after this. Before anything else, I'm going to start a poll. Do you guys want me to change the language to Japanese? You can do it, Priscilla. <laughs> heck? The heck? Huh? Um, Japanese or English? Which name? Yeah. The language should be late in. Thank goodness. A town! Almost there. Oh, the wine. Ah. <laughs> She's never going to get to leave the town, this poor girl. But also, why was she leaving at sunset? Oh, at the beginning of the day. I'm going to run into some dangerous shit. Um, yeah, personally, I don't actually mind nowadays between Japanese and English either, because both have their benefits. When it's English, at least it's the same language I'm speaking in, so more people can generally understand it. And I know some people use these streams to try and practice their English listening. Um, but in general... I tend to prefer, like, Japanese voice acting just because it tends to be more natural to me as a huge fucking otaku anime nerd fan. Watch us 50-50 this vote. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing. I know there are a lot of people who watch these streams who, like, don't really pay attention to the visuals and just kind of listen to the audio, so that could help with people with English as well. Isn't fully voiced either? Okay, that's good as well, because I want to be able to do some voice acting. <laughs> <sighs> Wow. Maiden full already. Aya would be so jealous. <laughs> the decision will always be up to you. I just like to hear people's opinions too, though. 50-50 already? Yeah, well, now it's 52. Oh, they switched to 2D when they're actually speaking. Oh, then I am in the wrong location. I'm going to be blocking people. Um, Maybe I'll have to be... down here, so I'm just where the two Xbox is without blocking anything. Yes. Then I'm not in front of faces, at least. I'll go get my mom. Yo! Indeed, sir. Say it louder. Holy shit. Booba for days. Those angular eyebrows, the bright green eyes with the purple hair. He looks beautiful. Yeah, I am instantly in love. Wolfman popping off. God damn. I thought we just... 
showed up and howled. <laughs> no explanation either. <laughs> Munakumo, you scared Hina and Priscilla half to death. I'm sorry. Ooh. Sorry, Lucy. Heard my niece was carried in there. Oh. She's his niece. I thought she was more of a fox girl. She's a baby little wolf. Why does she have horns? Okay, she's a confusing mix. <laughs> his voice. Yeah, his voice kind of reminds me of Van Van just from the instantness. Like it's very rich, not super deep, but rich. And it's back to 50-50 again. Guys, <laughs> why are we like this? Hina, you okay, kiddo? <gasps> and he's an adorable puppy dog father figure. Oh, I did not expect that. Oh, chat's blocking him. Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to deal with that. This game seems to use the entirety of the screen, so I can't really <laughs> help it. God, he won my heart instantly. <laughs> he starts off as like a giant sexy wolf man with glaring eyes and then instantly is like, my baby girl, are you okay? <laughs> I am now, thanks to my hero. She really looks like Hanyu, was it? Rika's friend? You! Oh, this one's voiced. Yeah, I definitely need to raise the volume of the voices too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> what are you doing to my patient? Doctor-like lady? Is she though? She has the lab coat, but what else? The eye patch is so tuny and the model is very different from the 2D one. Oh my God. How much do we want to be a pain? Us making the poll 50-50. You guys, <laughs> come on, man. Oh, mom, I was just coming to get you. Well, I'm here now. They really choose which lines they voice. Strangely. Also, it's Mayor. Call me Simone. Damn, multi-talented. So how are we feeling? Experiencing any pain? Not really. Actually, I feel fine. No numbness either? Thank goodness. <laughs> it's so weird which lines they actually voice. If you don't have any difficulty speaking, then I'd like to ask a few questions. Mom detected? Yep, she doesn't look like a mom though. That's the problem. <laughs> she looks like she's like 21 at the oldest <laughs> first off what's your name and birthday um definitely a video <laughs> there's no question in that one but what's my birthday should i just go with my real birthday i mean it might have weird names for the dates as well so we'll see unconventional mom that's okay yeah nothing wrong with it just kind of surprising confirm Enter your birthday. Yeah, so March the third month. Oh, these are seasons. Oh. Oh. How do I? Uh. Uh. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just go spring 26 because it has the sheep on it. We'll pretend this is March. Apparently each season is a month in this game. That's, did they always do that? I do not remember that. English is winning to 52%. Okay, so we might stay on English. Yes, 26. Mom. Monday. Oh, okay. I was like, what does the M mean? <laughs> sheep season. Yeah, let's go. Usually just four seasons and dates for these styles of games. Strange. I did not remember that at all. Oh, I'm thinking of Fire Emblem where they have like all the real months, but it's just like they're named different months. Pretty sure my name's Avidia. My birthday is spring the 26th, I think. Ooh, I didn't know she has floating runes around her arm. That's kind of sick. And your hometown? Where are you from? Well, I, uh, she's clearly lost her memory. She didn't even know her name for sure. <laughs> Season of the Sheeps? Hell yeah! Reminds me of Volcano Princess. I'm really sorry. I get where you're coming from with that, from like the art style and stuff, and the little baby girls. But yeah, I don't think it'll play much like Volcano Princess. I'm sorry, I can't remember. The usual Rune Factory amnesia. Yeah, I mean, can't just show up in a town at age 26 and just expect people to trust you. <laughs> you appear to be suffering from memory loss. 
This is madness, really? <laughs> I'm afraid the symptoms point to a case of amnesia. Yes. That doesn't sound good. Hey. I'm afraid not. Amnesia's no joke. God, I love his war paint as well. It matches the beard. God damn. I've never met anyone with amnesia before. What should I do? Isn't there anything we can do? Oh, she's such a baby. I bet she's going to turn out to be a badass tank or something when we get her into a dungeon. Everyone's getting worked up over me. What to do? I should leave before I cause any more trouble. Thanks for your concern, but... I'm okay, really. I'd better be on my way now. Convenient amnesia. <laughs> hey, as long as it makes it more okay for instantly to start flirting with everything and everything in the town. That's all that matters. <laughs> I am popular as shit. Also, he did not sound like Van Van after all. It was just the howl. The howl he sounded a bit like Van Van, but now he sounds so much more light voiced. <laughs> so much more high pitched. Absolutely not. Stop this nonsense. She's my patient. She'll be staying under my care. <laughs> Wolfman looks so grumpy. You just want a chance to study an amnesiac. For her own safety, of course. And for science. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're staying with the MILF who isn't really a MILF. The MILF who looks more like an Onechan. <laughs> I'm not following, like, any of this. My patient. <sighs> Ace file and compendium feelings are starting. <laughs> Don't be dense. Isn't it obvious? They're arguing over who's going to take you in. Honestly. Could you people be any more gullible? You're inviting a total stranger into your homes. And your home, so get wrecked, kid. For all you know, she's a wolf in Wooly's clothing. <laughs> awesome. No way. Avidi is a good person. <laughs> I love the English voice side of just... Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's so cute. Mm, as much as I'm inclined to agree with Hina, my daughter does raise a valid concern. Oh, I know. Lucy? Be a deer and take a video to the field captain's office. The soul sphere doesn't lie. One scan will tell us just what kind of person she is. Huh? huh? Why me? I'm the one who raised the red flag. Because it was a death flag and now you must be dealt with. Uh, well, uh... I wouldn't mind taking you. Really? Yeah. Sure. The field captain's office is on the first floor. Okay, please let me control myself. I want to change volumes. Nope, we're still stuck in this thing. Hey. Wait up, I'm coming too. Oh, so she's a cindere. She's not just a bitch, guys. She's just a cinder. <laughs> Study me, mommy. Oh, dear God. They, they both left without me. I'm the one they're supposed to be guiding. <laughs> okay. Camera controls. Move the camera with the right stick. You can also adjust the camera speed and invert the controls. Change these settings on the options page of the camp menu. Open the camp menu by pressing the spark button. That's also what I call any menu I deal with. Saving the game. It automatically saves your progress with the autosave feature. Whenever you want to save yourself, interact with a save point and open up the camp menu. Save your progress on the save load page. Whenever you save, a hint related to advancing the game's story will pop up. Oh, that's sick, actually. That's going to be very useful. <laughs> She's protecting Priscilla, maybe. I mean, it definitely wasn't when she was just telling everyone I might be dangerous. <laughs> to be fair, that's just smart, though. Everybody else is like, come stay at my house. It'll be awesome. I, I live there with my 12-year-old daughter. It will be fine. <laughs> Wolfman is bold. Your mini-map shows the destination of the next story event. Awesome. Just need to go downstairs. But first... Ooh, menus aren't bad at all. Frame rate's nice and high. <gasps> okay, yeah. So I did see some people asking about it. Um, Rune Factory is a spin-off series of Harvest Moon. So if you know Harvest Moon or like any other kind of farming simulator, um, a lot of what you do is like you get a plot of land, you start farming things, you start growing vegetables and selling them. The big difference between Rune Factory and Harvest Moon 
is that instead of just farming, you also go into dungeons, kill monsters, tame monsters, make them your pets. You can ride around on them, you can grow them, and there's also dating sim mechanics. So as you can see, Priscilla, Lucy, and Murakamo already kind of want to fuck me. We got love hearts already. Simone and Hina, just smiley faces, but we can work on that. <laughs> Wolfman can be dated, heck yes, hell yeah. I'm going to think of it, the smiley faces may mean that they're not allowed to be dated. Which is honestly funny when it comes to Simone. Because <laughs> it's like, really? You designed that character and didn't allow me to smash. Are you sure? <laughs> no monster companions, that's okay. Art means dateable. Man, I could understand Hina, but Simone? <sighs> okay, show me the options. Oh, thank God. Okay. We're going to turn everything down to like 50 because <laughs> currently I have it on my computer down at 20% anyway. So balance that by going up like this and then voices will keep those at like 75. Ambient sounds around 50 cutscenes around 60, 70, just a bit lower than the normal voices so we can still hear them. Okay, that should be good balance, hopefully. <laughs> so many Rune Factory characters that are off limits. It's sad, man. It's sad. X speed, let's make that faster. On auto target from camera. Oh, I don't think I can even change the language now anyway. It's a good thing 53% wanted English, because it looks like you could only select that when you first start the game. So we got locked in anyway. <laughs> English, we shall stay on. Okay, can I fight? Wow, I really can just fight in town. Whoops. I'm gonna take the hell. It's my wardrobe. When did I decide I was living in this room? This should be the patient room, but okay. Let's change clothes. Who should get changed? Oh, you could change companions too? That's sick. I've got normal outfit. What's my casual wear? Boring. Terrible. A video, what are you doing? Um, change clothes. Nice arc on that sword swing. Hell yeah. Nice and horizontal. Oh yeah, I also got the all the DLC because I bought the special edition when it first came out. Um, so I've got, like, I think I've unlocked some things as well because I have a Rune Factory 4 special save slate. Uh, Clarica's outfit. No. <laughs> no immediately. Oh god. Um, should I get changed? Yes, please. Anything but this. Uh, Forte's outfit. Oh! Hells yes! That's more like, I remember Forte now, actually. She was fun. She was a good little warrior girl. That looks sick! Okay, let's see what the other ones are, but we might stick with that. If only I could change it to red and black rather than blue. Oh, man. Cute? Yeah, I look like a warrior already now. Uh, Margaret's outfit. That's cute, but it's not for me. Ooh. The horns, though. <laughs> the little dragon horns at the top? Ah, uh, if only you could combine bits and pieces. Saber, is that you? <laughs> Hell yeah. My type of woman. Chest plates and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Xiao Pai's outfit. I remember Xiao Pai. That's actually a good look too. <gasps> it gives me a fucking tail. Oh, it's actually part of the belt. But it looks like a tail. Attention to detail actually showing that it actually just attaches to the belt as well. That's a cute outfit, though. It's not as good as the warrior one, though. It's Forte's. Do, 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 do. But yeah, cute. I'm glad we have all these things. <laughs> I didn't realize there would be so many. God damn. Shall I? Amber. How many more? Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Amber. And we've got Dolce. We can literally be female. <laughs> Pio Chan. Aw, that one's cute. It's just a nice option to be able to change into in the future. Tail swishes? Exactly. Wait, 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 what, what happened there? Oh, uh, weird. I think I interacted with something other than the wardrobe. <laughs> Looks like Rose and me. A little bit, actually. You know what? You're not wrong. Dolce! Kind of cute. Kind of tuny. I remember Dolce now, actually. <laughs> yep, very tuny. <laughs> so many outfits. Yes. Only just begun the game, but we're already doing the end game. What do we look like? Pico's outfit. <gasps> oh, that's kind of adorable. I do not remember Pico. Kind of reminds me of Magalu from Tales of Berseria. Very jestery. I'm a fan. 
That's so cute. Yeah. Still nothing's defeated like the warrior woman forte look just yet. But pretty damn adorable. Okay, final one. Sonya. Oh, yeah, I remember Sonya too. <laughs> Sonya was adorable. This, this outfit ain't for me. I'm going with Forte. <laughs> Forte's outfit is just so badass. Ought to be Warrior Woman there. There we go. Yeah, I know, Lucy. Give me a damn second. Oh, I look so sick. Fuck yeah. I'm ready to go kick some ass. Okay, what do you want, Lucy? Field captain's office is down the stairs and to your right. Come on now, no dawdling. Wonder what the male outfits look like now. Gotta be honest with you, not as good. <laughs> I've played a lot of Rune Factory games. I love a lot of Rune Factory games. Um, ugh, never normally as well designed as the female ones. <laughs> The field captain's office is right through that door. Okay. I don't know why you had an explanation mark. That was barely useful. Looks like Lucy was reading a book. Did she just stop halfway through? Okay. Let's just move on. <laughs> field captain. Oh, Vidya, before you leave, I thought you said he was right through the... Which door? Stop telling me this door and point at it. Huh? What's this box? And why does it have a face? A box? How rude. Whoa. Did this box just talk? I told you already, I'm not a box. Despite my appearance, I do in fact have a name. Saint Elijah. Call me Elijah for short. No, you're a box. Oh, don't worry about it. If you follow my instructions, then we should get along just fine. Now that I think about it, you could actually hear me. At first glance, you don't look too dependable. But I can see that you have potential. I do? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just talking to myself. You can change the game's difficulty level here. You have three options. Easy, normal, and hard. You're currently playing on normal. We'll keep normal for now. We'll go to hard if we need to. Oh, we'll go to easy if we need to. Who knows? <laughs> if you'd like to give it a whirl, look at the first directive request to the task board. Task board. I can't interact with it. <laughs> Which door? Okay, I'm going to... This is your field, Captain? She's so tiny! <laughs> she has to stand up on the chair! <laughs> Captain Livia, oh! Excuse us, Captain Livia? Hmm? Oh, if it isn't Priscilla, something's up? She's a baby? Yeah, <laughs> she's tiny! <laughs> she's the captain for the town, that's adorable. You come to register a video with the Soul Sphere. I like her braided hair, too. Oh my god, she's so tiny. <laughs> Even in the game artwork spray, she's just so short. A video? Yeah, this one. Ah, but this she's one. Finally awake. Oh, good. She's fully voiced. That's a child? Yes, it is. Um... There we go. <laughs> this child is the field captain? Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. She runs the silo. Seeds Rigbarth Outpost. Who's Rigbarth? What's a seed? Oh, let me tell you all about the seed. We know so much about the seed. First, they were created by Adea, who eventually went on to become the sorceress, who also is the sorceress, but their directive is to kill the sorceress. Anyway. Honestly. Can you at least try to keep up? Why are you... That's not even Sundere. I, this is my first time in this town. Why are you... Ugh. By seed, an organization dedicated to protecting people. These voices are still not loud enough. Damn it. And the building you're standing in is Rigbarth Outpost, which is also known as the Silo. The clothes you were wearing. Why does this not get voiced? Where why do they stop in the middle of explanations? The clothes you were wearing were all torn up, so we took the liberty of lending you a seed uniform. Who undressed me? Was it Wolf Uncle? Or was it someone else? I have questions. Got it? <laughs> Got it memorized? Hell yeah, I do. Once more, no, please never talk to me again. I don't like Lucy. Thanks for filling me in. You didn't have to do it in such a damn rude way, though. No need to thank me. And then she blushes. No, no, you don't get to do this. You can't be that soon. <laughs> so, where did you come from? What brings you 
to our peculiar little slice of the frontier. I'm, I actually have to move out of her way because she's so tiny. <laughs> Sorry, she's very amusing to me. I actually really like her design as well. I like like the half sleepy eyes. I love how her voice is so mature compared to her tiny body. She kind of, she's just adorable. It's just so funny that every other character I was like, I'll move myself down so I'm not in the way. Livia, on the other hand. <laughs> Honestly, I can't remember. And that means what exactly? I, I literally, I can't rem Huh? She supposedly has amnesia. That's why we'd like you to run a soul sphere check. Hmm, I see. Okay. So I just touched the glowy orb. I would like to ponder the orb. Ooh, a crown. Can I wear that? I'll be your queen. In that case, hold out your hand toward the crystal. Okay, but first... <laughs> Turned out I did not change these volumes nearly enough. Voices all the way up to 100. Cutscenes all the way up to 100. EGM? Uh, like 65. The sound effects should probably go up a bit as well. And ambient sounds. There we go. Let's try that. Talk to me, pink haired girl. She didn't say shit. <laughs> that huge crystal is the soul sphere. Doesn't it shine so beautifully? For fuck's sake. Okay, I'll just... Maybe the cutscene will do something. <laughs> this thing? Ooh, that's such a classic... Uh, not even BGM sound effect. You okay, Avidia? You look like you just... I don't know. Got possessed a little bit. What's happening? These runes are nearly out of control. That can only mean one thing. Enough! Get away! Um, right. That was a surprise. Who or what are you, she says while smiling so gently. <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. I bet I'm a dragon or some shit in this game. What gives, Field Captain? That was not a normal reading. Normally the soul sphere only gives off a faint glow, right? Ma'am? Huh? Okay, good. The voices seem like they're at the right volume now. Thank God. Hmm? At ease, you two. This one is no threat. Yes, right. In fact... No, never mind. The important thing is that nothing suspicious came up on the soul sphere. A video is squeaky clean. Yeah, I'm some sort of, like, god avatar or some shit. <laughs> the voice is louder. Yeah, I turned it up. It seems to be working pretty good now. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, thank goodness. It, yep. I feel relieved. You're not going to kill me anymore, right? I'm not going to lie. I'm way out of my depth here. For starters, what's a soul sphere? The soul sphere is, um, you know. Um, what is it? <laughs> um, my mom told me it quantifies the inner light of a living spirit. Whatever that means. Offer your hand and it'll reveal a lot about who you are. Right, Captain Livia? Yeah, that about sums it up. More importantly, Ovidia. If you don't have anywhere else to go, then I have some work for you. Who said I want to do work? <laughs> Our only active ranger is away at Seed Headquarters. So we're a little understaffed. I took a real quick turn from everybody wanting me to stay at their houses and have a nice rest to, hey... If you're gonna stay here, you better work for us. As a ranger, no less. They want me to go kill shit. <laughs> that's putting it lightly. They're so shorthanded, we had to work overtime. And that's just volunteers. Well? Interested? The job comes with free room and board. I don't know. Fending off a monster or two is one thing, but protecting a whole town? That's a lot. Ah, oh, baby boy. <laughs> that voice. Holy shit. That kind of reminds me of Machina X Flayon, actually. <laughs> you want a roof over your head? You got to work. Exactly. Soul Sphere is just a BuzzFeed quiz. As <laughs> long as it works, man. It told them I wasn't evil. That's good enough for me. 
What is it, Cecile? There's a mystery afoot, Captain Livia. It sounds so much like him. Holy crap. Granny Yuki spectacles have been spirited away. I cannot do a, a Flay on um, impression. I'm sorry. Dude has an incredible voice and incredible vocal range and skill as a voice actor. I cannot hear any of those notes. Yeah. She nyas. Come on, dude. Yeah, she lost her glasses again. I bet she's hiding cat ears under that hat. She does look like a tiny little cat girl. It's not that. No, ma'am. They vanished into thin air. It's a serious incident. Jeez. Okay, okay. This one's all yours, Lucy. Huh? Me again? Come on, Lucy, hurry. We need to investigate the scene before it's compromised. <laughs> Voice actually suits him. Yeah, he's adorable. He's tidy. Collab Wenfu. I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. I like Fleon's work. I know he's watched a couple of my streams when it comes to Fata Morgana, but we've never actually talked outside of that. I have never talked to basically anybody outside of Niji Sanji and, and a couple of indies. Of all the lousy... But he's an incredible streamer, so I'm glad a lot of other people here recognize his name too. He's great. That sounded serious. Strange things always happen when Cecile Boy Detective is around. Of course he's a boy detective. He looks like a Robin. <laughs> That's what qualifies as a mystery out in the sticks. We're just a sleepy hamlet where nothing happens. As soon as your memory returns, you can pack up and go. But for now, we need all the help we can get. You know what? All right. I wanted to be a hero anyway. I immediately thought it's time to murder shit. This sounds good. <laughs> yes. When you put it that way, sign me up. Ah. Excellent. Welcome to the team. Take off your hat, cat girl. I know your secret. Now then, let's put you to work. Priscilla, take our new recruit out back for some field huh? training. My field? Do you mean... Agricultural. Seed is a self-sufficient organization. You'll just start in the field. After that, the only thing limiting what you could do is my imagination. It's literal field work. That's actually kind of funny. Is there any chance of further Rune Factory streams? Yeah, I'm probably going to play this every time I do an open archive from now on for, for a while at least. Um, the plan is for this to just be like, yeah, a Zatsudan. It's going to like take over Zelda Zatsudan's kind of feeling. But we just like, I mean, this is like an 80 hour or something game. And that's if you're just playing it by yourself. Let alone me who rambles and goes all over the place and silly things. Rune Factory 4, please? No. <laughs> I've already talked about the fact that right before I joined Niji Sanji, I did like a full run through of that. That's why I have so many extra costumes in this game. I love Rune Factory 4, but I'm trying a new one. I don't want to play a game I've already played before. Let's but now. Go. Okay, then. Well. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh. oh. Hey, Aya. I didn't know your sound was also the... <laughs> I just woke up, hello. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? How long have you been streaming? Oh, not long. Just like an hour. We're just getting into Rune Factory. We're just trying it out for the first time. How you doing? I just woke up. Hello. Oh. Hey, yo. Let me, let me get 15 more minutes, then I'll pick up my retainer and come back. No worries. Take your time. There's no rush. I'm probably going to be playing for like five hours today. So even if you don't want to come back for like 40 minutes, an hour, two hours, I'll still be here. Take your time. Have a good start to the morning. I'm just grabbing like uh, Fugies now as well because I forgot to set those up. But yeah, thank you for joining for a little bit. I'll see you in a bit. But yeah, don't rush. Take your time. Have a good start to the day. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for swinging by. Love you, Futon. Love you too, Ayaya. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, bye bye. Oh. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god, she was so dead. Okay, I'm sorry. You're gonna go to the abyss for a second. Uh, this is my asset um thing. I'm just gonna grab a few fugies for in case people join while we're playing, so that I can just add their fugies on the fly. Um, a smarter streamer would have done this before he started. But I am Fucha. <laughs> and I forgot to do that. So yeah, I'm already going to get Ayaya's Fugi ready. Crap. Um, I can't so I copied the wrong thing. Oh, I can't get Ayaya's ready yet. That's okay. We'll get it ready when she comes back. 
<laughs> but yeah, we'll continue like doing the tutorial for now. It'll be nice. Um, if Aya comes back, maybe we'll play some other game. But yeah, Rune Factory should be fun. Okay. Well, shall we? Uchan professional streamer. Yep, I do my best to cause troubles. <laughs> She's so stinking cute. I want to squish her. Which one? Ayaya or one of the characters in the game? <laughs> Both are true. Ayaya is like always so supportive to everybody who's doing like group events and stuff. She always wants to make sure nobody's alone. It's very sweet of her. This is the field. I'm going to explain how farming works now, okay? Um. Yes, please. Oh, thank goodness. I know what I was going to do if you didn't want to listen. She's really going out of her way to help me. She must really want to smash. <laughs> Damn, a video is in already. <laughs> Great. Well, the best way to learn something new is to get some hands-on experience. So could you start by tilling this field for me? I mean, I'd like to say yes. But this place seems like it's in pretty bad shape. Tell the truth. Nobody's worked this field for ages. So let's clean it up first. Could you please use the oh my god it oh it's priscilla speaking i was like tutorial asked to be pleased that's adorable could you please use the a button to pick up all the weeds and branches then you can stick them in the shipping bin over there oh why not oh yeah right auto pick up oh no doesn't work <laughs> you could also just fucking yeet them where did those go give me my sticks back do, 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 do. Oh, God. The movement is tricky. Give me all the sticks. No! What the fuck? Really? I'm right next to it. What do you want me to do? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. It's already beginning to get hard, and we haven't even gone to the dungeon yet. Interesting. Okay. So, it's a lot easier when you're standing... <laughs> when you're standing, like, within one of our four key directions of something. Otherwise... I only pick up one of these at a time. Yeah, okay. Get out of here. I normally use withered grass to like till the soil though. Remember you could do that in this game? Yeah. Oh, I can eat the grass too. That'd be fun. <laughs> she hasn't given me any equipment to deal with any of the rest of the shit either. The old farming games pose. Praise the sun. Always. Yoink. Yoink. I love the sounds they make. You know what? Fuck it. Eat it. Delicious. Really? Oh, God. I think I just poisoned a video already. <laughs> okay. That's those. There's one more. Oh, there's a few more tiny rocks. I can't grab multiples of those. Oh, my God. It's so tricky to actually line up with items. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, da. Delicious weeds. I mean, dandelions make a pretty good salad, honestly. So, that's something. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Are you proud of me, Priscilla? I did the thing. You need to give me, like, other... Oh, shit. You need to give me, like, mining tools and axes to deal with the rest of this shit. All right. You did a great job. I like dandelion and burdock. I've never had burdock. That sounds interesting. You sound like rhinos in Ice Age. I don't even know what that means. Ah. Either way, if you hold down the A button, then you only pick up items of the same type... That's how you do that. That would have been so much easier. <laughs> Thank you for telling me now, I guess. Oh, and if you lock onto the shipping bin when you're holding something, you can throw stuff in from a distance. Give it a shot sometime. You didn't teach me how to lock on, though. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Please take this. You received a cheap hoe. Priscilla, do not shame yourself like that. I'm sure you're a very fancy hoe. There's nothing wrong with it. The hoe in life is for a lot of people. It's honestly enjoyable. But don't sell yourself short. Try filling the soil in on one of the spots you cleared. If there's anything you don't understand, just ask me for help. Tell me when you've tilled some soil. Not the fancy. <laughs> oh, God. Do I have to, like... Oh, no. Weapons? Other? Farm tools! Need to equip this first. That's the plan. There we go. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. What a big fucking... Oh, oh my god. Why co stop comboing? What a big arc, though. She swings that like a mad lass. 
This is so... Okay. I can see why people got frustrated with this game. <laughs> what the hell? No, I'm looking at... No! Just do the ones that haven't been tilled, for the love of God. Oh, my God. The aiming is hard in this. <laughs> now you see? Yeah, okay. It's getting a bit better, but yeah, when you really just want to grab something small, it, it makes it so difficult. Okay. That should be targeting. Yeah, and I mean, it should really realize you probably don't want to tell the same shit you've already told. And to maybe lock onto the other bits. It's easier when you have better farm tools. Oh, oh yeah, you can like hold down the button and do like multiple areas at once. Yeah, we'll, we'll grow and develop. We'll learn new things as we go. All I know is this is reminding me immediately of Vinland Saga. And that's a good feeling. Do, 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 do. Is it leveling up in tutorial? I don't know. <laughs> we're certainly learning how to actually do it, though. Why can some of these... Is it just because they're too close? Oh. Okay, so that's too close to the rock. <laughs> oh, man. Give me an axe and a pickaxe, goddammit. I need them. My farm, it's never going to flourish like this. How am I supposed to live, laugh, lay eggs in these conditions? There you go. I did what I could. Whoops. Wonderful. You made that look easy. If you use a better quality hole, <laughs> you can tell several squares at once. I swear I'm going to stop laughing at the word hole very quickly. For now, it just comes naturally. You want to lay eggs again? I, I mean, I don't want... Okay, collect eggs. Collect eggs. I'm a farmer. I need my eggs. It's good protein. Great settling. I'll teach you how to use these next. You received some turnip seeds. Sow these seeds wherever you've tilled the soil. Okay. Ooh, turnips. Do, 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 do. Whoop. Easy does it. Easy does it. There you go. There you go. There we go. Great things start from tiny Easy does it. starts. Easy does it. Is she really gonna say that every Easy time we put one down? Easy does it. Oh dear God. That's going to get grating very quickly. <laughs> oh, God. I remember it, but if you press L or R while you move, you can move in a straight line. Oh. Uh oh, shit. Fuck. Whoops. R makes you walk. L just kind of brings up your menu, so it's not either of those. Maybe it's ZR. Oh, that makes you dash. Oh, six. So we have a dash at least. Um, I can't see anything that makes you walk in a straight line, but maybe maybe it's a skill they'll teach you later kind of thing. Yes, very nice. If you hold down the B button, you can sell multiple seeds across a wide area. Please tell me these things before. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on to the last thing. You received a cheap water pot. <laughs> That's not so bad. Go ahead and water your seeds with this. Okay, but I need to fill it first. Do, 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 do. Ba -ba -bum. Yay! I've, I actually love Rune Factory games. This is going to be really relaxing. Charge it and squoosh! Nope, okay, you can only order one at once. And you can't hold B with this one. I hope it comes out okay. Me too. Okay, at least she doesn't speak every time she waters things. I hope it comes out okay. Just like one in four times. It's I fine. It comes out okay. Shut up, Ovidia. Okay? Ovidia! Ovidia! Okay. <laughs> Perfect. You're a natural at this. The field dries out overnight, so make sure you water the seeds you planted every morning. Oh, but not on rainy days. I know they may seem dreary. They're not all bad, because you don't need to water your field when it rains. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about farming. Just keep tilling the soil, sowing seeds, and watering whatever you plant. Then you'll be harvesting your own crops in no time. You can eat whatever you grow as is, or you can cook something with them. I bet everyone in town would appreciate receiving something you've grown as a present. And of course, you can always leave your crops in the shopping bin to sell them for a profit. Someone will come by every day at 8 a.m. to collect what's inside. So make sure you've put everything you want to sell in before then. I hope that all made sense. Well, good work today. Oh yeah, one more thing. You received more turnip seeds. 
Oh, that's a lot. You sure I can have these? Please, I insist. Think of it as a thank you present for cleaning up the field. And saving the little girl's life, maybe? <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what you grow here. <laughs> I'll try to live up to your expectations. Oh, the blush. Oh, the, the buy panic has set in already. <laughs> of course, she's chatty. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Is this my fault? She's got freaking amnesia. She shouldn't remember me just blabbing all day, every day. <laughs> I think you'll do just fine, Avidia. Not many people could do all this work as easily as you did. Especially not on their first try. There's a good reason why Captain Livia made you a ranger. You're just like one of those... Uh, what were they called? Earth maids. You know, Avidia, maybe it's not just farming you're good at. I get the feeling that you're the kind of person who can make the whole world a green, vibrant place. Oh, come on. Now you're just exaggerating. Please, keep telling me more. <laughs> but wouldn't it be nice if that were true? When I was little, I read stories about Earthmaids who rode dragons through the skies. That's literally Rune Factory 4. That was fun. They would tend the earth and bring it to life, filling the world with runes. I always loved reading about them. Um, runes? Oh, I'm sorry. Runes are, um, they're sort of like your stamina. Or, or maybe your life force? Basically, if you work yourself too hard and use up all your runes, you'll collapse from exhaustion. So be careful, okay? For me maid one more time? <laughs> was that like an excited thing? Or was that like a, do it, I dare you, I'll beat your ass? <laughs> uh, Are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for pushing you so hard. Let's call it a day. No, I want to finish the rest of my seeds. No! You can switch between your weapons and farm tools without opening up the L pocket. Oh, use the left button for your tools. Oh, that's sick. That's going to make that so much easier. It sucks to pass. Oh, they actually took me away from my farm. How dare you? I could run with both. not going to lie. Oh, yeah. Tired already. To be honest, there's a certain point in Rune Factory games where you get to a point where you're just like, Every day, the most you can do is, like, deal with your farm. <laughs> like, if you're actually working on your farm all day and you haven't collected enough monsters that can tend to your farm, yeah, you spend the whole sun up time just planting, watering, collecting, selling, shipping, haggling. Then the day ends and you're like, oh my god, I really need to train more monsters to work on my farm. <laughs> Field captain said you can use this room. So it's yours now, Avidia. Oh, wait, isn't this the silo? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, they're really treating you like their property, huh? I, I don't think this is a nice town anymore. I think they found somebody, wandered in, and they're like, Hey, free labor. <laughs> well, sucks to suck. But the second floor room has always been empty. And Captain Livia said that rangers should live here. She, she did? Damn, Captain Livia wants to live with me. Okay, I'm in already. True, all the energy goes to farming. True. <laughs> Someone on TV Tropes didn't get it and started using Earth Maiden to refill to female Earth <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, at, least, at least safety won't be a problem. Right? Captain Livia lives just downstairs after all. Oh, God. I can't wait to see Captain Livia fight. I hope she fights like Yoda in Star Wars. I hope she bounces all over the place doing mad flips with a little katana. <laughs> also, people come by the silo all the time. If you ever need any help, I'm sure someone will be happy to lend you a hand. <laughs> Shouldn't it be the other way around? Don't worry about it. Everyone around here is always eager to help each other out. Maybe I'll ask them for a favor or two. Go for it! That being said, right now your room only has a bed and a calendar and a projector. I have a projector? What? <laughs> you guys have technology? <laughs> Wait a damn second! <laughs> You can use the calendar to check the date and see whether a festival or anything's coming up soon. Where's my projector? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. It's like a, 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 a early 1900s, late 1800s projector. Still cool. It's for cutscenes. Oh, that's cute. So you can just watch the cutscenes when you want to. The projector lets you view any cutscenes you've seen. It's not pointing at any surface that would actually... <laughs> for work to be projected on. But okay. That's a massive calendar. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit... That's why I've got my glasses, man. A little bit harder vision. Last up, it's your bed. After you go to sleep, you'll wake up at 6 a.m. the next day with your HP and RP restored. That's room points. 
It's not role-playing. Don't worry about it. I don't regain my role-playing points by being in bed, because that would be kinky. If you don't sleep enough, you'll become fatigued, and you're also more likely to catch a cold. So make sure you always get a good night's sleep. In short, if you feel tired, go to bed. People die when they are killed. The archer class really is filled with archers. <laughs> Thank you for the um, lesson. That about does it. Great work today. Rest up. Aw, her voice is actually adorable. Why do I have two beds? I mean... Why do I have two beds? <laughs> I don't need two beds. Take it easy and rest well, okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to make you do so much work. Um, why don't you rest a while in that bed? No, I got fields to tell, uh, fields to tend. <sighs> the sweet siren song of sleep steers me towards slumber. Yeah, she's definitely a fucking dragon or god incarnate. I want the red bed. Ooh, I also want to save. First ever time saving. Normal. Rude. Where are you? Yo, Ike, how you doing? Yo, I'm doing okay. I just got home. Awesome. How was it's the trip? Factory treating you. Ah, oh, it's good. We barely started it, but so far it's been great. Awesome. Rune Factory is one of my favorite series, so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it already. Ooh, I, I have very limited exposure to it. I think I only played one of the games. Oh, did you ever play um do, 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 Harvest Moon? Uh, yes, I actually like I think. I, I don't know if this is Rune Factory, but it's called like a fantasy Harvest Moon or something like that on DS. That's yes, the that's the one. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's a basically, yeah, just Harvest Moon. But then you also like can collect monsters, um, train them to do your bidding and you go to dungeons to fight with like action RPG mechanics. So it's a lot of fun. I like the balance between things. Yeah, there's a lot to do. <laughs> How was your trip? Uh, it was good. It wasn't like that major. It was just like some, you know, IRL obligations. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm I, glad I was you... hoping that it would be way shorter, but it dragged on for like several more hours than anticipated. But, you know, it happens. Yeah. I'm glad you're back now, though, as well. And man, you came back with a storm fucking destroying <laughs> near in one couple. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, you came back and just instantly flew into like full on like... I don't know the word, um, like extreme streaming mode where it was just lots of long streams in a row. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blame Nier for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nier is so good. I'm glad you got to finish another ending. <laughs> was that the end of the full game or was that just like the end of one route? Yes, and. <laughs> 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 it's okay. like I, I got four endings out of five but i don't want to get the fifth one until i beat automata because the fifth one was added in the remake oh sick so okay. I'm, I'm doing it chronologically because i am i'm picky like that no honestly that's the best way to do it especially since you know like the order that will like guide the fans along as well so that's awesome <laughs> yeah i think that's my favorite part being able to like guide a bunch of people through a new story they haven't experienced before and mm. oh my god i've Ever since Nier came out, I've always wished that it got, like, more attention. So being able to, like, shine even just a tiny spotlight on the series makes me very happy. Yeah, same. I love that. Like, when there's a series you love and you're able to guide people around through it in, like, a really the perfect way, expose them to it bit by bit. That's what I loved, mm. really, about FF8 as well. So, yeah, I'm glad you're getting to do that with Nier. I'm glad we can play Nier now. It's awesome. Yes, oh, my God, we can play <laughs> Nier. I'm so... You don't understand how happy I was when I got the message. I know. It took a while, but, yeah, as soon as I saw that pop up, I was like, Ike is gonna flip his shit. I was like, I was like yes! <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> I, th I think from the point where I got the message and the point where I put it on my schedule was, like, two days. Oh, wow. So that was like, really would, quick. <laughs> yeah, like instantly I was just like, okay, got the message. It's on on the schedule for next week. Nice. <laughs> Onward to Dragon Guard. I have bad news. Good morning. Oh, are we still not allowed to do that one? It's an old PS2 game, so it's like oh. really tricky. Oh, yeah. I was actually talking to my manager the other day because he's a huge fan of Dragon Guard 3 and he just realized he has no way to play it right now. Yeah, it's still stuck on the PS3, unfortunately. Yeah, which is a shame. Hopefully with how like big Nier got recently, like hopefully they'll be like, hey, people will, might be want to check out Dragon God 2. Let's do a full like trilogy re-release. Uh, it's a duology, actually. Oh, I thought there were three of them. Oh, no, there isn't. There's oh, Dragon Guard and there's Dragon Guard 3. 
my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely thought there were three of them. I've only ever actually played three, and I even... I, I never we got... Do, we, do, we pretend uh, the second one doesn't exist. Oh, okay. You you, you genuinely had me believe in that. Like, Yo <laughs> Yoko Taro had just done some fun shit I, and been like, nah, I nah. I mean, he would. <laughs> if anyone would do that, he would. Yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, that, that sounds like something he would do. I just believed it 100%. <laughs> But yeah, I only ever played three, and like I never got to a finale. I've heard how crazy the final fight in that game is, and just oof. Wait, which one? Um, I've heard there's like a 20 minute rhythm game that's like incredibly hard and like doesn't really give you too much guidance on how to beat it, kind of thing. Thankfully, it's not 20 minutes, but it is eight, eight minutes. minutes. And if you mess up once, that's it. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. Also, the BPM changes. Oh my god. So you and just have to sure. really like learn it by heart to be able to do that. Yes, and there's there are parts where you have no visual cues either. <laughs> Cup, coupled with the fact that do you do you know what the lowest beats per minute that we as humans can recognize? Um, I don't it's know, around maybe 10? <laughs> no, it's around 33 BPM. Below that we can't like keep a steady rhythm. Oh, I didn't know that. Do you, do you know what the B BPM drops to? 24. Close. 31. <laughs> it just drops below. Oh, that's so freaking mean. <laughs> oh, God. So they really just want to torture you. <laughs> yes, it's like it was really funny because Yoko Taro showed up on a Twitch stream in chat, mm -hmm. like when they were talking about it. And somebody asked him, why did you make the final boss so difficult? You know what his reply was? What? Because it is final boss. <laughs> I mean, and honestly, like, true. <laughs> you know what? Fair. Yeah. Fair. It's a final boss. <laughs> I think that's wow. the funny thing is so many people seem to think like Sans Undertale is like the ultimate hardest thing you can do in gaming. And then, I yeah. Mean, Sans, Sans isn't easy by any stretch of the oh, imagination. Oh, God, no. Um, um, I almost said imagination for some reason. <laughs> imagination. <laughs> no, definitely not. It's just, yeah. Hearing about like that fight, I can't even imagine. <laughs> It's, it's just so funny because, like, it comes so out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> and just him just Kinda... being like, it's final boss. Deal with it. <laughs> like, it's supposed yeah, to be the literally. hardest thing. <laughs> literally, the man does... He he stopped giving an F so many years ago. <laughs> yeah, he just makes what he wants. And honestly, you got to respect shit like that. It's the same as, like, A24 movies where it's like, they don't go for things that they think are going to make a ton of money. They just go for things that they actually feel passion for. And so you can feel that through their creations. See? Yeah, they just leave the directors to do whatever wacky vision they want to do. And I'm all for experimental cinema and like experimental art and sure. things that are not exactly accessible. Yeah. But sometimes they're not accessible even for me because <laughs> they, I, I, I love Ari Aster. Like I love uh, Hereditary. I love uh, Midsommar. Yeah. His latest movie, while I, in, I think that it is good, I'm not going to pretend I understood what was going on. <laughs> Which one was his latest movie? Uh, I think it's the one that stars Joaquin Phoenix. I forget the name. Oh, I don't know if I've even heard about that one yet. But yeah, I definitely like Hereditary and Smithsummer I could deal with. Like they were fun, but they would definitely had weird moments, but they were good. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, there are definitely some art house films where I try to watch them and I'm just like, I don't get it. I think there was one called Men, where, like, a woman runs away from a big city area after she'd been, like, assaulted by a man. Goes to a Jeez. village where everybody's, like, super creepy there. But then it gets, like, really art housey where, like, everything is based off of, like, English fertility gods from, like, the Middle Ages and stuff. And it's wild. That is wild. Oh, it's called Bo is Afraid. I, yeah, Bo I is even Afraid. Heard of that that is the one. Interesting. That, that's the one. i give it men, a go, then. The, the old men, the ultimate horror. Hey, guys. <laughs> so true. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Did I scare you? Yeah, sorry to let you know, chat. We may be 2D, but we are still men. <laughs> oh, man. This game is so relaxing, though. I, I love games like that that are relaxing, honestly. Like, I, I look at the art style, and I just feel comfortable. It's like a 3D version of... <sighs> Did you ever play Reseteer? Yes! I love Reseteer! I've, Let's go! I have constantly... Finally! Somebody that played Reseteer! Yeah! I have constantly been trying to find something that has the same level of like... Because this is why I love the anime dungeon meshi as well. Although shit just hit the fan in that. 
but like the whole thing of like going to a dungeon doing like a good job fighting your way through and then coming home and having like some sort of mechanic that's why i love rune factory as well for like the dungeoning and then raising animals and crops and stuff um but yeah just like reseteer where you went to dungeons killed shit but then also came back and had the really well done mechanics for like haggling and selling things and getting the ultimate capitalism values capitalism ho capitalism ho baby <laughs> that game is a masterpiece especially since it was just like a it was like an indie made thing right it was a small team uh i, I can't imagine that it was a big team but like mm. i just i had such a blast it's such a like it's such a charming game. I love it so much. It really is. I was so happy with it. Yeah, so the writing is hilarious. Oh, yeah. The characters in it are so funny. <laughs> Little fairy just it's constantly not, telling okay. you about capitalism. <laughs> I know. It's great. And the, the fact that they have Amazon in that universe. Yeah. You get like your special deliveries. It's a Yeah, it's like a when I saw game. the package and it was just straight up an Amazon package, I lost it. <laughs> I really wish they had done like a huh? sequel to that because huh? it was so good. <laughs> uh, is there a sequel? I don't. I don't know. No, I that's what I mean. I wish there had been a sequel. Uh, yeah, it was such a good game and such a unique idea. I do hope they someday do like a dungeon meshy um, spin-off as well, just like a video game version where you just go through dungeons, but at the same time you have to like keep your health up while cooking monster parts. Would be amazing to me. Hmm. I haven't watched Dun Dungeon Meshi, the only sort of like fantasy cooking yeah. thing that I've ever seen, because I assume it's a cooking Jeez, show, is it? it? Yeah, it is. Jeez, does it? Uh, the only one that I watched was called like an, a restaurant in a different world. Like, oh. sure, it, it was an isekai, and usually I'm not the biggest consumer of isekai, but it was the most comfy thing. It, it's just like a door that randomly appears in various fantasy worlds. Yeah, and people step in and, and get like their favorite food. I love that as well. It's I know, such a good and you show. just get to meet these characters and see these meals being prepared. It is so cozy. Like if you put that on, like in, like set the mood lighting and like on a rainy day, bundle up with some tea. It's the best. It really is. I yeah, that one was fantastic. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember if there was anything else like that. I feel like there were a few shows that were like cozy, cooking kind of shows, but set in a fantasy world. But yeah, Usually definitely. They... Restaurant in Another World was great. Dungeon Meshi is a masterpiece. And it's apparently like just hit a turning point where things have gone from cute and adorable to, oh, by the way, remember, this is a dungeon and shit can get real bad real quickly. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. I kind of yeah. want to give it a shot. I've been, I've been starting like, to get back into watching anime. It's like surprisingly, like I dropped off for like a good couple of years and only watched a show here or there. But now I'm... I'm keeping up with more shows than I have in a very long time. That was actually exactly the same for me. Like, I dropped anime for so long because I just felt like I didn't have time. And I was in that mindset of like, if I'm not working, I'm not spending my time properly. Everything has to connect oh, back to streaming somehow. I know exactly, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it's a plane. But yeah, I'm finally getting like a better work-life balance. So now I'm just catching up with Freyren and um, Dungeon Meshi and has been Hotel. Mm, oh yeah, has been hotel. I did manage to finish that. Oh, um, damn. Uh, did you watch many of them? Uh, oh yeah, like I I watched the whole the whole thing. Oh, you finished? Oh, sorry. I thought you said you didn't manage to finish it. Oh no 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 no. I I did I did manage <laughs> to finish that. That's awesome. Yeah, I I've only watched like the first two episodes now, but I've watched like all of the spin off Hell of a Boss. I was waiting for oh, it for I ages. I haven't, so. I, haven't, I haven't seen that. Oh, if you liked Has... Did you like Hasbun Hotel? I mean, I know it's not for everybody. I, I liked it for what it was. I enjoyed mm. that it was a musical because I feel like we don't really see shows do that anymore. Yeah. It, yeah, it's very much a thing that people don't really like much anymore. I'm glad there's but, been a few more musicals recently and it's been it's been good. Like the music people wonder why we still quote Phineas and Ferb to this day. Exactly. Even just the opening song for Phineas Ferb is so good. Yeah. It's a hundred and one days of summer, summer vacation. vacation. And school comes <laughs> around just to end it. The, yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of people tell me that sometimes when I sing, I sound like Phineas. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just from like that part? Can you sing that part? I want to hear it. No, just in... in just in know. general. You have like good <clears throat> rock vocals. I forget. Ah. Oh. Which band was it? Because there was an actual, like, rock band, a decent rock band at the time that was well-known that did the Phineas and Ferb opening, but I can't remember which one. I think it might have been Simple Plan or Blink-182. I'm not sure. S simple Plan sounds Bowling right. Bowling for Soup! Of it was course bowling it was. For... Oh. 
<laughs> Damn, that takes me back. I wow, I would not have even remembered that band name unless somebody said it. <laughs> if you wanna, uh, if you wanna, this is like really off topic, but if, if you ever wanna like confuse a metalhead, if they if they ask like what is the heaviest band you know, you should answer Bowling for Soup. <laughs> the reason for that is because their guitarist is an absolute unit. Oh, let's fucking go. Yeah, he's built like a house. He's huge. He's great, too. He's so good. I don't think I even remember what the band looked like for Bowling for Soup. I definitely used to listen to them back when I listened to, like, Kerrang! and MTV Rock exclusively. The teenage oh years. Oh, feel so old. You're the <laughs> old man here. Why do I feel old? I know, right? I'm the one who said it, but you tr it triggered a memory for you, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it did! Kerrang, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Kerrang. God. Oh, man. Make thinks you're going to start bringing up G4. Oh, I don't think I had that one. Is that oh, another, like, G4? music station? No, nah, not that I no, remember. No, the G4, the gaming channel. Oh, we definitely didn't have any kind of gaming channel. If we had any oh. kind of gaming content, it was always just on, like, Nickelodeon and, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Disney Channel. Mmm, right, right. No Cartoon Network? Oh, we did have Cartoon Network, too, but I don't think they really did gaming stuff. They had, like, so many original shows. Like, yeah, they did. UK like, and America's I... Nickelodeon and Disney Channel were really weird, because some Nickelodeon originals from America got played on Disney Channel UK, and some Disney is... Channel original shows got played on Nickelodeon UK. It was odd. They kind of traded some things. You want to know something? Why <laughs> in Sweden, Fairly Odd Parents was on Disney Channel. Fairly Odd. Oh, yeah, that is weird. That was a Cartoon Network one for me. No, it's Nickelodeon. It's by Butch Hartman, same guy that did uh, Danny Phantom. That's funny. Yeah. Was it on Nickelodeon in the UK? Maybe it was. I always took that as like a Cartoon Network show. No, it was Nickelodeon. You're right. It was the same kind of time as like Danny Phantom, which I really liked. Um, Danny Phantom has aged surprisingly well. Like even the writing is relatively witty and not like too cringy and try hard. Yeah. The characters are really good as well. And like even the designs like Ember, the, the like rock singing girl is awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Ember is such a cool design. Oh, my God. Anime cutscene. Yeah, we've had a few of these. Like, every time they introduce a new character, even though this girl's been in it a few times, we seem to be getting, like, as we walk around town, new introductions as well. That's something I will never get sick of. Just, Sorry. like, having these, like, RPGs or, like, long Japanese games that generally has, okay? like, you know, visual uh, novel-style cutscenes, but every now and again, they bust out the FMVs, and it's like, oh, it's like a treat. Yeah. Ever since, like, Final Fantasy VII, like, I'm... I'm mm. It's like oh, a big reward yes. to get an, get an FMV cutscene. One hundred percent, and I especially love the ones that do go for like a full anime aesthetic. Like the first one I saw when I was a kid was a game called Alundra on the PlayStation One, um, mm. and it had just like proper like '80s style anime things with everybody with like the yes. giant rock metal hair. It was so yes. good. <laughs> oh my god! You want to know the first like sort of like anime cutscene in a game that I saw? Which one? <laughs> It was Mega Man X4. <laughs> oh, nice. Yo. That's actually Those cutscenes, <laughs> they still look really great. The only thing that's tragic is that they are only available in 240p <laughs> and higher resolutions have never been released. Oh, that is More sucky. Like two. Because I mean, training, gorgeous. Right? there's so many yeah. like super compressed FMV anime cutscenes from that era that are just lost. Yeah. Huh? It's a shame. I hope that someday some of those like get remade and like redrawn because just yeah just getting them upscaled to 1080p they, they just deserve that way Alundra's that way I for know. me but yeah the Mega Man ones 100% yeah I know that they were gonna do like they did a remake of Mega Man X1 and they were gonna go through the entire series and like redo the cutscenes like with their new cast like they improved voice acting everything but they released it on PSP, it didn't sell well, and they didn't do more oh. than that, and I'm still heartbroken. They even did a 30-minute OVA for it, and it was awesome. It's called The Day of Sigma. It's great. <laughs> I can't believe they got an OVA. That's kind of awesome as well. But yeah, um, oh, it sucks that it didn't sell Don't well, so they didn't continue raid. it. Let's go. Pia chan thank you so much for the raid. Happy Farben Fu chan Hope you get to meet Best Girl today. Which one's Best Girl, Pia chan We're just meeting oh like God. everybody one by one. <laughs> the coordinated, the coordinated Which message. Which one's Best Girl? Uh, I don't know. Pia chan Best Girl today. Hi. Oh my God, it's the boy. Did what the up, the boy. Hi, I Kai Fu chan Happy Farmin. Thank uh, you. Best Girl. Uh, best Girl. I don't know. Is it is it okay to spoil? Yeah, go for it. I mean, I will, will, before you say anything, I will say, like, as soon as I saw one character in this, I basically said, that's just 
a door as a child girl <laughs> like there's oh, one character that. who just is like a purplish wolf yeah. girl and i'm like that's yeah. that's that's door to door to door rather than daddy daddy door <laughs> door to door to door <laughs> that has the same energy as bo 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 i love that title but yeah which one's your oh, favorite po10 it? i've never actually played rune factory 5 so this is brand new to me but i loved rune factories oh. 3 and 4 yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I think, I think Rune Factory Three Three might have been my favorite all time. Um, I, oh. but this one, this one, um, her name is Ludmilla. Ludmilla. I think you'll see her later on in the game. Simone? But she's, she's insane. Like oh, that sounds fun. Like Chuni like, insane like completely or? different. Oh my. Yeah, Chuni insane. She's like a completely different character than any <laughs> other one from the other Rune Factories. Um. One of them, one of the reasons is that like she's even taller than the MC. Oh, let's go! Insane. Yeah. Oh. Which is different. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. It's a nice feeling to have somebody who you're just like, oh, they can step on me. Nice. <laughs> well, well I, I mean, hmm. Maybe... <laughs> the way you held back. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, yeah, yeah. No, no, spo no more spoilers. No more spoilers. Okay. But in Man's the game, buffered Fudan, for a second. Yeah. I have to stop from from a nerding out a little bit, but. Enjoy, Fujian. Enjoy, Ike. <laughs> See you soon. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Pio Have you. a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, too. Oh, damn it, he left. <laughs> Dang it. He was too speedy. He was too speedy. That's okay. I'm glad to know he's played this one as well. So you only played, like, the original, like, Fantasy yes. Harvest Moon. Got it, yeah. Yes. That's cool. I can't yeah, even remember what that one was like anymore. <laughs> uh, all you need to know is that Melody is best girl. Oh, let's go. I can't even... The fact that you have a best girl means that it did good. Like, it's stuck in your mind. <laughs> I can't even... <laughs> people have been asking me, like, hey, what? Who, who was your best girl from number three? And I'm like, I don't remember. I don't remember. No. <laughs> I probably had, like, really important, like, choices on that. But I, I cannot remember any of the names. If I, like, saw, like, a list of them, like, images, then I would be like, that is the one. But yeah, I, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> also, chat, I hope you don't mind. Like, yeah, the plan is to not, like, uh, while other people are here and we're playing this game, like, yeah, I'll just, like, go through oh, it and I'm, read I'm it I'm not, in my like, head. like, ruining the immersion for people. I hope not. Like, I, I hope not. That. I mean, this is an open archive. So, I mean, people knew that, like, I mean, even if you want to, like, switch to another game and, like, play, like, a group game, we can do that. Um, but, yeah, the whole idea is just for this to be, like, a Totsumachi. I mean... I probably should have done one stream by myself if I was smart and like gotten through all the tutorials and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, for other than that, it's just going to be like same-ish kind of stuff where it's just farming and fighting and collecting things. So it's going to be the perfect game for this kind of thing where it's just like Totsumachi. And then mm. if other people want to play like other games, we jump into other things as well. <laughs> okay, well, that's that's good. Just We can just think of it as, you know, when you're having that hangout with the gang and there's just everybody doing their own thing. A few people oh. sitting on the floor well, playing you know like card games. Okay. A few people are on their phones. There's two dudes on the couch playing a video game and nobody's really paying attention. That's exactly. That's exactly like, the feeling I want to have for it. It's just like yeah, anybody can drop in. Hang out. We chat about whatever other people like bring up topics of. And so, yeah, I just I missed Totsumachis because I feel like people get afraid of them a lot so i was like i'm gonna make like a bi-weekly totsumachi where it just like super chill nobody has to join but if people do join we can just go from there kind of thing that's honestly so nice like i love totsumachis i love Shame. the like that, that's I one of my friend. favorite things about like sort of any wife, any you, sort of like streamer settings friend. whether it be vtubers or like quote unquote regular streamers for lack of a better term i don't know what else to call them mm. is, 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 <laughs> how, do, how do we differentiate i don't know flesh tubers <laughs> <laughs> i like that because it sounds so fucking metal and disgusting that sounds horrifying but also kind of metal metal af it's like are you a vtuber or are you a flesh tuber <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> Okay. Um, but yeah, whether it be VTubers or flesh tubers, <laughs> it's always it's always just fun to see the interactions with each uh, with one another because that's what leads to like the most fun moments. Like that's how yes. I got introduced with Niji to Niji Sanji by seeing Anju Senpai get bullied <laughs> on Mario Kart. Oh, let's go. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I'm totally with you on that one. I feel like Totsumachis are like some of the best ways to interact with people and get to know people because a lot of the time you don't really take the time out to be like, okay, I watched someone's debut, but that doesn't really explain what kind of person they are. Whereas Totsumachis, you get like the full 
unfiltered version of them just hanging out and chilling. <laughs> and so, yeah, I know there's been a couple of other people doing Tatsumachis recently. I'm glad they're coming back, but I've just been like, you know what? I want to do one bi-weekly and just like, yeah, nobody shows up. We'll just play Rune Factory and chill. If people do show up, hell yeah, we'll do whatever happens to come up. Yeah. Games oh, are God. just chilling. <clears throat> My poor voice. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit shot. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, you... Yeah, I hope you feel better soon. Holy shit! Jesus! This is dramatic! This is just for the blacksmith? I thought he'd be a hero, but god damn. Oh, yeah, he's badass looking. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. I'm waiting. Tur turn around. Turn around. Oh! The golden eyes? Let's go. And he has a sick voice! Who are you? Ooh, hold on, <laughs> let, me, let me hear him. Oh, sorry. Did I talk over his first line for you? Here we go. Hopefully he'll get another voice line someday. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, I know, right? Damn it. Dang it. Sir, Master Derek, a new seed trainee's here. Yeah, he sounds perfect. <laughs> Did you get to the so voice what? part? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm... I, mm, whoa, whoa. What platform was this game on again? <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo Switch and PC, I think. Um, Ooh, oh, PC. Okay. I think it runs a bit better on PC, but I got it on Switch just for the portability. But yeah. Mm, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, what's that, Martin? Oh, they've actually got a pretty good voice ask, voice uh, cast in this one. A new mm. seed trainee is here. I've already talked. Like, one of them sounded like Flayon X Machina. This guy, I don't know. He reminds me of some VTuber, but I can't remember which one right now. This Martin dude. He, he, sa he sounds like a mix between Wilson and Albin. He does. He trains near oh where? my god. Please stay your hand for a moment, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. These, these voice lines, like, they definitely remind me a lot of, like, 90s anime. So I've been enjoying them a lot. I just keep hearing them and I'm like, oh. This is taking me back to like my four kids dubbing days. Like, oh thankfully. Oh my God, four kids. <laughs> well, yeah, thankfully, not like the completely changing the storyline to fit what they want to say. But I mean, like the, the type of tone of voice, like especially like not even four kids, but like the, the ghost adventures, ghost hunters. Oh, ghost stories. Ghost stories, the ghost stories dub. Like I always like, those are the types of voices that I imagine when I think like 90s anime, <laughs> like the full on. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, breathy, relaxed kind of, oh, anime boys sound like this, right? Honestly, <laughs> don't judge me, but I still kind of prefer that kind of acting for, like, anime-styled no. anything. That's why whenever I hear one of the Excuse OGs me. from, like, what the late 90s, early, two, like, mid-2000s, like, that, those voice actors, I'm talking, like, Liam O'Brien, Laura customer. Bailey, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Tara, Tara Platt, Yuri Lowenthal, all of that stuff. Whenever I hear them, I'm like, yes! This is officially peak. Yeah, exactly. I love those as well. Because, I mean, I do like it when it's a bit more serious and people sound more natural. But, I mm. mean, people need to understand. A lot of people think, like, oh, anime takes itself way more seriously when it comes to voice acting. They still do, like, the way over-the-top silly voices. It's just, like, it's a different language, so a lot of people don't realize that. And, like, yeah. the giant, like, overextended um, mannerisms and stuff, so even in the voices. I, I, I do like, like, the classic ones where everybody was, like, super into character as well. They definitely still do those in some things, but yeah, I'm liking that Rune Factory is leaning into that direction as well with, like, the cartoonish voices rather than the taking itself overly silly kind of thing. I think that ah, works, honestly, it, it, because there's already, Ready, like, this se a separation between reality Thanks, and what you're seeing because of the, like, stylized art and all that worse. jazz. Yeah. And I mean, I like Wish both. I like, help. if it's, like, a serious tone story, then, yeah, I want things to sound, like, legit and intense and, like, realistic. But if something mm. is like this, where everybody's like giant fucking hunking dude, weird like Sundere too cool for you anime boy with white hair and golden eyes, yeah, lean into <laughs> it. Do the silly voices. Yeah, like when, when you see like, okay, this thing knows that it's tropey, so let's lean into that as well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Chuny David Kun energy is the best. Honestly, like I know that everybody <laughs> memes on David yes. Kun, but... <laughs> That's what anime voice acting sounds like, no matter the language. Yeah, 100%. I mean, people, like, that was the thing. When it, David Kuhn came out, everybody thought I was making fun of it when I used to be like, that sounds like Albin and Ike, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody was like, oh no, but he's so embarrassing. And I'm like, that doesn't mean he doesn't have a cool voice. That whole, like, hey there. 
Are you the new girl? Like, if you saw that coming out of a sexy anime boy, like, especially 90s anime was full of them. I can just imagine the DN Angel Angel just being like, hey, Oh, God, DN Angel. Doing? Holy crap. <laughs> Darkness God, of light, you may. Just bring up Fushigi Yugi while you're, while you're at it. Oh, God, I haven't thought about Fushigi Yugi in forever. That was like, honestly... Probably better than Inuyasha at the time, in my opinion. Ooh, oh, that's gonna start ooh, some that's fights. That's a spicy meatball right there. <laughs> that is a spicy meatball. I liked Inuyasha, but I remember like watching Fushigi Yugi and being like, "Yo, this is like so much crazier." <laughs> and then a similar like, it's a fantasy thing, but also like aimed for like shoujo audiences, which is fun. Same as like Escaflone. Yeah. I remember watching Escaflone and being like, "Oh my god, Mecca for women!" Holy crap. <laughs> It was so what good. was your first mecha like genuine that, that you can remember oh. doesn't mean if you purposefully it's like sought it out like the first one that you happened to just see um the first one i saw and i had no idea even what anime was at the point was zoids because we had zoids like even back in the 80s in um the uk and there were just like Ooh. still reruns going on while i was growing up where it was like zoids yeah and they had they even had the toys like long before gundam i think the first gundam in the uk was like gundam wing um, so Ooh, it took a while. Which one was yours? Uh, I got recommended one like ages ago. Like I, w I was a small boy I, and uh, I got to see part of Tekaman Blade on VHS. Oh, nice. That's classic. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah. It's it's old, old. Like if you, if you like Mecha and you haven't seen Tekaman Blade, please watch it. I'm not a like Mecha enthusiast, but that was like, oh my God. It was unspeakable. Mm, consumables of unspeakable nature for my eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I never actually watched that original Tekamon Blade, but I know they did like an update. I'm not sure if it was a brand new story or just like a remake in like the early 20 teens ish. So that's when I st first like discovered Tekamon, but man, those designs for things were crazy. Yeah. Oh my God. Bring back hand drawn mechas, please. <laughs> oh my I God. Miss it so much. Honestly, they're getting better when it comes to the 3D models, but they're still like landing in that uncanny it's, it's valley. It's not quite there. There was one mm. mecha show that came out recently. I forget what it was called. I didn't see it. That actually does have hand drawn mechs, and it looks amazing. But I don't. I forget which one it is. Is it Braver and the gay one? I don't know. I don't know if it was gay or not. Oh, sorry. Um, there's this one <laughs> called Braver. And I only heard about it yesterday, but I googled it afterwards. Apparently, it's like a Incredibly homoerotic, uh, but yeah, somebody in chat just said they have hand-drawn mecha. They, they Ooh, if you nice. did the mecha where you were walk, watching them, did they have like actual facial expressions? What the mechas themselves? Yeah. No, they okay. did not. For some reason, in Braver, and they like even like do like smirks and like proper expressions on the mecha's faces and stuff. It's a bit uncanny, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I've never seen that. I wouldn't be willing to give it a shot. Yeah, I'd be willing to try it. I still haven't watched Promare, which I've heard is freaking incredible. Sorry, I that's not even a mecha. I haven't watched Promare either, but every, like, I, I feel like it should. Everybody and their mom has watched it at this point. Honestly, yeah. It feels like if you haven't seen it, it's just like, you just have to hide in shame for a little while. I know. I'm sorry. No, that's me too. Like, I was, when it came out, I was just too busy. And since then, it's become like everybody talked about it for like a good solid six months. There was fan art everywhere. And now it's just like, can I tell people that I didn't watch that? Everybody seems to consider it a cult classic at this point. <laughs> Maybe we should have a movie night. We should see who else in, uh, in Nijisaji oh, yeah. and hasn't seen it yet. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's just drag a bunch of people to watch Promare. Fuck yeah, that'd be fun. I've heard that that one's like very gay as well. <laughs> like over the top oh, yeah, action yeah, yeah. violence, which should D be fun. That, I, I found out about the existence of Promare because of artwork. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> It's the same. There's much. so many things where I genuinely like think they're gay and then it turns out they're not. I've just been like, because of the people I follow on Twitter, it's like the fan art is all incredibly gay. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, <laughs> this isn't a BL? Are you, what? <laughs> okay. Has there ever been a work that you like, wanted, that you checked out because you saw like, with like fan art or anything and then was shocked that it wasn't gay? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I still haven't checked it out yet, but there's this one called Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. All of the fan art is just of like the two main male characters looking at each other longingly and shit. So I was like, oh yeah, Aura V, I've heard of that. That's the BL one from Korea, right? And people were just like, it's not BL, Fuchan. It's a case. It's a case. I was just like, huh? 
Really? <laughs> <laughs> the artists work harder than like the people who actually do the promotion for it. <laughs> But yeah, that blew my mind. Has anything like ever happened to you with that? I mean, I think maybe like even Final Fantasy. I feel like there are some people nowadays who um... will see some adverts for Final Fantasy 7 and are like, oh, so these Clouds and Sephiroth characters, they, they smash, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't blame them for thinking that. No, the amount of fan art that's just like Cloud and Sephiroth is amazing. And I like that fan art. So many people are like, no, don't do that ship. It's evil. It's bad. And I'm like, no, fuck that. That's what makes it good. <laughs> it's abusive in the best kind of way. They penetrate oh. each other all the time. Oh. Mm, that is a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got another anime. Oh, let's go. Oh, cute. He's adorable. Oh, that was so short. <laughs> I knew it. It's this, okay. It was... This is the one that I think sounds like Mark and I play on. Oh, let yeah. me hear it. Come on, give me a voice line. Come on. Come on, game. Why do you... They, they're very picky and choosy about which lines get voiced oh, in this. Oh, it's partially voiced, right. Yeah. Oh, he's cool. Whoa. Finally, we have someone who looks a bit older. I do not like the glasses, though. Everything else is awesome. The glasses? <laughs> I, I can't say that. <laughs> I, I don't know what you were thinking, but I respect it. predicament is nothing for you to get excited about. Nothing for you to get excited about. Yeah, this, this, all, every character in this has been like directed to sound like classic anime. I love it. Oh, gosh. Uh, my apologies. Damn it. He didn't sound like play on there. You'll accept my <laughs> apology too. I'm the one. I like the voices it. though. They very much fit the setting. Yeah, they really do. It's very oh, classic anime and it works for them. Not that it was much of a riddle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for I a show that story, I was shocked I that it seat wasn't going to go that direction, like, I was watching it while it was Here's airing, the but the direction the that they were like, and the dynamics they were yes! building up between the character, characters, I was like watching the show just thinking, excuse me, are they gonna, can I also, are they going there? <laughs> oh my God, they're actually <laughs> going, oh, they didn't. Wait, <laughs> which one? I need to know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> it was Black Rock Shooter. Awesome. Thank oh, you. the one based on like Vocaloids. I never yeah, actually yeah, watched yeah, like that you. one. Yeah, they they like did an eight episode anime and like an OVA, which are entirely separate. But they are, if you're if you have it in mind, like it is like the like there is some very very gay undertones <laughs> to a lot of it. <laughs> is it like Yuri vibes or Yaoi vibes between them? Oh, uh, it's like it's like shoujo eye to the utmost degree. Oh, so we're talking like Maria Sama Gummy Teru kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, man. I haven't watched, like, a proper Yuri in forever, unfortunately. I think the last Me one I either. watched was... Not Citrus. Oh, man. Oh, God, Citrus. I, I dropped that manga. <laughs> <laughs> Citrus and NTR were wild. <laughs> Wait, there's a, there's a manga called NTR? <laughs> I think... Unless I'm remembering it wrong, I think it was just, yeah, straight up called NTR, but then the NTR standed for something different. And it was just oh, like, yeah, okay. about two girls who both had boyfriends, but then they start smashing each other instead. <laughs> um, People have such vivid imaginations. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, as long as it's entertaining, I'm happy. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> I'm looking over chat and Kurina, I, 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 that that out of context is such a funny sentence. Oh, what did Kurina say? NTR is actually good. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I'm sure they meant the anime rather than the tag. Yeah, I, I know that they meant the anime, but like out of context, it's a really funny sentence. That is funny. Oh, somebody brought up Scum's Wish. I actually really liked Scum's Wish. Oh, Kuzu no Honkai. Yes. I liked it. I, yeah, I really loved it. So many people Kuzu called no it Honkai. trash. And it was like kind of over the top drama baiting, but it was, it was fun. Ve I liked it because of how miserable it was. I yes. was like, yes, make me feel like trash. Yeah, everybody made you feel like trash. Nobody got a happy ending. And also, honestly, the art direction was really incredible in that show. I, I, the, the art direction was really nice. And I just like when a show is not afraid to go to like more promiscuous storytelling beats, like yes. involving in, in, intimacy, because I feel like that's such a taboo thing. And just like no, we gotta we gotta stay stay away from the from the intimate parts of any sort of relationship drama. Mm. I'm just like, no, that's also important. That's where like a lot of the really messy stuff happens. No, exactly. And that's where Kuzu no Honkai went. Or I had a friend to call it Kak no Honkai because of where it ended up going. 
<laughs> yeah, it really did go in some fun directions. Like, you're right. <laughs> everybody was miserable in that. Nobody was worth who they wanted to be. Even the characters that were actually decent and you wanted to get like a good ending. It was just like, oh, here comes them having their hearts ripped out and stepped all above again. Fantastic. <laughs> It was so good. The music was good as well. The character designs were amazing. And honestly, the etchy stuff, pretty, pretty okay. Pretty okay. <laughs> I, it was that kind of show that like, even when it showed like things that were a li little bit more risque, they didn't like show it in a sort of fan servicey way. You just kind of sat there and just like, oh yeah, this is a more anime. <laughs> Ooh. I like this guy a lot. <laughs> Murakumo. He looks so I can see. I, I, I can see why. <laughs> he, like, he also, he started off with, like, a big, a big, like, wolf howl. But then he immediately showed up and was just, like, he has a daughter that's, like, really small and defenseless. And he's just, like, Do you have a Yana oh, Nike emote? I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sounded so ashamed. Yeah. <laughs> I, a, a couple people see that and they're, like, Fuchan, why? And I'm just, like, it, it serves a purpose. <laughs> it does. Like, whenever, whenever I see the face i just hear that you, you know that one place. sound bite of a guy Thanks going like the innkeeper oh. <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> where it sounds like he like passes away at the same time yeah it's perfect yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh but yeah talking about like oh, everything worked out. fiction needs to lean into those like the things that you Hang can't really do in reality because that's the whole point of fiction is being able to explore scenarios that if they happen in reality, you'd just be like, oh, that's disgusting or terrible or I feel bad for those people. When it's fiction, you're like, oh, man, this is fucked up. But I can't stop watching. I wonder how it ends. Yeah, like f really messed up stories can be very captivating. Like, break, for example, dip in our spa. Uh, like there, there's a movie that I know is banned in a, lo in a lot of places because of how gross the stuff that happens in it Ooh. is. But it is actually quite like it is very much a social commentary piece. Oh, which one is this? I don't want to say it because okay. of how much, because of <laughs> how critical bad. it is okay. of certain parts of society. No, that's completely fair. Oh, I think very, I just found... very, very critical. Oh no, she's not. Oh, she's just visiting. I just realized this is from a different game. <laughs> Margaret came visiting from Room Factory 3 or 4? I can't remember which oh. one. I love when that stuff happens. Yeah, I, 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 they only get to visit you if you actually have like save data and like decent um, skills with them. So like, yeah, this is somebody I must have romanced a bit in three or four. Okay, it was four. I cannot remember Margaret. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but that's awesome. I love when they do stuff like that. For example, like, you know, you know, when you got bonuses in mm. certain games on like PlayStation, if you had like completed save, save files. In yes, I, I miss that so much. It's so awesome. I really thought they were going to do that for Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom because they had that weird thing where you could collect all of the poop, the, all of the seeds um, for the Koroks in Breath of the Wild. And there were like mm -hmm. 1200 of them. And your, right. your ultimate reward for doing that, which probably took like thousands of hours, a golden a pile poop. Of poop. Yeah, it was so crazy to me. I was like, surely it'll give you something in Tears of the Kingdom, like something that makes the game easier or just looks badass. And no, nothing. I was like so surprised. What, not even poop? No, you have to just connect all the new Korok things again. There was nothing like you didn't get anything if you had the poop in Breath of the Wild. Dang. Oh, so sad. Doug, I remember. Doug was badass. God, I love the elf ears and the little tiny ponytail. So they just come visiting the bathhouse. I wonder if that means they're gonna have a hot springs episode. That'll be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love when you're playing games like this and then you get to like, oh my god, now's the beach episode or now's the hot <laughs> springs episode. <laughs> exactly. It's such a good moment. That's another thing where people are like, Oh, but it's so fan surfacey and silly, and it's like, yes, I that's okay. I love beach <laughs> episodes so much. Like some of the cutest character interactions happens during beach episodes. Exactly. You get to see like sides of the characters you don't normally see. It's definitely yes, like exactly. Yeah, especially the ones that are like normally badasses <laughs> and normally like super confident. Oh my god, what a dude! <laughs> but they just instantly switch to like, oh no, I'm so shy in the swimsuit. No, please. <laughs> Huh? How unlucky. You I looked over in chat and one person said, also them in swimsuits <laughs> and then the Yana Nike. Oh, 100%. Especially with like the new release of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. 
Like, when, oh my God, the design that they gave for Tifa's swimsuit is mind blowing. I'm not even a Tifa guy. I'm an Aerith guy. And yeah, Tifa with like the straps going all around of her body coming off of a swimsuit. I was just like, Jesus Christ. Yes, it sure is. So Let's go. very unfortunate. How about this? <laughs> Meanwhile, Eris was so looked boring. I was disappointed. <laughs> Wait, what? What did you say? I said, like, the new design for, like, Tifa's swimsuit in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is just insane. I'm not even normally yeah, a it, Tifa guy, but that, man. You said something about Aerith. Oh, T T uh, Aerith's swimsuit is just kind of boring on her, which is sad, because, I mean, she's my girl, but... <laughs> just kind of <laughs> meh. <laughs> I still haven't... I, I have not played many Final Fantasy games. I only played part of Seven initially, and I've been meaning to give the remakes a shot. I, I, you play the original and the remakes, right? Yeah, I, I wouldn't continue. I wouldn't start the remakes okay. unless you finished the original seven. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, so it's it's, no, it's no, not no. just like an updated modern way to experience the story? No, it, sta it started off like You're that. And like, yeah, they called it remake, but window. it's it's completely different. <laughs> like it expands from the original. And if you have knowledge of the original, it rewards you a shit ton from that. Um. It's, it seems to be completely different in Rebirth, but yeah, it gets like more and more off the rails at the beginning of Remake, and then yeah, it just turns changes into its own story. So yeah, it's definitely like if you finish the original seven, definitely play uh, Remake because Remake is in honestly incredible. The action RPG elements are amazing. The graphics are incredible. It's a really good story. They improved everything about the characterization. Like Cloud is actually enjoyable in this one. Whereas I did not like him in the original because he was just like whiny <laughs> and aggressive. And I sometimes like those characters, but I just, I've never vibed with Cloud in the original. But yeah, FF7 Very much Remake. a product of its time, perhaps. Yeah. I mean, t having said that, I love School from FF8, who is even more whiny and angsty. It's just he goes full tuny with it, and I enjoy that. School is the one with the gunblade, right? Yes, the original gunblader. Oh. Yes, okay. See, I, I know some Final Fantasy stuff. <laughs> yeah. The one that I played the most was Final Fantasy IV. I'm high. Oh, nice. One of the classic ones. Yeah, I don't think I ever actually did four. Four is a, a fun time. It's very, very comfortable. Like a lot of people say, like if you haven't played a Final Fantasy game before, uh... like that is a really good place to start. Oh, nice. Which I, I can see because I had an easy time with it without having played anything before. And the story is like, you know, it it's it's it gets the job done. Yeah. Some of the classic JRPGs, they really had like in that fantasy system where it felt like a D D game. It was all about like the different styles of like the character b -b -b not tropes, um archetypes kind of thing. And so yeah, I really respect the older Final Fantasies for that as well. And then they just kind of went away from that around like six and seven. <laughs> they were just like, obviously different characters still had different skills, but they focused heavily on like the archetypes in the past and then just kind of turned them into more fleshed out characters, which I do like. But yeah. When was it that they started going cyberpunk with it? Was that joy, in six joy. or seven? That was six. They start, yeah, they started with it in six. Yeah, six, they suddenly had like giant flying mechs and stuff, <laughs> a lot more technology. And then seven was very much like diesel punk. Diesel punk. And then eight was mm. more like retro futurism, um, and then nine went back to like full fantasy. Yeah, that, that's one thing that always catches oh, me off guard because I know what like I yeah, what seven met. looks like. So whenever Feast I see nine, I'm like, oh, wait, this? what? This came after? But I thought they went full, full technology RPG. <laughs> <laughs> no, thankfully, yeah, nine was like supposed to be a return to like classic fantasy style, and then mm. ten, I, I I don't really know what you'd call it. They kind of went like. It's, a, it's still kind fantasy. of a hybrid from what I understand. Yeah, there's like some technology, but it's all like ancient technology that they've oh, refound. And they've also got like a lot of like heavy metal influences, actually. It became like a lot more modern for things like for their character designs and the music they were using was suddenly like heavy J-Rock and stuff. Is that the one that has metal as a final boss theme? Yeah, I know that a couple of them, them technically do. FF8 does as well, but FF10 has a heavy metal thing and like definitely ff8 uh, ff10 like the intro is like a really heavy metal song in a game of blitzball which is just like swimming football volleyball where people can beat the shit out of each other it's like hockey meets football meets volleyball it's crazy and you're in like a giant sphere of water just beating the shit out of each other and knocking balls into nets it's great <laughs> that does sound like a fun time Oh, yeah. That opening in FMV. World, that's Honestly, just worst watching by itself. Otherworld. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. So, so good.
So much of Final Fantasy's music is honestly just so instantly recognizable and well known. And yeah, that's one that's of them. That's Ue, Uematsu Nobuo for you. Yeah. Did you hear how many tracks they have in Final mm -hmm. Fantasy VII Rebirth? Just the one new game? Hello. No. 400. 400 Holy. individual music tracks in one game. That is, and that's probably not even counting the different variations and adaptive versions of it. Exactly. It's absolutely insane. Uh, when I heard that, I was like, how did the composer sleep? Isn't the composer also going through health issues right now? Holy God damn. And the, the thing is, like, there's usually, like, a music director that also writes, like, several songs themselves, but they usually have teams oh, that, like, work on it. it. Like, for example, uh, Okabe Keiichi is usually credited with, like, the music for Nier, but he has, like, his whole studio of Monica, I, or Monaka, I don't know how to say it, where other people, like, under him also write songs, but it's still very much in, like, that style that feels like it's the same person. Yeah. I think they do that with Nobuo Uematsu as well, where he also has like a, a heavy metal rock band called the Black Mages, who he sometimes I brings on to know compose that. books with. Yeah, they do like mixes of like a lot of the classic Final Fantasy songs. Like one of my favorite is the FF8 um, second to final battle theme, Maybe I'm a Lion. They did like, in the game, it's like, who? I know this song, Maybe I'm a Lion. That I, I've heard that. That was, That's a banger. Yeah, they did like a heavy, heavy metal version for the Black Mages where it was just like, Guitars shredding the entire way through. It's so good. Um, also, this is my best, my favorite character design so far by fucking Miles. Holy shit. The long white hair, all like fluffy and floofy and curly. The butterflies everywhere. I love him. <laughs> Please give me an anime intro for the love of God. Your Fingers laziness crossed. is also inspiring, young Riker. Riker. How magnificently your work has piled up. Come on, come on, come down the stairs dramatically. Hmm. I'll get straight to it. Tomorrow. Today, I rest. A decent voice. Oh, his outfit's sick. No, he doesn't get an anime intro. Why? <laughs> he better not be one of the ones you can't romance. He's just like the coolest looking character, but not here to be romance. I would cry. That is right. Uh. The apprentice carpenter under my Oh, it's voiced by Alejandro Saab, Sayu. Cool. Oh, Lamau. <laughs> yeah. Well, I take back what I said then. Awesome voice. <laughs> this guy's funny. I love how in the same house you've got this ridiculous character and then the prettiest character ever. Okay, I think I've only got one more person to introduce myself to. Awesome. Um, um. Wee! But yeah, how's everything been for you? You ready to get back into streaming or are you just relaxing for a oh, bit I'm, still? Uh, I, I got oh. held up today, so I wasn't able to like do the stream that I was going to do today. I was going to do <laughs> Angels of Death. Oh, fucking sick. People love that game. Yeah. I'm sure they'd be hyped when you do get around to playing that. Yeah, I've been meaning to. Like, I never actually finished the game. I started it like uh, on my own in time, like when it came to Steam initially. Oh, yeah. And and then I just sort of like, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't finish it. I, I think I just maybe forgot about it. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to going through that because it, it allows me to do a bunch of silly voices. And I do like doing that. <laughs> That's what I love the most about like RPG maker games and visual novels. I just turn it into like, what kind of silly voices could I do? Oh, did you finish Danganronpa yet? Yes, I finally did. Let's go. Yeah, that one's been on my back burner for like forever. <laughs> I got up to like my chapter five and then I was just like, I I, I don't want to right now. <laughs> it's just not the time. <laughs> but I'm glad you I, finished it. Let's fucking go. It does mess with your head a lot. And Monokuma is a tiresome <laughs> character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I do love doing the Monokuma voice, though. <laughs> Say, like, I, I love doing it, but oh, my God, it is murder sometimes. There, yes. So there were several times when he just showed up and I just went, oh, God, I took just took a <laughs> swig of water. Yeah, here, here we go. Every time by the end of one of those streams, you're like, oh, thank God it's over. I do love this game, but my God, Monokuma's voice and some of the other ones you have to hear are just like, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, so, yeah, sometimes <laughs> when he doesn't shut up for like the entirety of like a four hour streams after yes. I'm so so winded yeah especially when you like first play a game and he's doing all the tutorials just popping up every five minutes and it's like ep, ep, ep. please no please no <laughs> oh little baby children Jeez. oh he's so tidy you want to fight the girl okay buddy kick his ass no. 
These hands are rated E for everyone. <laughs> I don't care if you're six years old. You're going to get backhanded just like your daddy. <laughs> She sounds so happy in the middle of that fight. <laughs> Tiny's. Indeed. I love that face she just made. Like, she was so surprised. Even when she started walking, she remained surprised. Exactly. <laughs> the 3D model was definitely a nowhere near as expressive as the 2D sprites. <laughs> They're trying. I mean, they're nice. But... It's just that like they're they seem to be animated using like event triggers as opposed to like hand animated cutscenes. Yeah. Which is fair. I mean, I get why yeah, they do no, that. Like, At it, least they fair, cut like... in with the sprites so you can see the full range of emotion too. Oh, wow. They gave up real quick. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I was wrong. They're going to fuck each other up. Here goes. So, so which is it? <laughs> this is a lot of back and forth. Will they, won't they? Exactly. Okay, oh, did she win or is she down on the ground too? <laughs> they just beat the crap out of each other. He got knocked out cold. Holy crap. Um, Somebody's going to need to talk to his parents. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know, she Yay. kicked his ass. Let's go, Hina. <laughs> I was saying when she first showed up, she reminds me so much of um, Hanyu from Higurashi no Nakukurani. Oh, my God. I see it. She's so adorable. Apparently, she's a uh, wolf girl. Hanyu. I really thought she was a fox girl. Yeah, Aww. Hanyu is fun. Oh. That's, what, <laughs> that was supposed to be a sniffle. Boo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love sometimes when like the the subtitles and what you're hearing don't quite mm. uh, line up. My yeah. favorite one is huh? from Sonic 06 when you're jumping Yo. down like a fiery pit with shadow. This and as he's falling, the subtitle says "ack." <laughs> what does the voice he... actually sound like? <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, that's an interesting way to do "ack." <laughs> <laughs> that is an interesting "ack." That's Sonic That's 06. That's basically what it sounds like. I only, like, the meme that I most know from, like, the Sonic screams is, like, in Sonic Curse of the Werehog, where every time, like, you die while you're in Werehog mode, he does, like, a full-on, like, oh, he sounds... Ah! Yeah! It goes on for, like, a solid five seconds. It's so loud and so pained. They committed to that recording. <laughs> Next time, I'm yeah, I think the voice actor sure. has said that, like, it, it shredded my throat to do that damn voice. I'm not surprised. I'm, I wonder how many times he had to, like, do different variations of it as well just to make sure they got one that they liked. That must have been tough. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, I remember freaking... Um, have you ever played Asura's Wrath? Hey. Oh, no, but that's the one... Is that the one with um, Evil Ryu, essentially, in his own game? Or is that a uh, different one? It's I don't not, know. It's not I mean, a Sura I mean, from, like, Street Fighter? No, 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 no. Oh, uh, no, I don't Wrath is, like, an original thing. It's, it's like, basically an interactive, hyper-action shounen anime. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't actually like, know that gods one. gods beating the crap out of each other, and the main character is voiced by Liam O'Brien, and he screams so much <laughs> in that game that poor man Liam O'Brien is a legend I can only imagine what that did to his voice yeah I, I hope he at least took a couple of different days to do that kind of thing but man some of the things actual professional voice actors have to do absolutely scare me yeah <sighs> I've heard about them just like going into the studio for six hours in a row just to record like battle damage sounds and it's like Six hours of just like grunting and screaming? Holy crap. They're strong people. <laughs> yeah, Liam O'Brien is there was amazing. This one, there was this one voice actor that had a character that they kept having to voice because they kept getting brought back despite it dying. Mm. And like, it was really hard on their voice. And like, they would always just like, after like, the, I remember they said that after they like did like a, a some sort of special <laughs> where they returned, they would just like tell their agent, you promise that he's actually dead this time? I said, yes, he's dead. There's no more material featuring this character. You're fine. And then some, like, years later, they would pick up the phone and they got a call and like, like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, what's up? And they just go, the first thing that they said was, dude, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> because they brought him back again. It's like, I know you really didn't want it to happen, but <laughs> it's going to happen. And yo, we got our Riker 2D animation finally. And he's a badass assassin. I did not expect Ooh. that. So he's just sleepy during the day. And then at night, he slays shit, I guess. <laughs> 
That's crazy. And yeah, Liam O'Brien, oh man. Him and like all of the cast of Critical Role, I have mad respect for. They've done yes. like such crazy voice roles already. They're also such OGs. And they're still doing things every now and again, which I like. Yeah. Even though like Critical Role is like enough for them to just survive on. So yeah, oh, yeah it is absolutely. nice to show how much they care about like doing the other things as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Captain Liv, yes! Bum, ba -da -bum. Yeah. <laughs> I love this girl. Hello? Um, ba -bum. I'll warm up to it. Ah. Right. <laughs> hey! Bullet and board. Okay. Yes! Yeah, if yes. you want to play anything else while you're here, just let me know as well. We can no, switch I'm to like any kind of group game. just taking the art direction right now. Yeah, the character designs in this game have been great so far. Yeah. Already found like a few I want to like waifu and husbando up. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's always fun whenever you're going through a game. It's just like, okay, so which which one is going to tug on my heartstrings? <laughs> yeah, 100% Riker. <laughs> it's not even a question. <laughs> I just had to go into the menu real quick to make sure he had a love heart and not a smiley face. It's just like, yes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's my boy then. We're in, boys. <laughs> I'm not surprised you can't romance the ones from Rune Factory 4, but that would be funny. Yep, okay. If he's romanceable, that's the one we're aiming for. Holy crap. One dive into dots. those DMs or, I don't know, parch <laughs> parchment stacks, whatever they ha have here. Oh, hell yeah. Got to start messaging him right now. <laughs> Weather and other conditions would determine if your harvest is bountiful. No, that's too detailed. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll manage to grow things, I'm sure. Wolf Father. Wolf Father is great as well. Wolf Father is the backup, but no. Whitehead boy. Oh, Riker. Outdoor. He's the Have one. All right. I got Good a skill up. I am walking around. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, I want to talk to you. Time to sure. tackle another day. She's the most annoying character so far. She's one of those Sundarays who is overly Sun. And leaves out the dairy. Oh, that. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Sundares are so easy to get wrong. Honestly. Yeah. Like, the, when, when you get a tsundere right, it can be so good. But, well, when you get it wrong, ow. <laughs> when you get it wrong, you just don't want to talk to them. Every time they show huh? up, you're like, oh, not to this shito again. <laughs> <laughs> I still have that screenshot saved. <laughs> So do I. I wanted to like. Did you know that that's actually an animation error, and they redrew it for later releases? I had no idea. I thought that was like yeah, a fan sub thing look, from back in the day. She doesn't look so done with life anymore, and it's like I'm. It's such a tragic loss. <laughs> yeah, it was such a good meme. If anything, they should have led into it more. Just been like, yeah, okay, let's make him look even more frustrated. Give him a full-on like double face bomb. See you later. Oh man. Wait, can I? Ooh, I want to hear. Oh, you wanted to hear a voice? Sorry. I, I heard her say, see you later. I'm, I'm Fulger, I, 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 I don't think I can find her annoying. No, that's fair. Do you just like her too much? You recognize the voice <laughs> she, or is she's, the design? She's voiced by Erica Lindbeck. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, and I, I love her voice acting so much. No, completely fair. Like, depending on who the voice actors are, yeah, sometimes that just makes you fall in love with the characters. <laughs> Yeah, so completely there, there's fair. a few of those. Whenever I hear anybody voiced by um, Taketatsu Ayana-san, I'm just like, okay, th th this okay. is going to be my favorite character, isn't it? And it never okay. fails. <laughs> like when I was watching Quint roles too. Yeah, when I was watching Quintessential, Quintessential Quintuplets, the moment I heard her speak, I was like, what, what, the, the show's over. Best girl is right there. It, <laughs> like episode one, it's, it's already done. There should not be a question for the MC anymore. This is the well, one. Yes. Just do it. Two? Oh god, my garden's full of weeds and sticks. Get out of here. But yeah, I feel that. I think for me, One, like, the only two. English voice actor is probably Matt Mercer for that. Oh, Matt Mercer. Heck yeah. He's, He's had such so a great. crazy year too. He went from freaking Ganondorf to Vincent in Final Fantasy VII. First ever like fully voiced Ganondorf character as well, which is crazy. I know, and I, I, th so I think good. he brought it. I th I, I like his uh, Ganondorf. Yeah, because he did really good as like the fully fledged, full-sized Demon King, but then he also really delivered when it came to just doing like dehydrated, like 
Oh, I'm dying, voice. I'm still a demon, but I will be very exhausted. He did so good on all of that shit. It was yeah, crazy. Yeah, like in some of the cutscenes, like he really sells. Like when he, I heard him speak, I. I heard a king speak. Exactly. <laughs> as soon as he speaks, you're like, yeah, okay, no, this is the demon king. This isn't just Ganondorf. This is Ganon the demon king. Fuck yeah. Please open the door. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, sure. I like that. Please open the door. Please. Somebody open that the a, door. Is that a quest? <laughs> yeah, it is. My two first quests are please that open the door. That is really funny. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what anyone says. That's really funny. <laughs> On the bulletin board, please open the door. Please, somebody. I wanted to go in to bed last night, but it's just not happening. Also, the bow house is sick. Holy shit, they just built this out of a boat. Please tell me she does just genuinely want me to open the door. That would be so hilarious. The dramatic look at it. <laughs> like, oh, that's the boss battle for today. <laughs> oh, God, this game's so cute. Oh, no, I can't do it either. Oh, no. What do we do? Is that so? Um. Oh, what? her sister's a hikikomori. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, time to climb through a window, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just go for it. Yeah, that, it I, I was thinking like, like how long until we just resort to violence? Oh, Ouch. I got defeated by a door. I mean, I am level no! one right now. <laughs> oh, good. The blacksmiths. That's a much better idea. <laughs> the door is dooring too much. The door is just too door, man. Oh, Martin's back. Yeah, mine's cute. I like him. Oh, that whole angsty thing as well going down. You're just gonna hammer it. Oh my god, that hammer! Oh, yes, sir. Oh, even he's fucked. Okay, I guess, I guess that works. Uh, no. Nope. not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hammer like almost the size of the door. Oh, Zilla. okay. Dark has Zilla a bigger hammer. Pulverize the door. This guy's gonna take down the whole house in one swing. <laughs> Wait a moment. Oh, come on. Use your thieves tools, Riker. I know you got them. Ooh, ooh. Are they going to have a pissing contest? Come on. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to hear it from a halfling who's barely cut out for carpentry. Halfling? He's like less than an inch shorter than you, my man. Shot it. He'll eat those words eventually. Man's Two. practicing some projectile mineralogy inside that glass house of his. <laughs> yep. Should not be throwing those rocks. God damn. Hmm. I, I do like that the two white-haired boys have a rivalry going on. It's, it's gonna be a fun I time. I really like how the eyes are rendered on top of the hair, so you can see the eyes even though the bangs cover it. I yeah. love that. That's such a nice aesthetic. Yeah, because it makes it so you can see the expressions a lot better as well. I've always liked yeah. that in anime. Wow. Wow! Impressive. <laughs> Get wrecked, blacksmiths. You'd make a fine <laughs> or a fine thief. Life of crime might actually suit you. <laughs> what? What is his problem? <laughs> I know, right? They have to have some sort of history. Maybe they were like best friends in childhood, and then one became strong, strong. One became fast, fast. <laughs> <laughs> Twink fight? Exactly. Doing this for <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about to say, personally, I that. think they should kiss. <laughs> exactly. They hate yes. each other, but they also fuck each other. <laughs> Go from 50% off is just such a fucking vibe to me. Ah, <laughs> oh, 50% off. Good times. Yeah. It was a fun time while it lasted. I'm so I'm sad they never got to do Yowie on the rocks. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Oh, is this going to be the other dog girl? Yeah, this, okay. This girl to me looks like door to door to door so much. And she bows. <laughs> oh, bow. Bow, bow. Oh, she, of course she gets an anime cutscene. Oh, <gasps> so cute. Of course. Oh, 
Oh no, they're adorable. Yeah, okay, I have officially adopted you. Oh no, <laughs> oh no, they're a frick! Her name's Fuka, she's a Fuchan too! <laughs> oh my god. It's Ow, perfect. Wow. Yeah, she's 10 out of 10. <laughs> Oh, my heart. Oh. Yo, voice actor is putting in work, too. Adorable little growls. <sighs> this is so cute. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Do, does she just not talk? No, she, she's um, um, she's making like some sort of uh, her own personal language, I guess. But it's full of like rawr, 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 kind of noises. It's so adorable. I see. <laughs> Should I say raw? That means I love you in dinosaur. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. That's such a lol XD kind of thing to say. <laughs> Honestly, like, d uh, did you know that there is like sort of a, like an... Uh, old school YouTube styled website where people are still active, like using like that star rating system and like the, all the old channel layouts and everybody is like role playing wow. on their channels in the in the comments like it's the mid 2000s. I did not know there was anything like that. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so you could just really drop sick. in with a quick like Rafflecopter, RAR yes, XD. Exactly. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, welcome Hiya, back, Aya. Aya. I was looking for the right sound cue, but then I got lost on the soundboard. Oh, and then you got hit with good. the Haya, it's Aya. I'm sorry. <laughs> How no. dare you? How Aya, it's Aya is great. <laughs> it is genius. I will give myself that. I am smart for that. My my brain is huge for that. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Luca tried making hike, uh, hike, it's Ike a thing, but I don't think hike? that's... Hike, yeah, it's hike, Ike. It's Ike. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> that is, that is, that is I don't think that's going to become a thing. Oh, Ike, she speaks in broken English as well. She tried to translate herself and she did a wah, yo, nam. It's so cute. Aww. Ah! Wow. What? Her head is so padable. She looks so squishable. I'd squeeze the heck out of her. I know, right? She looks like she'd be so fluffy. She probably smells like strawberries or something. Aww. No, she smells like she smells like My Little Pony 2005 uh, bubble bath. <laughs> that is very specific. <laughs> no, you know, in the mid 2000s, in a lot of stores, they had this My Little Pony bubble bath. They had a, a little thingy of Pinkie Pie at the cat where you can keep it as a toy once you finish using the bubble bath. I think she smells like the 2005 Thanks. My Little Pony Pinkie Pie Bubble Pack. <laughs> I have no idea what that smells like, but I feel like I can smell it despite that. <laughs> like strawberry, <laughs> sakura, maybe a little bit of cherry. Yeah, I, I can imagine exactly what that smells like, and you are so right. <gasps> Ferend? Yeah. Yes. Ferend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Aya, do you have like a collection of those bubble baths so you never run out? They, they got discontinued a while back, unfortunately. I wish I had more. I have the Pinkie Pie thingy mm. still, like the... What's the going on? The that came with the um, bubble bath. Oh, uh, that's kind of uh, cute. I'm impressed you managed to keep uh, that. Uh, oh, yeah, I have hoarder tendencies. It's pretty bad. And we've just found Best Girl. She's so... Ah, on, her breast! Sorry, sorry. Jesus <laughs> Christ, Aya. To be fair, Aya, we were all thinking about it. She is a short stack. This is true. Jeez. She looks like her back has some issues, but other than that, it's awesome. <laughs> Yo, look at this ankle. Yo, Yo, this ankle is crazy. Is just such a I'm, just, I'm waiting for Aya to say a certain thing that she always says. <laughs> what, what, what the... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. She has. She still doesn't know what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, okay. Huh? Jeez, huh? what a pain. Oh, oh my God! Sorry, she's crying. Her voice Sorry. is fucking amazing as well. She's got the proper own nature on voice. Yeah. Oh so my, happy. Oh um, how about you? Sorry, I'm just gobsmacked. Yeah, no, this is awesome. So far, this is the problem. All the characters, even the doctor, who's supposed to be the mother of one of the other characters, have looked like too. too <laughs> I, I want something a bit more mature. This is where we've landed. This is perfect. 
Oh, wait, who's the cute girly in armor and blue behind you? That's Jeez. cute. I like her. Oh, that's my main character. That's actually who I'm playing as. Um, oh, fun. I love an armored girl. Maybe I'm just really tired, but when I first saw it, I thought it was Saber. <laughs> that's what it everybody said when I put on the outfit as well. Sister. <laughs> that's why I get the honor of running this dump. Oh, her voice is oh, no. awesome. I, I'm so sucker for this hair combo, like the the silver to pink faded hair, so cute. I yeah, love and the little like curly bits, and she's like got the whole like oh, I'm too tired to deal with this kind of thing, which is just such a vibe. Her and the white haired boy share that. In fact, yeah, I'm dual wielding. That's my plan. Her and Riker are my guys, guy and girl. <laughs> nice, nice. But yeah, she she's awesome. She's so cool. And yeah, I, I actually I I chose that outfit. That's an outfit from one of the girls from Rune Factory Four. But I was like, I want to dress up in armor with a long cape, and it does look very saber esque. Enough. I'm due play, for another nap. Play. It's like, I love Mind bikini over armor, but I too. also love full plate. I don't know. I like. Uh, full, <laughs> full plate. Yeah, I think there's a balance because. If you're like 100% completely armored, I think it's a bit too much. It can look badass, don't get me wrong, but I like this vibe with like chest plate, a little bit on the bottom, the gloves. If she had some pauldrons to go with this, that'd be great. And then the cloak. Oh, that'd be sick. And just the ability to pull a hood up over like the little tiny like half helmet would be fantastic as well. Oh yeah, no, that's that, man, a man of taste, Luciana, you're a man of taste. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad we agree. Nice. Yeah. Shake hands, shake hands. <laughs> yeah, I, I have food chan armored women. <laughs> armored women, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Boy fix. Boy fix. Bum, 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 bum. What are okay. you, Pikes? I've met everyone. I am looking at Reaper and questioning existence. Oh, no. Oh, it, <laughs> You're back Reaper into the thing? basement. Is it, is Sorry, it, what? Which, which Reaper thing is it? Is it? The music program. No, 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 which Reaper? Like, is it, is it like, Winky Wink? Is it, what, is it what I think it is? Oh. I, I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a lot of things. <laughs> oh, okay, fair. So There's a lot going on. So you are the person have multiple windows of the same thing open. Fair. There's a lot of things on there. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? What was so, this rectangular bozo? That's how I feel every time I have to open what up. What did you just say? Vegas. <laughs> He is a rectangular bozo, to be fair. <laughs> he, I mean, he, it's I, not incorrect, but <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of feeling like, oh yeah, you can't just tell someone they're rectangular. You oh can't God. just ask why someone's rectangular or they don't have a nose, Aya. Come on. Oh my God, Fuchan, you know what I was referencing, yeah. my man. You can't just ask well, why somebody doesn't have a nose, Harry. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know good. that reference. Oh, it's an old Harry Potter meme. My brethren. <laughs> oh. No. This is the thing, like, I never understand, like, Voxy's references because they're all modern, but me and Ike and some other people, we get each other with our, like, We're just early old. 2000s memes. <laughs> You're not oh, even that I... old, is the crazy thing. You were just very, very around on the internet at the same time. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how old I am. I'm like, I know the vague range, but that's about it. Um, clinically ancient. Oh, yeah. Clinically ancient. It's funny because I, I was think actually the last told... two Totsumachis have both just involved Niji old people. <laughs> it's just been like me, Ike, Aya, Kunai, and Vivi. <laughs> I was always told that when, when, like, whenever I would like set, submit my drafts for anything to like editors to like go through, mm. they would always just like go like because they were usually much older than me at the time because I was very young back then. They would just look at me and say. Like you, you're very little old. <laughs> little old is yeah, such a little. nice way to put yeah, it. Yeah, when they they looked at my writing and how I worded things, they're like, Ike, Mr. Evelyn, you're very little old. Do you know that? <laughs> you are a tiny baby boy, but at the same time, God, you're such an old man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Honestly, take that. I would take that as a compliment, especially since yeah, if you were still publishing and being like edited at that time. Fuck yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit harder here because everybody's like, "Who the heck is Ike Evelyn?" I'm like, "Okay, here you're gonna. How long do you have? I have quite the story to tell you." <laughs> you might want to take a seat for this one. Oh, what a surprise! The novelist has like pages and pages and pages and volumes and volumes of lore. <laughs> it's gonna be fun going through it someday. Hell yeah. I need to know more about Eki. That just means station in Japanese. <laughs> okay, okay. It does? Fair enough. Yep, yeah. it does, yeah. Huh. What a clinkadink. What a clinkadink. 
<laughs> Says the archivist. I don't know what you mean. I just archive. <laughs> and when he says archivist, he's he's re referring specifically to AL3. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Every time I, I like this thing, sound called an open archive. A, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna out myself. Everybody knows already, but I, <laughs> I'm one of those fan fiction Time to tackle purists. another day. Oh, you see, fuck you yeah. see, I have I have hands in both pools. I'm 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 double fisting them. I also have a third hand, or at least a third appendage, always ready for the what pads. <laughs> oh my god! I mean... Oh my god! <laughs> How'd you say that? <laughs> what I mean, pad is? You guys know what I am. <laughs> I know who you are. I know what you are. I know what I know you, you are, Fulgarovi. <laughs> pointing emoji. I know you are. <laughs> How's our little town today? Oh, you want Eliza? Whoops. Well, back in the day when forums were still alive and well, for pretty, if you if there was a niche for anything, Time to it tackle usually had a day. forum. Mm. And um, in the forums, there was usually fan fiction, d like dedicated threads. And yes, there was some really good writing coming out of that too, in like I... spe like community mm -hmm. specific forums. I used to be on them all the time on easy board nets. <laughs> oh, sheesh. I joined so many of the role playing ones. I remember like the f my first steps, steps into like finding out how to pronounce Japanese was because you had to be like a Japanese named character on like the Bleach and Naruto role playing pages. So I was like, I have like, to learn hey, Japanese. If I'm going to say this, I'm going to say it right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the first time I tried to, like, like, they were like, you need a Japanese name. And I just made up some gibberish. And they were like, I said a Japanese name. And I was like, shit, they found me out. And now I need to look up hiragana and pronunciation tables. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I worked out in the end, though. It's a learning experience. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Everybody has that one way it's that different. they learn how to pronounce Japanese. <laughs> Yeah, different for every person. How did you guys learn to first like start pronouncing Japanese? Yeah, I can thank Miku for that. <laughs> so Queen. it was Vocaloid songs. <laughs> yes, Vocaloid songs. I wanted to sing them and I wanted to pronounce them correctly, so I mimicked Vocaloids and Utaites, and therefore, it might have somewhat of an idea how to pronounce them when singing. Oh, that's awesome, actually. That's a way better way than me. Just trying to make fake names. <laughs> Random bullshit, go! How did Random you do bullshit. it, Aya? You also have pretty decent pronunciation. I don't think I do. I make a lot of mistakes, though. So. Yeah, but when you get it right, you get it You get it pretty good. Uh, I guess from, like, like sub the enemy, I guess? like. Oh, so just, like, shadowing? Just copying? Not even. I, I never even try to speak it, though. I just kind of, like, I never like, verbalize my very broken Japanese. I just listen, I guess. And I also, like, put just a lot of vocal. I just... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of vocal. You know, like, 2008 was a great year for Vocaloid, okay? It was a great Miku year. Miku is the best Japanese teacher. <laughs> she is. She is. She should be an, uh, like... What's an it, what's it called? Like, an ambassador. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised she's not yet, honestly. Yeah, she has an English voice bank, so... Hmm. Just she's, go she, for it. She has Put her the, the qualifications. <laughs> she could probably bring about world peace if she wanted to, honestly. Honestly, yeah. I think if Miku it's gonna is be like anyone, an international agreed language. Yeah, like, if it's gonna be anyone in this day and age, it's gonna be Miku. Let's be real. The world mm -hmm. is hers, after all. Yes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we can either destroy it at that point enough. or make it better. It's either one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, as being long as you destroyed know that by one Miku, Fulgur, you pass. Yay! I know that yeah. one and I know, like, just be friends. Oh, we yes. gotta do. Just, gotta do is just be friends. Found to say goodbye. Just be friends. Although my favorite one is still like um, dancing samurai. Dancing samurai. Samurai. Oh. Yeah, that was I a fucking like ball. I feel like Good would like um would like a cute and like Sinjilin or something. Ooh. Oh. Those would be up your alley. Who just did a cover of Sinjilin in the end? Is it Sunny and someone? Fish. Sunny and Fish. Sun, sunny and yeah. Fish. Yeah, I listened to that the other day. Damn. Whoa. They go hard. Fish has been doing a lot of covers recently. I know. It's so great. Feels so blessed. Yeah, it's been so much music going on between like Fish and Marilyn and and then Millie. You know, like, I would so kill to see someone in Ian cover Google it. That's like <laughs> that's like a certified a certified absolute like ancient song but it's so cute and catchy i love it <laughs> that one i, I don't like, actually know 
Uh, it's a song called Go Google It, but like it's uh, it's it, the title is like uh, from a like Japanese short shorthand, Google Cuss, which oh, right. basically means Google it, you f idiot. <laughs> so awesome. I, and I didn't know that. So like uh, once I just when somebody asked me something that I didn't know and I just wanted to light lightheartedly just said, I just said like, oh, I don't know. Go Google it. And I just. Uh, I just said, oh, sirimasen, Google it. Oh. <laughs> and they, just, they were so oh. taken aback. Oh. They couldn't believe oh. what I said, and I had to apologize profusely. I felt <laughs> so bad. That's oh so God. funny. That's actually awesome. <laughs> I was, I was like super polite to them too, and they were like, huh? What, what did you just say to me? <laughs> They were I like, I thought he was so a funny. nice boy, but God, that was so mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were uh, understanding. Right. Like, I, I was able to explain myself, and they just thought it was funny after that. But I was very careful with repeating things that I think I know what they are from that point on. <laughs> um, I feel like you get a pass, though, because you're always so, so gentle in your delivery. He says... I don't know. Like, I feel like you can tell you can tell me something obscene. I'll be like, oh, okay, you know, like I Honestly, just roll. yeah. <laughs> if you roll with something like that, yeah, it's just like, wow, they're so abusive, but I kind of like it. I, just, I don't know, man. No, that's just a you thing, Fuji. <laughs> Fair enough, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh yeah, someone in chat said I want to cover the madness of uh, Duke uh, Venomania. That'd be so good, though. Oh, I love Gakpo. That'd be so good. Gakpo is the one who did uh, Dancing Samurai, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, indeed. interesting. There's so much yaoi. Purple haired one. Oh, yeah. No, I know that for sure. The fan art for Vocaloids goes crazy. Oh, yeah. It goes hard. And so does the yaoi. Ooh, it's a confidant. <laughs> oh, it's a confidant. Sorry, confidant. Oh, why are you getting them off? No. <laughs> oh, no. He was in my way. He could just walk around it. No, I had to it was aggressive. To the when I was playing near because one of the first missions is killing a bunch of sheep, and I was like, "I'm sorry." <laughs> I mean, at the same time, but they know their livestock; they're fine. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god! Well, in like a bad way, just in like I mean, they are. It's a fact. <laughs> they're in every game. Oh, there's a pink one. Fleecy. Oh, those are super rare in Minecraft. They have like a very low attack Oh, maybe they were rare in here too, but either way, they died. <laughs> well, they're extinct now, okay. People in chat, we're used to it. In brackets, please send help. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cry for help. This is a I cry for help. I can just imagine like, Fuchan walking through a forest, a, like, like a, a trail of a dead sheep and there's like that Peter Griffin death pose. <laughs> No, even better. Just everyone locked into a Yamcha hole. <laughs> Every confidant gets a Yamcha hole. That sounds so wild to me just now. <laughs> I mean, if they're into that character, it could be good. Who knows? Yeah, you know, live your best life. Li like, li do not let your dreams just be dreams. Exactly. Live just do it, Yamcha. Yamcha hole. <laughs> live, love, Yamcha hole. How am I supposed to live, laugh, love in this hole? This hole, it was made for me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that Nothing. reminds me, I gotta, I gotta watch the the Netflix collection. I heard that it was decent. It's pretty good. Oh, pretty yeah, good. I've heard that's pretty good. Yeah, I just came with no expectations. I think for it's worth it. It does the job. That's the best you could really hope for, because that's such a hard like art style to adapt to and whatnot. Yeah, it's like it's, Please, it's hard to Please, I want to see more well. of the Uzumaki adaptation. It looks so promising. Release oh. it already. Is no, actually, I watched the live action for a while back. It was fascinating. Wow, I I've, I've never met someone that watched the Uzumaki live action. I'm I'm impressed. Like, I haven't even I seen that know. yet. But it's, it's actually funny. pretty good though. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. expecting a whole lot. There were some jarring visuals, which is as, which is what I was there for. So yeah, I got yeah. the job done for me. Mm. Yeah, if it's like making you uncomfortable, they've done a good job. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I just went on a really long binge many years ago of like various Japanese live action adaptations of properties that I knew of. Like I went through like the two of the Ao Oni movies. Mm -hmm. There's an Ao Oni movie. There's two yeah. of them. Oh my god, I have. 
I, that seems like an unadaptable kind of thing. I'm shocked they managed Actually, to do the that. Actually, second, the second movie kind of works. Holy crap, let's go. <laughs> I'm glad to the hear first, that. The first one, no comment. <laughs> yeah, there's a corpse party live action. Like Aya said, there's a Uzumaki live action. Corpse party is kind of wild too. That's like such a violent one. Mm -hmm. Did they actually use like teenagers or did they use like full grown adults kind of thing? Uh, they were fairly young, if I remember correctly, but it wasn't very graphic. Oh, if okay, I recall. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, part of the fun of that game is like the graphic violence, but I can understand why they wouldn't want to do that in like a live action thing with actual young actors. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Have you seen Tokyo Gore nice. Police? No. That it's sounds the badass though. Nice. Yeah, the title yeah. is just like, ah, I see. <laughs> God damn. You know what movie I we saw recently that, that was kind of like wild? Well, not. It wasn't bad, but it was just wild. I, I watched uh, Death Forest recently. It's like this like, low key oh. obscure like, uh, movie. It was designed. It was made after this this game that was really popular back in like the early 2010s. It was like that. You know that PNG that flying, that flying like floating head with a big smile? Like it, it was modeled after that game. It was oh. wild. What? Was I'm people. scared. Is that the one? Yeah, I think yeah. It's after the I'm scared. No, is it? Let me Google this one. I think we find a link to the gameplay. Uh, Let's turn my game down a tiny bit too. The oh, battle it's this music one. Loud. Oh yeah, it's share like, some it images. It was, yeah, it was a uh, button collab BC text. Beep boop. Yeah, it's Let's this one. See. Oh, I haven't. Yeah, no, I've definitely never seen that. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, the looking. Movie, oh, the, that thing. Ugh. Yeah, there's a live action movie for this. Holy. Ugh. Oh, God, that is unnerving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take it off. I'll take it off. Sorry about that. You know, there's a live action for it. And the makeup is pretty fun. It's pretty, a weird concept. It wasn't super great, but it was fun to look at. Yeah, it's impressive that they managed to capture that type of look into a live-action movie. Um, yeah, I'm, and I'm, ca I'm happy they captured the uncanny valley of, like, the, the antagonist. Yeah. What was the name of that movie, Aya, for people in chat? Oh, uh, Death Forest. Death Forest. It, it sounded like one of the other ones I'd heard of, but it was about, like, a real-life serial killer. Um, mm. So very different. So many of these monsters are so adorable. I don't like having to kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> what are they, these, uh, these are... They, what are these called? They eat acorns and they, they burrow in... They, they burn a the tree. What are those called again? Um, Squirrels? Like, Squirrels? Yeah. Squirrel. Chipmunks? I, I can't believe I forgot what a squirrel was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she called me serious? squirrels. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were doing a bit. I thought you were going to like do a D's nuts joke on us or something. <laughs> I didn't, I, didn't what what a was. <laughs> I didn't only forget what a squirrel was. I didn't forgot what a squirrel was. Sorry. That's so funny. No, that's that's awesome. I great. I love that. <laughs> yeah. I, I was about. I, forgot, I was running out of names. I was about to call it marketable rat, but I was like, oh no no no. I'm a squirrel, right? <laughs> what are those no, creatures called? Pikachu. Oh, I was gonna say <laughs> Pikachu's right. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, they're called chip squeaks in this, which is just adorable, and I'm still oh, gonna nice. kill them all. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> hey, they're valuable resources, right. man. Someday I'll be able to like actually keep them around. Speaking today of is squirrels, not that day. Oh, the game that I played this week. I highly squirrels recommend that you. Yeah, give it a go. It was fun. I only know about <laughs> it because I think like the developer of Squirrel Stapler also made like Iron Lung, I think. Yeah, he did make he did make R and Long. Hmm. I'm leaving. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> people Have fun, like Luke, I? I'm out of no, here. No, people like the accent. Don't do it. Like, it's, it's charming. It's, it's charming. It's adorable. We like it. I'm out of here. The Goodbye. only reason we call it out is because it's like, oh, that was so cute. It's like when Remu says um, serotonin rather than serotonin. Yeah, serotonin. It's, <laughs> it's just so adorable. Yeah, apparently the European folks call it um, al aluminum. Al 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 aluminium? Yeah, aluminium. aluminium. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't say aluminum. Aluminum sounds weird to me. Yeah, same. I don't know which one was like the original one, but al aluminium is just like every what I've always heard. I feel like aluminum is like the American way of saying it, and then aluminium is the metal, the cool way of saying it. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's like a proper way and then like a fun way. Yeah, it sounds... I feel like aluminium would be like one hell of a metal band. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, aluminium. Minium, and they'd have a class, sick aluminum. logo. I mean... I fully thought the first time when you told me that you were gonna sing Illumina, I thought that you said that you were gonna sing Aluminium, and I was very confused. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a sheet of uh, Aluminium foam, just shake it in front of the microphone, and that's the entire song. <laughs> Crumple it. Honestly, that's a good way to make lightning sounds. <laughs> Thunder yeah. and lightning. I have foil right here. Hold on. Let's go, noise oh. board. That's the ASMR for everybody at home. <laughs> so now I, I just casually have foil at my desk. Don't I? <laughs> Why do you? Were you like eating something wrapped in aluminum, aluminum, or was it just like random? That's like a school thing. It's a safe play. You make the body out of foil, so you can save like a uh, material and you can make it way less. Oh, I didn't even realize that. That's sick. Yeah. Like, a lot of people, like, I follow a lot of, like, Japanese sculptors on YouTube who, like, sculpt, like, anime girls and stuff. And a lot of, like, the torsos beneath all the clay is, like, just, like, um, packed up, uh, aluminum foil. Because it just is, uh, less weedy and eats up less material. Nice. You do a lot of, like, yeah. handcraft kind of stuff, huh? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just, I like being, I like doing stuff with my hands. I, I did, I did right. Gunpla for the first time last night. It was fun. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, Gumpla. Oh, God. I got one shot. Ooh, Ooh. Jesus. Shouldn't what have... the heck? That was the wrong your neighborhood to rock up to. <laughs> your crimes against nature have been accounted for. You are now free of sin. I think the best thing is I was killing, like, cows and foxes and little beast men with bows and arrows, but it was a flower spitting on me that killed me. <laughs> Mother nature had enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I was sure the bee was gonna take you out. I don't know. Like, I'll fight a cow. I'll fight a cow over a bee any day. Honestly, no, no, no. Cow, cow kicks are pretty damn painful. <laughs> no, but like, I can eat the cow. I can have the filet mignon, but I can't have. <laughs> I can eat bees. You can eat bees. No. What if I'm allergic? They're all. What if they're crispy and stuff? I don't like that. You can eat bees nuts. <laughs> I hate, I hate, she I hate left. that I laughed at that. I'm so mad at myself. I hate that I laughed at that. I tried so hard not to laugh at that. Yeah, it was like the worst joke I'm ever. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. That's why it was funny though, because it was so fucking bad. <laughs> welcome back, Ayaya. I did not feel welcome here, fool girl. Babe. You Sorry. are always welcome Nor here. Nor I with so you, I feel feeling. at home. No, I am not. I'm, Hey! Hey! Uh -huh. Audio jungle! <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong one. Hold on. No, 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 I am streaming pain. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot. We can't even use our stuff. Sorry. Fetch is your book, me and Fu Chang going, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> We knew, we knew what was coming. Yeah, as soon as you said wrong one, it was like, oh, here comes the triple oh, volume one. It's kind of like when I, it's kind of like when I say like, hey guys, check this out. You just know to be worried. Yeah, exactly. To be fair, I was surprised earlier when you hit me with a fish noise. That was new. Yeah. Who's this cutie on the right? Who's this, this, this is my favorite boy. His name's Riker. At night, he goes around assassinating people and lockpicking shit. And at daytime, he just chills and acts real pretty and sexy. Why do I like pretty boys who are white-haired and are rogues at night? This is crazy. I know, right? It reminds me of the main guy from Dungeon... Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon too? Tomato face. Oh, I, I thought of some. I yet. thought of someone different. I, th I thought of Griffith from Berserk. Oh, let's go! Griffith is also well, awesome. We, we are we are in very different flavors of white-haired anime boys right now. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, Asterion is like, the those worst are very one. Very different people. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think Griffith goes beyond. That man's a criminal. That that man deserves death. Asterion like, is still. Hey, Griffith did nothing wrong, and Asterion is still worse. I uh, oh god you are so as so, oh, I'm going to have a stroke yeah, I'm, I'm staying the heck out of this one <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm, going to have I'm a not touching this I, one It's like I felt a singular blood clot form in my brain it's going to cause a stroke in just a second listen here buddy listen 
I like this is coming from someone who likes Griffith as a character because I love an irredeemable piece of shit. I love that personally, but you cannot compare Griffith to Astarian. You cannot do that. <laughs> no, you are correct because Griffith is just better in every way. <laughs> oh, there she again. goes. <laughs> she left. <laughs> oh man. If only she knew how right I was. Starian's a fuck boy. He's not fun. <laughs> Griffith is badass. He may do some evil shit. Welcome back, Ayaya. Okay. Huh? Listen, listen, listen. He, he's, oh, he's, uh, uh, Griffith is an actual war criminal. Gr Starian's a theater kid. He's so much less harmful. Than, okay, than less Griffith. harmful, but also way less interesting and definitely less sexy. Was, have you have you gone to Astarian's route yet? Have you gone to, a, to Yes, I did yet? the beginnings of his. Well, I didn't. I was sitting there watching Scarla the go accent, through it. Fulgur Ovid. I watched Scarla go through it. It was terrible. He's a fuckboy. But you played him like a fuckboy. You have to play him right. I'm going to fix him. Just watch. I'm going to fix him. I'm going to fix him. <laughs> I'm going to fix him. him. See, if you have to say I'm going to fix him, that's the beginning of the problem. It should be, I don't want to fix him. He's irredeemable, no, no, and I like a, that. <laughs> it's okay, Fully. You can be loud and wrong. You're, it's okay. You I'm allowed to be wrong, yeah. yeah. I, I, I will love you regardless of how incorrect you are. There's no wrong when it comes to fictional characters, anyway. Just enjoy what Precisely. you enjoy. Precisely. Also, we got chat. We are fully kidding. This is just... These are anime boys. Anime boys have no feelings. Yeah. They're anime boys. Do whatever you want to them, and they can't complain. What are they going to yeah, do? Yeah, which is why a star is better. <sighs> <laughs> You're allowed to be incorrect, Aya. This is fine. This is fine. I'm, I'm surprised you don't like Gail. I feel I feel Gail would be right up your alley. Gail was okay. I, I did like Karlak. Um, I liked... I what was her name? The evil drow lady? M oh, Minthara. Yeah, she was fun. And no, I like the mail driver underground. Sent me the, uh, Scarla on a on a random Tuesday sent me the full like sex scene with Minthara. <laughs> just like in case you wanted to know what it looks like. I was like, I didn't even ask for it. She just sent it out of nowhere. That is very Scarla, to be fair. <laughs> no, like, legit. She like she like we'll be in VC and she's like, hey, wait, let me send you some porn. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's very forward. Yeah. Scarlet does it's not hold back. <laughs> it's Scarlet's not a known purveyor of fucks. True. Uh, yeah. She does not fuck around, and she definitely has fun. <laughs> I appreciate that. She's got some base taste when it comes to anime boys, too. Oh, well, she likes them nice and toxic, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I was about to say, like, mm, the, what do you mean by nice? <laughs> <laughs> nice is in, not nice at all. <laughs> I think you know the first time I ever talked to Scala, it was about, like, I mean, this, this, this was years and years ago, but it was about Diabolic Lovers. <laughs> I am not diabolic surprised. I am still not surprised. No. Oh, yes. I, you just unearthed exists. so many memories. I hope it comes out okay. The way my expression did not change at all. I know, right? It's like, that does not surprise me at all from Scala, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Okay, can I go out and fight again? Sure, why not? I can just die again. It's no big deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Life is meaningless. Go for it. Studio Palmo. You know, I made this very unfortunate discovery a while back, but I realized that Shu has the same hairstyle as Owl Bluff from Dramatical Murder. Why would you put that in my head? And then I saw a fan art of him lying in bed. Like, you know, Alvin, that, that boat. That yeah, with headphones. like his headphones yeah. attached to his head. Yes, I yeah. remember exactly the art. And you are so true. And it hurts me. <laughs> well, no. I'm right, so. <laughs> You're right, but should you have said it? <laughs> right. Correct about what, uh, what cost? You're right, but that doesn't mean you're not wrong. God damn it. God. Just because you're right doesn't mean you're correct. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, now you kinda of have the mink hairstyle, Fluchan. The what style? Like you have like you have like the pulled back and then the two pieces of hair framing your face mink from dramatical murder. Oh uh, yeah, the handlebars you grab onto. Eh? Mink was a lot what? buffer though, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's skip over that. Pretend I'm, I didn't say that. I'm not joking, Fuchan. I, I was looking at my other energy. monitor, and when you said that, I did a full, like, the office turnaround going, what? 
<laughs> so like, like, I literally, like, Jim, a cartoon look character. I looked up, like, what did he say? I joked about it during the <laughs> debut. I was like, yeah, I got handlebars on the back and a po uh, handlebars on the front and a ponytail on the back. You can choose where to grab. <laughs> the old uh, food chat. I hope this doesn't come across weird. The old man, yeah, you're getting is so top notch. I'm it so is. happy for you. Like, yeah, the artists have delivered so heavily over the oh, last. It's not even been a week, oh, which is crazy. Oh, MS. That became a thing on the channel for a while, and I was like, oh god. Yep. <laughs> It's funny because on the Discord, when you posted your outfit like weeks ago, like Alvin immediately responded, no hesitation, just say. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> when I first showed it to them like a few months ago, yeah, it was straight up Sunny of all people who just immediately like full caps, old man sex. <laughs> <laughs> Have you Shit seen that so one funny. picture of Sunny Fulger? <laughs> oh, which <laughs> one? Into the tunnel. <laughs> the tunnel one. <laughs> no, actually. Oh, you haven't? No. <laughs> Send it, send it, Ike, send it, Ike. <laughs> it's in collab VC. <laughs> oh. It's my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> oh, that. Okay. I didn't even know what, like, meme you were referencing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Sunny is perfect for that. <laughs> Bro, I want this engraved on my tombstone. I need this image of Sunny engraved on it. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I knew who, who made it. Welcome. Yeah, oh, no I, don't, I don't remember where I got this from. Oh, oh to anybody who doesn't realize, it's um, Sunny running after a car. It's from Take that meme. Well, what does the guy scream while he's? I know it ends with just sex. Thanks. The fact that you remembered the full <laughs> sentence is so good. I forgot to bleep one of them. Yeah, no, yeah, that listen, made it even better. <laughs> Ike Evelyn, the e, the e in Evelyn stands for Encyclopedia of Mimetic Knowledge because we've been in calls where he can recite entire five minute long meme videos. It's insane. <laughs> I can also... I also know every single Pokemon cry from off the top of my head. That's freaking scary. I don't from, remember any of from them. From Gen 1 through 4. What Voltorb. does a meow sound like? Oh, Voltorb. I, I, I mean, I can't like produce the sounds. Oh, you but, just can recognize like, them when but, you hear but, them? Yeah, but, but ah. there is there is a quiz and I never I, I never mess it up. That's actually well, that's freaking impressive. amazing. Yeah, I don't think I could get anywhere near that. You know what? That makes sense though, because he is like an audio boy. He, he is musical and that kind of thing. So I guess he just has a good memory for like sounds and stuff. Yeah, good auditory learning. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, plant monsters. Let's see how this goes this time. Welcome, nature. I shall. Welcome to the Rainforest Cafe, bitch. Oh, they do hit hard. Oh, they're so silly looking. Yeah, they oh. are. They've got like little umbrella lily pads. Oh, oh God. They're, they're just spherical little dudes. They look so stupid. I they're going to kill me, though. I'm out. You know what? I've done enough for one day. I'm going back to town. <laughs> Fuck oh, this shit. So <laughs> They're stupid looking, but they are deadly. <laughs> nope, nope, oh, just nope. Just like me. <laughs> You're not stupid looking. You are friend shaped. <gasps> Yay! Return home. Yay! I lived barely. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I love fish time for a long rest. I can't stop referencing D&D. I'll stop now. Wait, I can't stop that. <laughs> no, never stop. D&D is awesome. It is. I can't wait for D&D. &D. I'm finally going to play D&D &D for the first time in like three months. Yay. Yeah, it's been yeah, a boy. while. Yeah, D&D &D is such, D &D. such a hassle to write for. Yeah, that's the problem. It's so much to set up for and then it's over within like three to four hours and it's like, oh, I worked for yeah. three weeks on that. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I think, like, one game takes between 9 to 12 hours of setup. Like, it, it, gets, it gets pretty bad sometimes. That's honestly better than I expected. For me, it would take way longer. You are better at doing that. Well, it's just because it's one shot. Like, if I had to write full campaigns, I think the last full campaign I wrote took three months to write. Oof. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I would love to I see, like, a long-form campaign at some point in Digisan GN, though. Yeah, it's hard to align schedules because, like, even outside of Niji, even just like regular offline D and D, getting like the group together is like the hardest part of D and D is just the timing. Yeah, for sure. 
I finally have an axe. And my axe. And my axe. And my bow. Remember that one post that was just like, I want to write a D&D campaign, but just play by myself and DM myself. So you I have want been informed to that this is fiction. called writing. <laughs> then they follow it up with, I've been informed that this is called writing a book. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's so true. <laughs> I, oh I saw this God. tweet a while back about this is this, is this t-shirt that says like I pause the music video with my OCs in my head. This better be good. <laughs> I'm like, shoot, damn, I feel called out right now. <laughs> if you interrupt my date my my daydreams and you it better be good. It better be very good. Exactly. Alright. Is the bitch on off topic? I just saw the thumbnail right. at the stream. It is so cute. Did you saw what on the stream? The thumbnail for your stream. It's so oh, cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That is by Huhu, who does like so many cute little, like, um. Oh, yeah. Who yeah. Who does the cutest art? They do so many cute illustrations. Yeah. And they're incredibly fast every time they draw them as well. Like, I feel like I finish a stream and a lot of the time Huhu's already done like two pieces of art from it. All right. Really sweet of them to be so active. <gasps> I can finally get turnips. Yeah. Turnips. Yeah. Gonna have some delicious soup tonight. Soup. I love soup. I love not having to chew my food. Right. Exactly. Soups, smoothies. Right. Anything to stop you from having yes. to do extra okay. work. Don't take this the wrong way, but what yes. is like why is yes. everybody right. memeing about girls love their soup as of lately? I see it everywhere. I don't thing? know. I haven't heard that before. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't heard that one either. Is it, is it like a new, like a newfangled new kids meme? No, I've just seen like put reposts nice. like from TikTok on Twitter when they're just talking about like how everything is horrible, life is a dark place, and then all of a sudden, like, oh my god, soup. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Life does suck, but <gasps> soup, soup makes me happy. <laughs> okay, that's Ike with Miku. He, it, like, like, yeah, okay, apart, life that's sucks. fair. Oh, hey, Miku. <laughs> oh my god, Miku. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> I think I've seen literally a piece of fat art of that, actually, of you being like, Oh, oh my god, if there is, so is something like that, I want to <gasps> see it. I, 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 have the, I have the one where I run into Miku at the supermarket. And <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, we, oh. we both reach for a caviar tube. And she just goes, oh, sorry. And I just go, oh, ma, Miku, oh, Miku. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, that, that might actually be the one I was thinking about, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Hope it comes out okay. I, I, want more, I want big more fan art of okay? me and Carla. No Have y'all seen okay? my favorite one? No. You were only sending me like <laughs> solo call like yesterday. Hit me with the actual fan art, yeah. Oh, I got you, bro. I got you. It's safe for work, I promise. Well, that's less interesting, but okay, I'll take it. No, but it's it's still spicy. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, for it's everyone, my favorite. it's that image of, I forget where the original meme comes from, but the same thing is like the Claude and Wilson kiss, the really like over the top <laughs> Muppet looking thing. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> why? Totally spicy, Aya. I'm glad to know where your interests lie. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can stop pulling these out. Remember when I was playing through P5? And during certain parts of the game, like, I would get a bunch of super chats with people just saying, like, put this towards your marriage. And I'm just like, stop that. Was it for food? Oh, I died. No, shut, shut up, Fuchan. Oh, it was? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. How'd you die? Did you, did you just simultaneously combust? I ran out of room points. When you run out of room points, it starts using your HP. I was just, I was distracted. <laughs> I was like laughing and imagining the super chats coming into Ike. I'm not even gonna lie. I was like, yeah, yeah, I make those jokes sometimes too. <laughs> it's fine. This is good. <laughs> I missed one time. I got a super from Jesus. Yo, yeah. Jesus has been he quite active in the Niji Sanji and stuff. <laughs> Jesus, is my man. You know, Jesus, like, just like fucking us descended from the hands of, oh, and then this, and opened his scroll, said, door, and just left my chat. <laughs> just as it. Does not elaborate, does not expand. That's all he needs. <laughs> yeah, just God raise away. God raise away. That is a <gasps> sentence. My wife and my child are interacting. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. The, ang the 
there's no angle. Even from behind, you can still see them. That's crazy. Yeah. I yeah. I mean, I can't. She's not wrong. Her. She has <laughs> eyes. But they're not. She's not facing me. But her. But her other eyes are. Oh, is she sniffing me? Oh no, she's looking into the eyes. The adorable child. Yeah, she's so cute. Yeah. I can't wait to bring her into the dungeon and see how she wrecks shit. Um, like, I would love her. Is she, is she a DPS? I'm gonna be a DPS. I think That's she awesome. has to be. I think she probably just uses, like, bare fists and just stabs people. Someone in yeah. chat said the other eyes. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> okay, my RP are back. Awesome. This is such a relaxing game. Yeah, the visuals are nice. It's so colorful and cute. Yeah, once we get past all the tutorial stuff, it's just going to be like very basic, like daily farming, fighting, fucking, and it'll be fun. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Jesus is in chat now. I heard people are summoning me. Thank you for being Ooh. here, Jesus. I hope you're having I a wonderful you, day. I love you, Jesus. Big fan. <laughs> Hina? Oh, I wish I could gift members. Um, I know, I wanna right? Him, I want to make Jesus a confidant. <laughs> Pretty sure they got a gift. No, it was Mary Magdalene that got a uh, gifted the other day. She had a dream about her mom. Poor kid. Aww. Oh, breast. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> true though. <laughs> You this oh was my God. first favorite character, but then the white-haired boy showed up. He looks like Laguz from, huh? like, he looks like um, Mordecai, the Laguz from uh, Fire Emblem Catherine. You are right. Holy shit. Huh. Yeah, that purple with the green eyes and then the red makeup. Oh, everything is just on point on this guy. Aww. Is that so? Oh my god, now Comfies are raining down gifted memberships to try and get Jesus as a confidant. Oh no. In the Lord name, you may go in peace as love and serve the Lord. Go, gift him <laughs> the gift of Comfie <laughs> Okay, so now I have to find a wolf mother. This is fine. Actually, yeah, so did Chad made a good point. You, Fuchan, you yeah. are a little Jesus coded. You have a, you, you're like a shepherd oh, to your flock. Okay. That's very Jesus coded. I don't think I ever want to be called Jesus Cody. <laughs> I, I, there's a certain level of sacrilege that I'm fine with. <laughs> I, I definitely see what you mean, but I mean, we get called... We get, I, I, I joke about us being a cult enough. We definitely don't want to be like, yeah, now I'm like Jesus. <laughs> no, no, for legal reasons, we're not a cult. We just occasionally enjoyed blood sacrifice as like a fun little side activity. It's exactly. Occasionally, we sacrifice some confidence dance to turn into some shepherd's pie but other than that yeah. i mean we're pretty chill like every now and then they yeah have to be that's just to the claw of sweeney todd yeah, yeah. <laughs> the demon barber of Depp, you know? street i miss johnny depp man yeah hopefully he'll be back soon i, I, was, like, I don't know like do people like past the caribbean i liked it i i think J jack sparrow's a fun character i like very chaotic very cha chaotic good i like it jack sparrow is awesome yeah I wasn't such yeah. a big fan of uh, whoa, 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 uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, but it was good. It was okay. It was a vibe. Um, it had some I fun moments. Stevie the sword Jones fighting was really good, and the music was incredible. Oh, yeah. Iconic, even. Yeah, the whole, like... Hans Zimmer, baby. Hell yeah, Hans baby. Hans does not mess around. I'm pretty sure that man is, like... like that means insane. Crazy. Crazy Dio. Crazy Fun. Dio. Pick it up because I'm a beast. <laughs> These mothers want to hurt us and they got to go. There's no escaping it. I can perceive you. Here's what we're gonna do. Me and my boy's gonna mess you up. I rolled a one. I rolled a one. Fuck! My boys are otherwise engaged. I have to bring it all myself. Hey! I can't believe how well you remember that one, Jesus. Yeah, it's on like... repeat. It's on repeat, this. It's so catchy. <laughs> it is really catchy. Same for Red Flags. Red Flags is so good. That human one is awesome. Human centipede, human centipede. 
<laughs> also, oh god. Um, Have uh, you checked fun. your butthole? Did it? Get up, bat. <laughs> <laughs> Iconic lines only. Yeah, god. Everything that guy does. He just did one with Danny Sexbang and Ninja Sex Party, which is really good as well. Oh, really? I have yeah. not heard that name in ages. I have not kept up with NSP in such a long time. Uh, I still watch occasional Game Grumps episodes, so like I see every now and then when they upload new things. But yeah, it's called like Dance Until You Stop. And it's, it's really good. It's really funny. It's about just like awkward people showing up at a party and how they just want to hide in the corner. <laughs> Damn. Also known as off collabs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that fear, Hi. thankfully. <laughs> wow, there was nothing bad said about that. It's true. Like, I we're mean, all a bunch I of mean, introverts. Like, I'm joking, of course. Yeah. It's a joke. <laughs> fear. This, fear. Nobody d decides to take this seriously. Like, I'm just joking about us being socially awkward. Listen, no, I'm over. I'm constantly overflowing with charisma and, <laughs> and confidence. That, that can't be me. It's not me. Unless. Unless. <laughs> Listen, I, I was... Uh, when I was at the, uh, the, uh, the... When I met other Niji members in last October, they were like, Yo, Ari, you're so crazy cool. No one should ever call you a dork. And like, you know... <laughs> that is not what anyone said ever yeah. in their lives. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. It happened. Source, trust me, bro. Source, no, no, trust no, me, I'm, bro. I'm gonna Believe call it. Scarlet right now and ask her, Hey, Scarlet, was I cool doing the off of... Yeah, you were. Okay, yeah, see, she said it. I'm just the coolest. Wow, she's even got voices in her head that talk to her now. That's cool. Wish oh, I had those. Oh, always, baby. Always. <laughs> I can never be alone. The voices. They're calling out to me. Oh, God, they're, they're getting louder. <laughs> I can never be and alone. The voices, the voices is just chat. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I talk about the chat being like the voices in my head all the time. That's spot on. <laughs> No requests. If, I guess I have to go kill shit. What if we're in a coma and like, and chat is just the doctors trying to wake us up? Honestly, I, I, I fuck with my chat with that so much where I'm like, yeah, guys, did you ever hear that sometimes when you're in a coma, you subconsciously think about waking up and you, you, you while you're just like living about your day, thinking you're going through a normal thing, you're actually going through a traumatic experience, but your subconscious is trying to w tell you to wake up. And sometimes you just have to sit there and go through your daily day, but deep down you're hearing a voice in your head constantly telling you, please, wake up. Anyway, I hope you all have a good day. Take it easy. <laughs> that reminds me of like in D&D, like when the last, when you played with uh, Fuchan, Lala, Mika, uh, uh, you're right there, you Fuchan, with Vox, <laughs> Vox, the crew. That like, crew. You, you, you pulled a silly on me, you were like, like, yeah, you know, well, every day I always think about the fact that we are being controlled by a teenage girl in her bedroom telling, uh, telling a story and making <laughs> us play a game with her. I'm like, wait, hold on. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, I mean, I, I literally, I, I built it into my character because I did the, I forget, background? Yeah, the background nice. where it's like, um, you know an unspeakable truth that would turn the world on its head, but nobody believes you. And I was like, yeah, I know that the DM exists. Yes. That works for nice. me. <laughs> nice. The DM is one goober. That's it. You're being controlled by a singular goober. Good luck. Just one goober. Just one goob. Just That's one all goob. I need. I'm a humble Ooh. little goob. All I do is cause problems and be gooby. All of the goobing. I am gonna pop off and order some dinner. It was nice hanging out with y'all. It was lovely chatting. to hang out with you, Ike. Thank you for swinging by, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Anytime, you two. Wait, what are you getting for dinner? I'm probably gonna get some bacon burger. Let's go! Okay, have a lovely day, Ike. Thank you for being here. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Jesus! He deflated he all the way membership. out. Jesus is a member now? Oh no. <laughs> I love you, Jesus. I'm a big fan. Oh, Somehow I feel like that's I'm gonna become a HP problem. Bar. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh yeah, you the got Nash big. I'll put you down here now. They're not, they're not allowed to look now. No, they, can't, it's, they just guess what? No! <laughs> yeah. Can I sit on your head? You know what? Yes, you can, Aya. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Yay! I wish we could pin Fugies. That would be a lot of fun. They still Daddy, like light I up and react and everything, but then we could pin them so they would be moved. They would move with us. Especially yesterday yeah. when you were in Kunai's cleavage. That shit would have been hilarious. That would have been so funny. <laughs> As it was, like you showing up for your next stream and just being like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I'm streaming right out of the Well, no, I'm gonna stream right out of the cleavage. It was yeah, awesome. Yeah, I was not pretending I was parked there. I was fully parked there. It was very warm. I'm surprised you managed to fit a whole bedroom in there, to be honest though. Other than that, yeah, I I, that was it's amazed. a camera space in there. It's it's basically like like a 
fun bags of holding, you know? Fun bags of holding. <laughs> I know you meant separate words like fun bags of holding, but fun bags is just, oh, such a cringe thing to hear. <laughs> what? what? It's genius, Buchan. It's genius. Check out those fun bags. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, Chad, check out these fun bags. That means breasts. <laughs> Did you know I'm referring to booba? Titties, as it were. Um, sweater meat. Oh, God. There are so many Gravity disgusting Gravity welling ways to say sex it. mounds? Sorry, go for that one again? Gravity welling sex mounds? Gravity welling sex mounds. <laughs> yes, the very same. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Obese rats. Yes, thank you, chat. The obese rats. <laughs> Wait, I can ride it too. You I'm on your head. Turn left, turn right. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at the, my handlebars. <laughs> my hair actually works perfect for that, come to think of it. You could just like grab them in your hands and pull them back. Yeah, I feel like I'm a gladiator. Like, I, like when I'm in a chariot or something. <laughs> come, Aya. <laughs> let us defeat our enemies. I'll be a Rakakuni. <laughs> Rakakuni. I fucking right. love that movie so All much. Right. Right. It's so fun. Thanks for watching. With things for organizing the the watch along it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I was yeah. I was so glad that people enjoyed it. I accidentally killed a flower. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't What's know. Up? Why am I like What's this? I did what I could. It, it felt good. You know what? It felt good. That's all that matters. Oh no! This is this is the path the path of criminality here. Oh, I, uh, this is not good. Sexy shield maid and has a shield now. Oh, oh, it'd be so okay. It's cute and marketable. I want full plate. I want, I want, I want to clink, 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 get knighted, you know? <laughs> you want to hear them coming into the bedroom with like the. <laughs> <laughs> just, just imagine you walk to the bedroom and all you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <damn it>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. Uh, maiden, are they ready to fornicate? <laughs> oh, Maiden, I have traveled across all of the ages, all of the realms to be here, so that I might clap them cheeks. Willest thou allow me to smash that booty? <laughs> if thou shall, I shall eat that ass like it's fine... I can't think of any... Uh, a fine turkey leg, sure. <laughs> God damn it. I was going so good for a while. <laughs> Honestly, we should just do like a medieval RP stream at some point. Yeah, that'd be so good. Yeah, it's like, like, sorry, man. The, the plate at armor stays on doing armorous right. You know, something stupid. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> just go into full character with it and be silly with it. That'd be fun. It'd be fun. Like, my random event streams are basically me doing psychotic role plays. I want to do just an unhinged night one. I just. Just, I speak in ye olde English and I try to rhythm. So and then just stupid. have like Karlak show up as well. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. No, then at that point to turn on the stream, I have to turn that shit off and stay monetized, you know? Exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that should yeah. be the ending. This Karlak shows up and you're like, I'm sorry guys, I I have some things to do. Um, I'll be back in like 20 to 30 minutes, depending. Karl, Karlak is the thing to do. <laughs> Karlak is the thing. I have some things to do, namely, Karlak, demon lady. Oh, Ow. She's so cute. She really they is. I like Karlak. What did you say? Even, even like, if not like as a romantic interest, she's just fun to have around in your party. Anyway. Exactly. She's just badass. Right. She kicks the asses and she takes no shit. Right. I wish she'd kick my ass. <laughs> exactly. God, I wish you'd step on me sometimes. Karlak was fun. Minthara was amazing too. She's six too. Yeah, probably 6'2". Holy I shit. Up. Nice. I did not know that. That actually makes her even more impressive. I know, right? It's like a 60... I think like 6'2", 180 pounds of muscle. <laughs> what else do you need in life, man? If Nothing she sat yet. in my lap, she'd crush my pelvis. I, my, 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 uh, my arteries would be severed. My femur snapped. Spine broken. I'll do it again. And you would be happily dead, am I right? Oh, hell yeah. I'm looking for a way out, bro. Death yeah. by Snoo Snoo is the way to go. You know what? I should take this out first. Ew, buggy. Ew. You don't like big old, like, rhinoceros beetles? I think they're cute. I don't like any kind of buggy. I, I think these ones are actually kind of pretty. They'd make, like, good for a collection. Ew. No, I couldn't play Animal Crossing because the bugs scare me. Oh, really? Yeah, I played exactly twice, but the bugs scared me too much. So I couldn't play anymore. 
I think like Kabuto, like yeah, the big old like Raido Buddha was the really hard ones there, okay. Uh, the only one, the only bugs nice. I'm really not a fan of are like millipede centipede especially house centipedes where they just like they oh look not near fuel yeah I'm, I'm better with like the really poisonous creepy like chitinous looking chitinous looking ones sorry i always say yes. chitinous the chitinous Chit looking ones whereas like oh i i blah, blah, blah. yeah the ones that look hairy that's where i get fucked up yeah caterpillars mess me up asps mess me up too what's an asp it's like um it's like kind of like a larva of a certain moth but where oh. I'm from, it's like during the spring, they, they get born a lot from the eggs. And so like, these, like, they look like those like fake Halloween mustaches you can buy at the store. But they're like kind of light brown colored. And they're super venomous. Like if you, under their fuzz, there's a bunch of barbs. If you touch them, you can get them to the hospital. Like it gets oh, bad. Oh shit, I didn't know they were that bad. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. No, like I, I went to, uh, back in high school, the school neighboring mine had like a big ass problem where they have like, Every spring, their trees would be covered in the fuzzy guys. Like, there's a lot of fake mustaches everywhere. And so, like, there was, during final season, there was a student who did not want to take his finals. So, he, he, he went to the tree and his, his like, open fist grabbed a bunch of asps and got stung by all of them. Boom, hospital. That's crazy. So it was so bad. Definitely stupid, lived, but, but at the same time, <laughs> kids got balls. I'll give him that. <laughs> yeah, either balls and he did not have to take the final so technically it worked so i'll get him honestly that. yeah he won that day yeah that's an obvious winner it's not me <laughs> oh shit i quit the claymore whoops claymore? okay i i do love a zweihander honestly i will i do love a, a big sword i i do in real life because i'm pretty strong and can handle that kind of shit in games Ooh. like the two-handed blades they always make you so slow but yeah, like traditional Irish claymore. Ah, oh, fucking amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, for the you're opening, you're, be warned, you're opening a can of worms. I love medieval armor and medieval weapons. Oh no, me <laughs> too. <laughs> it's oh, have you so watched Forge by Fire? Oh, is that the guy who makes the things, the weapons? Yeah, it's a competition show where they invite like, uh, like Forge Masters from across the state and have them compete to build the best, like, like they'll give them like the blueprints for a certain historical weapon. And the one who recreates it the best wins. Oh, no, I haven't actually heard of that. I thought it was just the thing. It. There's definitely a YouTube channel. I think it might just be Master at Arms or something <laughs> that makes like all kinds of fantasy weapons, but with real oh, materials. Yeah. I've seen that channel. It's really good. I saw them make um, D Luke's uh, like the wolf something. Yeah, so, the, the red. Yeah. I forget the name of it, but the red wolf blade. It's like so sick looking. Yeah, I don't I even like Genshin like Impact, but that's so good. <laughs> Really yeah, because it's red and black. <laughs> I yeah, love that blade. It looks look cool on you. Especially since it's like so big, but it's still a one-handed. Oh, it's called the Wolf's Gravestone. Yeah, the Wolf's Gravestone looks ah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I got magic. Oh, magic. You know, I would... I know they're not meant for battle, but an Executioner's Blade would be so fun to own. Is the Executioner's Blade... No, I can't remember what that looks like. Is that... It's probably like a two-handed weapon, but can you send me any yeah, images? It... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Fu-chan, you are... You are... You are properly activating my brain. I'm so sorry ahead of time. <laughs> no, this will be fun. This is all helping me for things when it comes to the Shepherd stuff as well, because I want to be, like, knowledgeable about medieval stuff. Yeah. Oh, you are supposed to kill those. So... This is an executioner's blade. Now, according to uh, according to um, uh, some sources, oh, the tip ones. of the blade is actually blunt because it's not meant to be used in battle because it's considered dishonorable to do that. And so the tip is blunt, and so it looks like a like a little wedge almost. It's like a big ass, heavy ass sword for uh, chopping off heads. Those are honestly sick looking. Cause yeah. Yeah. They and look like they're blunt at the like, sides um, too, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> It was? I'm, I'm sorry? They look like they're kind of blunt at the sides, too, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, it does. The sides are shy, just the tip is blunt. And, and in some um, in some uh, cultures, they have these three holes punched to the tip. And now people actually don't know the full reason why there's holes punched to the tip. As some say it's because it reduces the sound of the whistle as the sword flies down. 
And some say it represents the Holy Trinity or whatever. And it's like, there's no one really knows why, but it looks cool as fuck. <laughs> as long as it looks cool, that's all that matters. It's the same as like, I know the reason that they actually have like the little lines that run down the inside of the blade is to let like blood and other things flow down and off of it. But I just think it looks cool. I don't care much beyond that. Yeah, it's like, oh, have you seen like a uh, Swords of Damascus patterning? Oh, yeah, they look crazy. I'm surprised how long they keep their edges as well. That shit's insane. I know, right? Oh, it's so cool. I, I'd kill to own anything. Like, I would kill to own a Damascus blade. I would kill for that. It looks so cool. Yeah, they do. You can get like Damascus, the Damascus cooking knives as well. They're yeah, I saw them. They're obviously kind of real. Yeah, I mean, they're not even like real Damascus metal, obviously, because they've lost how they actually made it, but they just have like the what? same patterns and stuff. Which is really yeah, cool. It's pretty. Very pretty. Real such pretty. nice designs. Yeah, yeah. Love swords and spears. Yeah, spears, one of my favorite weapons as well. They're hard to use, though. Holy crap. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. How do, you, how do you even use a spear? Is it meant to be a thrown thing? Or is it like a two? No, that would or be a, a javelin. You could technically throw ah. a spear, but they're like super heavy and they're not balanced normally for that. They're normally mm. like a bit more bottom heavy than javelins, which do try to be balanced at the middle so you can actually chuck them. Um, oh, yeah. Back when I was in track and field, we had javelin throwing and shot put and stuff like that and discus. Ooh, let's... Yeah, javelins are a lot of fun too. Especially, yeah. like, if you ever play, like, the chivalry game, it's really fun to use a javelin and just do little quick stabby stabs and then throw people. <laughs> you know, honestly, like, I have yet to play it, but I know Mordhau is very, like, very, like, medieval smackdown kind of... Uh, I should probably play it at some point. I think I'm fighting Okami. Oh, no, I'm <gasps> fighting Nina, Mama. <laughs> no, Nina, no! Sorry, Nina. If you manage to kidnap the wolf, Mommy, you got to go to sleep for now. Yeah, spears are fucking sick. Halberds are pretty awesome because a halberd is just like a spear, which also has a slicey edge. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just like spears because the idea of like keeping an enemy fucking six or seven feet away from you at all times is just like, yes, please. Yeah, it would be good, though. It's also just like, it's like, they look cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. As long as you look cool while you're attacking people, that's all that matters. Well, have you heard of the Spanish Navaja? No, what's that like? Okay, a ma you know like those those like Swiss army knives that you can have you can pull like the, the knife version out of like, the little like bolster doodad? Yeah. It's, like, the Navaja is basically like a giant like a comedically large switch, like the size of your thigh. It's a big ass fucking switch knife. And like they say that there's like these little notches, so like when you pull it out, it goes like, it goes like, like it clicks. <laughs> and they say like, if you hear that, you're fucked. If you oh. hear that in the dark alley, you're fu you're really nip tucked and totally fucked. That's how you know someone's about to kill you. Oh god. Oh yeah. You can do it. Beat her up. Beat her up. I believe she's got fiery tails now. She looks really cool. What a fun silhouette. What? What did you say? What a fun silhouette, like design -wise. Yeah, actually. It does remind me a lot of like Okami. Oh God. Yeah. Practice my charge I only, attack I only, later. I only know about Okami through Sunny's gameplay because I watched some of his streams oh, back then. Sunny's voice acting in that game was so great. That was amazing. Yeah. I think Pio Chan played it recently as well. But yeah, Okami's a pretty good game. Everybody like always used to try to sell it to me by saying it was like, it's Zelda, but with a wolf. To <laughs> which I was like, that's kind of cool. But you get to draw that's, things. Wait, that's a Zelda, that's oh, a she princess. is the oh, mommy. Oh. oh no, she's cute. Oh no, oh no. Hold on. Zoom in, cameraman, zoom in. Cameraman, oh, zoom in. Yeah. Oh, she's cute. I like her. Okay, well now, Delicious. now I know how I'm going to no. adopt the daughter. I'm going to marry the mother. <laughs> this is the plan. Sorry, sexy wolf man. She's mine now. <laughs> Would? <laughs> well, you're, you're, not to see, you're not supposed to see that. You're not supposed to see that. Keep your eyes on the game. Keep your eyes on the game. I'm allowed to look at chat too. <laughs> no, you're not. No, no, no. I, I, I look at chat for you. You can, you can close your eyes, okay? I look at chat for you. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm princess carrying her. Oh, this is so hot. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm not looking at anything. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. that dragon's terrifying, but also adorable. 
I like these cutscenes as well. Oh, no, we cannot fight that, Avidia. Leave. Run the fuck away. It, it looks like a dragon baby, what? too. You'll give me a lift? Oh. Yeah, please. Sorry, I blocked out for a second. He's a friendly oh. dragon. Every night Run! means every night. Did you just quote Moldau Zushu? No. Let's fucking go, Aya. <laughs> <laughs> every night means every night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. He's got a little land mass on his back. Oh, cute. What a good He's boy. He's so friend I like him. Yeah. As soon as I saw him, I was like, that's a dragon puppy. His eyes are too big. He's too soft. But he's just he a, a cute babu. little guy. <laughs> he's a little babby. Still princess carrying while riding a dragon. That's the best part. Yeah, she belongs to me now. Nobody tell her husband that she's back. Mommy. He no. Oh, right. You're the other girl. I didn't really want to adopt you. Um, She's cute, though. She is adorable, but I'm, I'm adopting the other one that can't speak English. Oh, Fair. yeah, right. She's the wolf child. The other one, I don't know yet. <laughs> Damn it. It's Mr. Hey. Steel. Well, no, I guess I was going to be Mrs. Ah, Steel, your girl. Big man. Sorry. Yeah, no, he's sexy as well. You know what? Honestly, Thrupple. Let's go. Well, let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's Thrupple go. and we'll also adopt... The other girl as well. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's fucking do it. Mm-hmm. He's his entire right boob is out. That's crazy. <laughs> the best part is, yeah, it's just part of the character design. They just were like, hey, the boob is more important than any clothing possibly could be. Yeah, like, yeah, just. So I'm just staring. I owe you another debt of oh, gratitude. Dude. Oh, no, no, they're not I married. He's the uncle. Okay, Ooh. awesome. Everything's better than expected. Take this. <laughs> all right, it's free real estate. I don't have to cuck him or cuck her. I can have all of them. <laughs> I, it's, it's open season. Let's go. Fuck yeah. That's why I love games like this. <gasps> Did they give me recipe bread? Bread? Yeah, in Rune Factory, oh, you learn recipes by eating bread for some reason. Is this recipe bread or is it just normal bread? I too acquire knowledge by consuming the bread. <laughs> the more carbs I eat, the more intelligent I become. Yes, one now is younger as my grandparents. May please have bread. Yeah, repping bread. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna numb the shit out of that. <laughs> I learned how to make steel sword plus. <laughs> I learned how to make a rod. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You doing good? Miss Sasagi? What a cute name, too. Ah, she's fine. So many cute girls here. It's gonna be a problem. Nah, there's enough cute girls and guys for both of us, Aya. We can just split them down the middle. <laughs> oh, we split so much down the middle. <laughs> I'm so Jesus. sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'm so so you are so you right for that. <laughs> you know, it's like... It's like, I, I, I go between feral thirst and going like, sorry, babe. I like to read the Bible before bed, you know, like that kind of thing. <laughs> sorry, sorry, babe. babe. <laughs> I can't turn the lights off to do snoo snoo with you. I got to finish reading my book report. Then, <laughs> then we can have coitus or whatever. <laughs> split them, how I'm murderous? Only yes. After my fanfic. That's exactly what I have meant by split them. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. Ooh, glowies. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the, it's the stripper pole from heaven. Apparently. Oh, it takes me to the dragon. Okay. He's just oh. my bro now? That's awesome. I did not mean to go. Oh, he has his own farm on top of him. <gasps> oh, fun. I get a whole new place to farm shit. Sick. What a good boy. Well, only I'll one thing to do. I'll pet him on the head, but he seems too large to pet. That sounds like quitter talk to me. My hand, my little cannoli paws, I can't reach. Weren't you the one who was arguing against me that I couldn't fuck a dragon? I never said that. Okay. <laughs> No, but, well, I'm, I'm in the dragon fucker group because, yes. like, if Donkey could do it, so, so could I. Oh, damn it. 
<laughs> Donkey is a special case, man. He comes from oh, a weird wait. universe. No, 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 no. So I can do it too. I'm an angel. I can handle it. <laughs> Fair oh, enough. Right. Oh, See, I'll I do die, remember. Do I definitely remember having this conversation with you about dragon fucking, but I was like, nice. Where? I thought you were one of the people that was like, yes. come on, Fuchan, nice, you pussy. Nice. Fuck the dragon. I'm glad I was wrong. <laughs> I've heard that from so many people, and it's just like, no, that's a lot to commit to. <laughs> exactly. Plus, I is. like my organs where they are and not all crushed together into one ball. I like when I'm not, I'm not reduced to red mist. <laughs> yeah. Especially depending on the dragon type. Like, fire is one oh, thing, but you find like an oh, acid wait. dragon or some shit. Yes. Oh, like that a black dragon, yeah, messy. an acid breath one. Yeah. Can't imagine that would smell very good either. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh man, I love Dragonborn. Oh, man, they're so what a cool race for D and D. They're so cool. Dragonborn are definitely scaly? cool. Nice. Oh, you right. are a scaly sometimes, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with it. Nice. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Anyone who tells you otherwise wanna... is just being meh. I don't want to be a scaly. What's wrong with being a scaly? No, 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 no. Embarrassing. <laughs> It's not embarrassing. Just means you're into some fun shit. Just means you have more imagination than boring people. There's nothing wrong with that. I you're really right. need a stone smasher. Poo. Mythos. Stone smasher, I call that my ass cheeks. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> you know that, that gif of that guy the jumping ass first onto the camera? That's like the rock POV. The last thing you see before they get crushed. <laughs> I forgot about that. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh my god. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna throw these all out at once. Why always yelling at me when I'm right? Wait, what? You're not right. <laughs> How dare. Don't worry about it. Dragon frickers in chat. <laughs> dragon frickers are always trying to fight me. It's fine. You can frick all the dragons you want. It's just not for me. Except for some of the Fire Emblem Butter dragons. Fire Emblem dragons are on another level. I can't. Okay, the Lagoos in Fire Emblem kind of go hard though. Like, they were run off. I don't remember Lagoos. Which were. Uh, let me which Fire Emblem were like? Yeah, go for it. Because. I I'm gonna be real. It's like. I've never felt so feral towards another person in a while. Okay, I feel. Okay, that's a dirty lie. I feel feral about a lot of things, but like, <laughs> let me show you. It's just immediate backtrack of like. No, to be yeah. fair, there's a lot of feralness. <laughs> oh, he's him! Feral. And he, he is so cute. He is adorable. I love him so much. Yeah, he was fun. His design's awesome. And man, that battle damage is sexy. I know, right? Is that a breast about <laughs> to pop out? Ooh, la la. Yep, almost down to the nipple. Let's fucking go. Oh. You a the trousers all ripped up a good too. Huh? I know. Bites knees. I know, right? That's what I want for a future yeah, outfit. It's just like one of the outfits I already have, but battle damaged and covered in blood. Ooh, that'd be really fun though. Yeah. I keep fighting on it when it comes to blood, but hopefully someday. <laughs> well, I will draw you a blood asset and you can pin it to yourself. Yo, that'd be sick. Yeah, that blood dripping down out of my mouth and shit. That'd be amazing. Yeah, and if, if YouTube has a problem, they're like, oh yeah, they're just my silly little raspberry jam that I ate for my burger. <laughs> I can finally catch monsters. I'm going to go catch some confidants. Oh, let's go. Capture them and, and share them for profit. You can actually share them in this, which is awesome. Oh yeah, that's right. And they're, monetize they're, them. Their wool actually comes off, which is even more funny. They look naked for like a day or two. <laughs> no! Oh, too bad. At least no! I'm not turning them into shepherd's pie just yet. At least they're still physical. At least they're still alive. We'll take that. Like at this point, we will take what we can get. Exactly. Ooh. Look down the zero button. You can connect with your target. Yeah, Interesting. Geometry. I'm playing Pokemon now. Finally, we're getting brushed and cheered. I do actually have to brush you guys in this game as well. Yes, this is true. I can get a brush eventually, and that makes you guys happy. 
I bet confidants are stinky right now. I bet they're stinky as heck. <laughs> no, I'm sure they're fine. They they, they go they into the river they when they need it. They haven't been, they haven't been bathed with proper shampoo. They're stinky. I just know it. Nah, I'm sure they smell like wood. <sighs> like wood smoke, like sandalwood, like nice wood. Sandalwood is nice. <laughs> What's your favorite candle scent, Twitch Hun? Sandalwood and amber or like wood, but O-U-D wood. O-U-D. Wood is I one of my you, favorite also, scents of all time. I, I, you come across the kind of guy who likes the, the musky sound, smelling um, candles. Yeah, anything musky, anything woody. Like more oh. natural scents. You know, my favorite candle smells like Fruit Loops. <laughs> they make a Fruit Loop candle? <laughs> yeah. I'm like one of the major sellers. I have, there's like an, there's like a small company that makes a small candle making company that I really like, and they have Fruit Loop scented ones. They have like they have another one that's scented after like it's inspired by Asian bakery, so it smells like pandan and break, uh, baked bread and cream and stuff like that. That sounds amazing. I'm not sure how much I'd like that as the smell of my house, though. I feel like I'd be constantly hungry. <laughs> oh no, I love. I want my house to smell edible. I love it. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> Aya will do the brushing. Are you signing up to brush the confidants, Aya? <laughs> I will, I will... Per, maybe, if they're, if they're stinky enough and it bothers me, perhaps I will bathe and brush them. There you go, confidants. <laughs> Somebody will take care of you before the shepherd arrives. <laughs> yeah, Love candle we'll talk. Need my, my little ravioli paws. I need, I need one at a time, please. My hands are small. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get you a big brush. You can brush like five of them at once. Oh hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah. oh, have you seen those uh, those videos of those cows that have like those like brushy stands? They start rubbing themselves all over. I it's actually so saw cute. a video of that on Twitter just yesterday, and it was very funny. Yeah, they have like the spitting things, and they just dig their heads into them. It's so cute. <laughs> I want I want to put cows through a car wash because I feel like they'd like it in there. I'm sure they would. I'm sure my dog would love the car wash, other than the hot wax. <gasps> Everything else, 100. percent also, I just need to see... I just need you to see this line on screen right now. I think it's the funniest <gasps> thing that it's a little tiny cat girl looking at me and being like, I know what you are. <laughs> it's like... It's a pointy emoji. Yeah, oh. she looks so disappointed as well. It's like, no, please. No. no. <laughs> she heard no our conversations about the dragons and the monsters. No, <sighs> no way for me. <laughs> what is it? They know. They know. I know. They finally figured out I'm an Earth mate. Um, what's an Earth mate? Um, the Rune Factory main <laughs> characters are called Earth mates. They're basically just really good at dealing with the land. They're very magically inclined. However, pretty much anything they plant like grows really well, and they can like till soil in just about any kind of conditions. They're like. A lot of the time, they're, like, blessed by gods or dragons or things like that. And okay. it gives them, like, extra energy of being um, good with a green thumb, essentially. Like a druid kind of thing. Oh, I see, I see. I hate that I have to use D&D terms to explain these things. <laughs> <laughs> druid isn't just d d It's just nerd culture. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair. Hey, 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 you call me a nerd? Oh, hey, oh, oh, here you go. Hey, hey, right we're all nerds. We're part of Niji Nerd. Hell, the fact that we had me, you, and Ike together for a good portion of today was, like, perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. Oh, we're Niji glasses oh, we're now. Oh, we're right, we're Niji glasses. We are Niji glasses. Yeah, now that I'm the archivist, I can finally wear them all the time. <laughs> Gosh, I, I love your new look, Twitch, and I adore it. You look so good. Thank you. Come to think of it, don't spoil any part of the outfit that's like... Don't spoil any part of the outfit, but you're one of the few people who's seen the shepherd. <laughs> how, how do you feel about the shepherd? Yeah! I I was gagged. gagged. We low-key <laughs> match. Isn't that crazy? We low-key match. That's insane to me. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. There's certain other people. It's, like, like, it's a very different style from my original style. <laughs> Okay, so no spoilers or nothing, but like, Buchan and I's upcoming outfits accidentally, we did not plan this. They low key kind of match. Yeah. Even have a similar color palette. It's, it's, no, we have a reverse color palette, but it's so weird. So, <laughs> no, confidants, you're in for a treat. Cause like, I, I was frothy at the mouth. It was so cool. Was I'm super... glad you made it clear, like, it's one of your future outfits as well. I was wondering how many people were going to be like, wait, the shepherd's like a male version of a nun? Like a priest or something? A cleric? Oh my. Oh, it's... I was going to be like, ha, ah, you guys get so confused and trolled. <laughs> yeah, he was naked. 
But yeah, it's going to be cool in a couple of months when there's, yeah, a couple more people having fun with things like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't know that your next alpha is just you and the nude. Oh, I've joked about that too many times. I'm like, like I, I want a topless it. model. I like, like Chaika Senpai with the shiny nipples, like something silly and <laughs> fun like so that. That is so funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> Tiger like Senpai is just amazing. <laughs> I, I, icon, icon behavior. 100%. And Skinamito Senpai. Skinamito Senpai has so many good outfits as well. I know. Amamiya Senpai also has a lot of really cute outfits. Ooh, I get to murder stuff. Wait, which Senpai? Amamiya. Oh, yeah. Amamiya Senpai. Oh. Especially by her most recent one where she's like got different poses and she's got like the dummy. And like different yeah. like things you can put on. Man, there's so many things. Yeah, they're going bonkers over there. I thought like I was like, haha, my apps are creative. I'm like, okay, I need something in my game. My, my, I'm not being creative enough. I need not, I need given more. That's I how I felt about the archivist one. Like the archivist one, I was constantly warning people, like, I love the face, I love the design. Keep in mind it's a very like simple dark academia look. Like it there's no real bells or whistles or anything. It's more like, I grew up. I have a sexy face now. That's what I want. So it's simple as good. I feel like, I feel like to me, P character design has a few things. A, an interesting silhouette. B, you can take one glance at it and know exactly what kind of character it is. And I think this accomplishes that. Yeah, thank you. I really like it too. Oh, I've got a buddy with me, but I, I didn't catch him the right way. Caught him on the daily way. Oh, you're not going to murderize it? No, I'm being nice to this one. Well, who are you? I know, right? It feels wrong. Especially with the confidants looking. Oh. Farm dragons. Bless you. Oh, I ran out of room points. I need to pay attention oh. to that shit. Fuck. <laughs> I've killed myself twice. In the arms of the angels. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, at least they gave me free treatment again. My own stupidity has landed me in the hospital twice. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna go that to sounds sleep. Sounds about right. At least I've got my baby confidant with me now. Yay! Wonder if he's waiting outside for me. Come on, buddy. Where are you, Shiro? <gasps> Shiro! What a good boy. I'm gonna go. Oh, I've got some sharing things actually. Um, um. Hey, buddy. Um, it's gonna hurt me more than you. There, there. <laughs> He's naked now. All oh, right. No! Nice. You like bunnies without the fu the fluffies. Yeah, he turned from a confidant into. Do we have anyone with bunnies as their mascots? Any? A Maddie pet. Mighty Fats. He's a Mighty Fat now. <laughs> Alright, you switched Oshis. Alright, skedaddle. Get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I don't want you anymore. Ah, <sighs> Maripet. We oh, bald? just teleported. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, he's got to catch up with me somehow. Kid. Nothing personal, kid. Oh, shit. I went past my house. <laughs> Look at the goofy little one. I know. He's so cute. <laughs> now I'm going to abandon him. He disappears at the end of the day. Goodbye, confidant. You're a cruel man, Fulgrovid. You're a cruel man. I can't help it. It's a game mechanic. <laughs> well, how come you haven't rewritten the code so you don't abandon them, huh? I don't you think know, we're allowed to do enough. that in Niji Sanji. <laughs> I mean, just, you know, just sneaky. <laughs> oh, wow. He is still here. I've still got my confidant. I wonder if I can share him again. Now Confidence. people know the true reason. This, the true reason I named Shiro Shiro isn't because it means white. It's because I share him. Anytime no! he has clothing, he's not allowed to not be nude. Actually, what, speaking of Shiro, have you oh, read? Back in a, yet. Have you read Otacon before? Otacon? No. Wait. No, I'm thinking of Wodakoi. No, I don't know what Otacon is. Oh, I. If you have time, I recommend reading it because it's. It's a shonen eye manga. It's like fantasy action. It's beautiful. If you love just like just overly done, super like this art is doing too much for its own good, then you would love it. 
Ooh. It's so, so pretty. That does sound good, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think you you would like Anri. Anri is nice. very, like, he's over the top and very pretty. He, he's very, like, he's slay. But it's, oh, it's really good. Oh, slay over the it. top? Let's go. I was thinking, yeah, like... Yeah, very slay. <laughs> There's I a little... It's perpetually half-naked wearing garter belt kind of slay. Oh, fuck yes. That's the type we like. The NU carnival kind of slay. Yeah, it's very, it's very new carnival. It's like, it's like a balance between like Japanese, like Japanese, like aesthetic and also like Rococo and stuff like that. It's really fun mix of the two. Interesting. Nice. Yeah, I'll have to you give like it a look it. at some point. Yeah, I'll play what you think when you get around it. No pressure, of course. Yeah. I ain't got no time right now, but someday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries, no rush. Oh, it's a make Rooney, it right. I don't know how to interact with those, though. They just, like, oh, make things grow a bit better, right? Oh, yeah, oh, I don't no, have no, a brush no. to brush Watering the confidant time. yet. Time. That's okay. They're still stinking and strong, okay? To be fair, they're used to not being brushed. That's just, that's just a normal day for them. <laughs> <laughs> they're used to neglect. I mean, we'll the shepherd's strong, coming okay? someday, but yeah, I mean... <laughs> I ain't no shepherd. Oh, no, I don't take strong, care of sheep. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. It's fine. They still like it here, right, guys? Everything's fine, right? You points have gone at them. You like it here, don't you? Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. Tell me how much you like being a confidant. <laughs> <laughs> no, watch out for the chance that people are in today. <laughs> True. We did enough of that on White Day. <laughs> No, Fish and I are watching now. I was like, I used to think that my random event streams are kind of unhinged. Nice, nice. She just, she's like, she gave me no context, and she, you're giving birth as a seahorse. It was crazy. <laughs> I don't. Wait, did I ever? No, I didn't ever actually give birth as a seahorse. It was just suggested one of the children was mine. <laughs> That's funny though. <laughs> it, like, I, I, I've seen some weird shit. That was wild, and I'm so proud of you. It was so fun. Thank you. I had a blast doing it. I was shocked to see, like, you, Fish, and Albert all show up. <laughs> Fish and Albert specifically, like, started dropping messages while I was doing, like, the full goddess scene as well. Like, the the the, the exercise scene. So that was yeah, that an was, experience. I... <laughs> Confidence, your soundboards are living, thriving, radiant, glowing right now. Those soundboards and those Confidant discords are probably popping off. Honestly, I'm, I would not be surprised if somebody hasn't already edited the audio down so it's much more digestible, like, seven minutes without all the long pauses and just, like, being like, yeah, free voice back. <laughs> Honestly, on, mix it into a drama BLCD. Exactly, yeah. Just add some, like, sound effects. That was the one thing I didn't have time to do. I did not sleep that night. I did not have time to add sound effects. <laughs> what sound effects is it to add? This? You could... No, what I was going to add was like things like when Legardus was supposed to push Archivist down, like a nice like crashing to the ground kind of sound. <laughs> Stuff like uh -huh. a oh, nice like gripping that. sound effect when he grabs the hair and shit like that. Oh, okay. Fair, fair. Peanut. You should, you should, you should make, make some hey. mac and cheese and mix it in the bowl. Then make it... <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember like when Voxy was doing his uh, Vox, a box, box Tenshi stream. He wanted to know, like, he was talking to me and Ike, actually, in a call. And he was like, I need to have some way to make, like, tentacle noises. And me and Ike were just both at the same time, noodles. <laughs> he was, like, confused. He was like, noodles? No hesitation. Yeah, we were just both at the same time, noodles. And Foxy was like, huh, noodles? It's like, yeah, just overboil a, a couple of noodles, put them in, like, a small pot, and just run your fingers through them. That's how you make tentacle noises. <laughs> Honestly. I thought of doing a slime My ASMR, but the sounds are too coochie adjacent. Yes. I couldn't do it. You know what? The sound of noodles, that's what good <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> that vine, Listen to I that, it. whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> also, Misasagi has such a sexy voice too. Holy shit. Not only did you rescue my daughter oh, from the forest. So I was I was not paying attention to her voice from me all. as well. I was looking elsewhere. This is the first time she's actually spoken properly. Like before she was just like growling and angry. I owe you a great debt. I love this outfit. This is, she looks like a VTuber. She does. The bottoms are the craziest thing to me. The top is pretty like business up top. A lot of cleavage, but not too bad. The bottoms, I don't know how the fuck those are staying up. They look pointed on, painted on. And I am not against it. <laughs> God you know, damn. Like, look, if I were in the game, I just, I just like, you can hear me running. Just like... 
<laughs> I can't believe the other day was the first time you and like a lot of other people saw that like Twitter, I don't know, the TikTok video of the guy like sniffing the rider's <laughs> butt. Yeah. It was so funny. It was I, so I good. I almost cried. It was so good. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things I've ever seen from TikTok. Don't mind her. Misa can be a little dramatic. Apparently it's getting banned now. Word she says. Wait, it's got to be what? Oh, uh, TikTok's getting banned, apparently. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens oh, if that oh. actually, like, fully passes. Yeah, I mean, we'll it, see. There's, some, there's some weird, like, thing where they can... Oh, I forget, they have to sell it or something, but either way. No, I, well, uh, we'll see. There's always ta me. chances that people can block that later on, but whatever happens, yeah. happens. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't really catch up on these things. I just heard from a friend that <gasps> they're shutting down TikTok. Oh, I'm sorry. Cool. Weird, okay. Yeah, I mean, they've been trying to do it for a while. <laughs> really? I never noticed. Yeah, her outfit looks like fish. Really? Which one? Um, uh, Misa, the MILF. Huh. I guess I can, can you, you know what? Some of like the frilly bits on it, I can kind of see it, but Inanna's is more based on like fish kind of things. So it's like a lot more scaly, the second fish. Yeah, I like Ooh, fish's like alternative rock outfit for sure. Bye oh now. yeah, I, I love all of Isha's outfits. Like I don't typically, I'm not typically a big fan of green, but she wears it so well. Yeah, I'm actually quite a big fan of green. Normally like a darker, more of a forest kind of green, but yeah, Fish's outfits Ooh. are always good. I like there's been That's so many nice. VTubers recently that have been like going into like goth and emo kind of looks, and my god, am I here for it? I know. I'm giving like I'm. It's bringing back to 2008 Evanescence. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> My vibe, my aesthetic, let's freaking go. Okay, I think that's where I'm actually going to stop for today. Okay! We've got a confidant, we've cleared our first dungeon, we found our first MILF. Can I romance the MILF? This is actually the most important thing right now. Get, get out of it. No, I don't care about good. you. Uh, I try hard enough. Please. So you can't romance the MILF! I'm so no! fucking sad. No. Oh, at least I've got my white haired boy and my sleepy. You can't romance sleepy. What? Fuck this game. Fuck this. Mm -mm. These are my no! options. This is it. Oh, Riker is so lucky. He's so sexy. How can you not romance the big titty older sister? How can you not romance the fucking MILF that actually looks like a MILF unlike the MILF who looks like a toony teenager? What the? You can't romance Terry! We need to revolt. We need to revolt right now. Yeah, I, I, wow. They locked all the sexiest characters behind bars. I'm already up to, almost up for the level one with Riker too. I don't know how I even did that. I barely talked to him. <laughs> this is a consistent problem with a lot of Rune Factory games. I know, it's so BS. <laughs> Just make them all romanceable. If I can't, why do they exist in the game? Ugh. It's fine. There is no coitus, there's no focus. I'm exactly. not wanted. Ugh, disappointing. <laughs> this is I, fine. I, oh, I'm I'll, gonna... leave you, I'll leave you to it. But, but thanks for opening up, VC. Sorry if I talk too much. I just get excited talking to no, you No, that's the whole point of this. Thank you for joining. It was awesome. It made the time, oh, like, cool. fly by. So thank you so much. And yeah, I'll probably do this, like, every other week. Oh, good. I'll be on stand, but I'll, I'll be an annoying plague on your channel. Thank you very much for opening, VC, <laughs> and I'll see you around. Good time. Bye-bye. 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 That was fun. This was a good day. Like... I really thought nobody would join. <laughs> I, de I definitely, one of the things I should have done, I was dumb. I should have gone through like the entire tutorial, probably like a one-off, like six hour stream where we just like got used to all the mechanics by myself. If I was a smarter man, <laughs> but hindsight is 2020. Um, now we know in the future, that would be a better idea. How do I have points with Lucy? Lucy needs to stay the hell away from me. <laughs> This is amazing. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. As I get to like learn this game, we should be able to like chill and have more fun oh, with it. Right. One thing that I definitely need is a fucking rock yeah. destroyer. I picked up love apparently. Oh no, I picked up a plant. I was like, what does it mean love? One final thing I'm going to do before I go. I'm going to see if I can just buy a pickaxe. Why would I buy a pickaxe? I chased after Lucy. Ah, she's not my style. If you're into that that's fair like no problem it's just not for me she's too sundere she's too aggressive 
do, do, do. Crystalabra, Studio... It would probably be Studio Palmo, I'd imagine. No, that's the woodworking one. Probably need the ironworking one. Vacant house. That's just, oh, it's right next to me. True Strike Smithy. Okay, do a 180. Wolf Daddy is mine. You could have Wolf Daddy, but I'm also going to make him mine. <laughs> Riker and Wolf Daddy. Those are my two. I can't believe I can't have Wolf Mommy. Oh, in JP, she's not that soon, though. Yeah, it was very... It was overly aggressive. Because Sundarays can be fun. Especially, like Ike said, done right, Sundarays are top tier. Done wrong, Sundarays are the most annoying shit possible. I am indeed a video. Sharing is caring. Yeah, Lucy gets nicer later. I'm sure she will. Sundarays always have that kind of thing. It was just too much aggression. If you're going to be that aggressive, you need to balance it out with some sexiness, some playfulness. She's not playful. She was just genuinely mean <laughs> quite a few times. Oh, so you're not going to sell me shit. Okay. Are you going to sell me I'd shit? I'd love to know what you think of my weapons. Oh, how about you whip them out? According to the fundamental tenet of forging, the secret to making something good lies in visualizing the person who will use the finished item. What, what? Huh? Are you visualizing me? Damn, he's immediately trying to risk. As a Sundere you like, Fuchan? There are. The Sundere, like, ancient elf in Fryren is a really good example of a Sundere that has a good reason to be Sundere. She's literally built up defenses around herself because she's lived thousands of years. Did we get Cabidon? Not quite. We're not against a wall, but yeah, he, he he got real close. What's up? Oh, Vidya. Something wrong. That's my line. I was standing right here and you didn't even notice me. Ah, I guess I got caught up in my mental review of Master Dirac's lessons. Does that happen often? That's right. Every once in a while, yes. When I focus, I lose sight of everything except for what's right in front of me. I was right in front of you and you still didn't see me. And you know what? I respect it. That's that's good. He didn't even try to like flirt with me. I was just in his way. He doesn't even see me as an object. He doesn't think I exist when he's doing his shit. Good for you, Martin. Also, the little pieces of armor are really fucking badass. <laughs> okay, we'll try to avoid doing that when you're walking around, okay? It'd be terrible if you walked into something. Like me. Oh god, it would be absolutely horrible if you tripped and fell on top of me and your la your hand, your rugged, metal-forging hand landed in an unfortunate position. Don't worry, I always keep medicinal herbs on me for when that happens. <laughs> so you walk into walls a lot, my dude. <laughs> okay, nobody wants to sell me shit. Maybe because it's not 9am yet. Come on, time, hurry up. 8.25, 8.26... 27. <laughs> Folger, please. I'm already attracted to him. That's all good. He seems like a fun guy. I like his stoicism. I do prefer long-haired white boy, though. Riker. Riker's awesome. Speen? Hell yeah. Did Aya head off? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're wrapping up this stream now. Um, So yeah, I told Aya we were going to wrap up. I just want to see if I can get a pickaxe before we finish and just break some of the rocks in my garden. I think that would be a good way to end. The fact that we've got a confidant is pretty sick, though. I didn't expect to get one so quickly. I, I forget how you actually tame monsters, though. Like, right now, I've only got one that will disappear at the end of a day. All white-haired boys are valid in my eyes. Even Griffith? Let's go! Griffith, honestly, kind of sexy. You're going to make a video puke? <laughs> She's stronger than that. She'll be fine. <laughs> Riker was definitely a favorite when the game first came out. There's two more characters you can romance. They come later. Let's go. I'm surprised you can romance the tiny wolf girl. They don't let you romance like a lot of the other younger looking ones. Maybe it's got to be one of those things where she explains at some point. Oh no, I'm actually a 12,000 year old deity. It's 9am. Are you guys not fucking open? Hello there. It is nice weather. Oh, thank God. Now you're working. Um, What do you have for sale? I believe you get the hammer via quest. Well ah, shit. That's fair. Ooh, a spear. You kind of want a spear. Leather boots, defense plus three. Hey, I'll probably on. find those along the way. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Um, 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 um. A sickle might be good as well for like. Oh, there we go. Hammer. But you're telling me I get one from a quest, hey, so maybe I shouldn't. Okay, you know what? I'll hold Thanks. off. Oh, oh, wait. Is that a rod? Uh, uh, did you have a fishing rod, sir? Because I love fishing. 
cheap pull. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. That, that's what I'm doing. Do I have enough? I have barely enough Take gold. That's all I want in my life. Hope to see you again soon. Fishing time, again baby. Soon, yeah. See, that's going to be the ultimate, like, chilling Zatsu Tatsumachi game. I'm just going to be fishing for, like, four hours in a row. Oji Sanji truly living up to his name. Weapons. Dude, stop talking to me, dude. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm busy. Okay. Didn't get rocks. Got a fishing rod. Not going to use that this time, but we'll learn to fish next time. So, we're done for today. I love Rune Factory. The finding in this is actually better than I expected. Some of the controls, like, it it got better when I learned to, like, move around properly, so... Yeah, it feels like it's getting better as we progress with that. Um, there's definitely, like, some weaknesses, but the fighting was way better than I expected, so... This will be good. This will be a good, like, Totsumachi chill game. Sashimi is a staple item in these? Hell yeah. Come to think of it, I wonder if my food goes out of date. Oh, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. And now I should probably sell some of these. They're worth a lot of money. But we'll deal with that next time. Okay, let's... How do we save? All right. You save on the things in the map. <laughs> but it also auto-saves. Do I... I have a saver by my bed. Games where food expires are evil. Um, Sometimes it's a good mechanic, especially if it is one of these games where you can cook your own meals as well. You have to kind of, like, prepare for that. You have to, like, make sure you've got everything in date. All the freshest ingredients and whatnot. We're already up to level 8 as well. Okay. We switch over scenes. Ba -ba -da -boom. Thank you guys for joining me today. Yeah, I wasn't sure if anybody would join today. So I'm glad we got both Ike and Aya hanging out for a while. And Pia-chan raided us and just dropped in. Oh. Did he... Oh. I don't think we've met his best girl yet, have we? He gave her a name for the girl. It was something like Rim Ram Falia, Rim Falia or something. I don't think we've actually run into her just yet. Be interested to see her when she shows up. Riker's fucking sick though. Lude Miller. Wow, I was so wrong on the name. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you. R Rude Miller. Wow, I was so off. I'm not gonna look up like what they look like, but I'm very interested to see I'm very interested to see what Dopio. Pio Chan considers his like favorite girl in the game. You haven't met the best boy apart from Doug yet either? Apart from Doug? Which one was Doug? Wait. Doug? Rune Factory. Oh, you mean the one? Okay. Interesting. I mean, that's technically cheating since you can't romance him either. He does look a bit more grow. Oh my god, I didn't realize they did grow him up a little bit for Rune Factory 5 compared to 4. He was a bit more tiny in number 4. He has the longer hair now. That's awesome, actually. Interesting. Yeah, they made Doug better looking. I don't think I was too interested in him in number 4. Best boy in number 4? Hell yeah. <laughs> the visitor who grew up. Yeah, I didn't even realize he'd grown up. I just saw it and I was like, hey. Oh shit, yeah, chat isn't on the screen. Whoops, my bad. Oh, it's just broken right now. Let's see if we can fix it. There we go. <laughs> Much better. Um, I'll grab the comment grabber as well. But yeah, I didn't realize he'd grown up because I didn't remember the Rune Factory 4. I mean, it's been like two and a half years, I'd imagine, <laughs> since I played the Rune Factory 4. <laughs> Um, but it was nice. It's nice that we have them visiting. And it's nice to now know he's got, like, longer hair and a bit more grown up, a bit more adult. We back? Yeah, you guys exist. You're no longer stuck in the abyss. I'm proud of you guys. Welcome back. Also, yeah, I shared the confidants. Are you guys happy? You didn't get brushed yet, but I'll eventually find a way to create a brush. I know you can brush people in Rune Factory games brush people brush the monsters and the animals the tamed things <laughs> so yeah someday i'll be able to brush you but now i've sheared you at least it's something it's a start <laughs> it's a taste of what the shepherd will give you someday be back from the abyss hell yeah so we're naked now yeah but it's okay it's a nice warm day spring is setting in it may not be super warm for the rest of the week so prepare some blankets maybe <laughs> But other than that, I'm sure you'll be fine. Some of you may catch a cold, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. 
but naked for now. Honestly, it's just bored. <laughs> Calling it naked. You're always naked. You're confidants. You're sheepy sheeps. <laughs> Unless you're in your comfy sona form, in which case you're naked whenever you want to be, and otherwise not. <laughs> Lindsay, thank you for donating the full funds. Yeah. Thank you for playing one of my favorite games. Cheers to Wolf Daddy and Sleepy Boy. Hell yes. Excited for more open, open archives. Yeah, thank you. Me too. If more people show up, we may like jump into other games. Um, a bunch of people had just gone to sleep when I started streaming, which is really funny. Because yeah, their time zones should not be that way. <laughs> but it's what happened. I saw like a bunch of people playing games offline while I was like waking up and I was like, oh my God, are they okay? This is like an everyday thing for certain groups of Niji Sanji. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to Wolf Daddy and Sleepy Boy. I'm just so sad you can't romance Sleepy Girl. Sleepy Onechan and fucking Milf Wolf. Oh, Wolf Milf is so painful. Uh, I know a certain cat boy went to bed when he should be waking up. Yeah. A lot of us are dealing with weird sleeping schedules right now. Mine's actually coming back to normal. Like... Yeah, I had like a few days, like one day where I literally didn't sleep and a couple days where I had like three hours, but mine's getting back to normal. I slept healthy last night. I went to bed at like 11.30, woke up at the proper time of 8.30. I had a good amount of sleep. It was nice. It was relaxing. Thank you for donating the full funds, Lindsay. I'm looking forward to playing more Rune Factory 5 and I hope you enjoyed the day and have a wonderful evening. Any consolation? There's a romanceable woman in the future of the girls who may cure your woes. Oh, probably P.O. Chan's favorite girl then. People had said there were only like two more romanceable ones, one boy and one girl. So yeah, I guess we're going to have to steal P.O. Chan's girl. <laughs> but that's fine. In games like this, yeah, you end up like always having like similar tastes to some other people and just being like, sorry, it's we have to share. We, I mean, they have multiple hands. <laughs> it's the Rune Factory curse of not being able to smooch certain sexy NPCs. I... I the weird thing is, I don't remember it being such a problem in the past, but with this one, it was just like, no, like oh, three of the sexiest characters where I was like, yes, would are just like, no, nope, they're just friends. <laughs> it's like, no, please. There are three more, not two. Oh, oh, four more. There's at least four more, actually. Oh, wow. Cool. That's sick. Then we still have quite a few to find. I like the, the like little cut in like anime. Um things as well when it like displays a character for the first time remember venti and four being super popular because first girl technically and a dragon lolly venti 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 i i remember the dragon yeah she turned into a technically she was a dragon and then she turned into a human because she wanted a human form right yeah that makes sense <laughs> that's how a lot of the dragons in um fire emblem go as well she was adorable, actually. She was a lot of fun. She always had the cute voice. And then when she turned into the human, it was like, oh, yeah, baby. Was her name Ventus? It was Venti, apparently. Wait, it was Venti? We open. Oh, no, it's Ventus Will. Yeah, so Ventus Will. Ventus Will. Oh, but she goes by Venti when she becomes a human. So Ventus Will is a dragon and then Venti is a human. There we go. Yeah, she was adorable. <laughs> she was a fun time. Are you new fan? Wait, what? Oh, I'm your new fan. <laughs> hey, Maui, welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy staying in the sheep pile. Thank you so much for being here. It's lovely to have you. The problem with getting older, the old NPCs get harder. Yeah, and unfortunately, because you normally play as like a young teenager in these games, they don't really ne let you do the whole like, hey, I, I want to smash the MILF <laughs> or the DILF. At least you can smash Wolf Uncle. Wolf Uncle looks like he's in his young 20s. The beard really suits. The beard matures him up a little bit. <laughs> so that'll be good. Wolf Uncle is something. Wolf Uncle is something. And honestly, Riker's great. I just need to find... I can't believe they took away my Onechan and my MILF. How am I supposed to enjoy my bi-panic in these conditions? How fucking dare... <laughs> we could smash Wolf, man. Yeah, it's something. God damn it. Uh, you may hire. Thank you so much for donating the full funds. There's no message. Was there a super sticker? Nope. Thank you so much for donating the full funds. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for being here and rest a while. When the game does not grow up with you. I mean, it's still escapism. It's fine. You can enjoy the, the younger looking characters. 
I mean, Riker looks okay, even though he's a biz shonen. Honestly, the other white haired dude, the blacksmith, he's more like a grayish green, light greenish haired dude. But yeah, he's sick as well. Um, you can't romance the giant beefy blacksmith, which honestly, okay. I like Bara, but that guy is just a bit, <laughs> you need better looking styles as well. Also, the dude with the white hair, Riker, um, long white hair. I was trying to remember what character he reminded me of. Because Griffith, yes, kind of. But less than Griffith, um, if you ever played Tales of Vesperia, uh, Yuri's rival, uh, not, not Flynn, but Yuri's other rival, the other like best swordsman in the kingdom, had like white wavy hair like that as well. Duke, was that his name? Let me Google that to make sure. Duke Vesperia. Yes, Duke. He looks a lot like Duke to me, just with different clothing. He's got like very similar, like little curly hair in the front. Um, I loved Duke. Duke was such a cool, mysterious character. He would just show up every now and then, do monumental damage to shit around you, and then just walk away without even paying attention to you. Oh, man. He was sick. Rack is my favorite. Me too, so far. I love the design. Not just like the hair and the looks, but also the outfit fucking fix too. It also reminds me of Min. Min, 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 Min from what? Min, 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 Min? <laughs> min, 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 Min. <laughs> what is it with these white-haired anime boys? White-haired anime boys are always so good. Oh, Touch Starved. Oh, Touch Starved. That, that's actually spelled with an H. <laughs> For some reason, I saw Min and I was like, wait, Min is in like, as in M-I-N, Min? Like one of the... Uh, 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 Grammatical murder guys? Maybe not. But yeah, Min with an H. Mm, it's not quite as floofy floof. It's not quite. I see what you mean, though. It's a similar style. Min is also like a lot more aggressive looking. God, I freaking love Min's design. Min is so badass. Oh, yeah. And they've got the new characters. I forgot about that. They've got Sen. Um, They've got a girl coming into Touch Starved. And another man. But I can't remember what the man looks like. Mink. Oh, was it Mink I was thinking of? Mink Dramatical Oh yeah, the huge dude <laughs> Funny I still can't believe Aya said the hair looks like that I, I get the general idea I mean, I would go for like Sephiroth Somebody said my hair looks more like Aerith than Sephiroth Which now I kind of need to look up <laughs> uh, Nah, she's got more like dead anime mom hair like, her fringe isn't as long as mine. She just has, like, a lot longer hair drifting down the sides, which is braided. Aerith's hair is fucking sexy. Sephiroth. I still say it's, like, a combination of Sephiroth and Hojo. It's not as angsty as Sephiroth, so it's a bit more relaxed. But then Hojo has, like, the similar, like, pulled-back ponytail and the long white lab coat. Yeah. I don't like being associated with Hojo, but I'm good with it. <laughs> both have the same air vents in the front. Yeah. Kind of like a mix of both. I'm good with that. That works for me. <laughs> Someday I'll let it down. Yeah, sorry to tease you guys. I know I said I wouldn't be teasing so much when it came to the Shepherd, um, since I'm so happy with the Archivist. But yeah, I had to do the whole like, hey, Aya, you've seen the Shepherd. What do you think? Just to be like, yeah. Shepherd's like even more wild. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> You're more sexy than Hojo, at least. That's something. Pathetic old man, but not creepy old man. <laughs> Funny because of their relationship. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Lan Wang Ji. A little bit of Lan Wang Ji, which again, I was very surprised about. Honestly, I wonder if Lam Mama like saw what I had on like my mood board, on my like my board of things and just like started to look up the things that the characters came from and then saw Lan Wang Ji and was like, I like that. And Fuchan likes to do like the stoic kind of voices and the real like relaxed characters. Maybe that was it. Maybe Lan Mama like, looked into some of the characters from Old Dao Zishu, found Lan Wang Ji and was like, I feel like this is a good vibe for an archivist. Always hangs out in a library, always reading books, always very calm and soothing. Maybe, maybe that's what happened. <laughs> Either way, I'm happy with what I got. I love this look so much. Especially the face. The hair is great. The body size is perfect. Because it's not too big either. Like, it's not massive, but it's definitely, like, bigger than Legardus was. <laughs> Looks like a bartender too. Yeah. Lamb Mama's awesome for that. Lamb Mama just knows 
like again there's a lot of people like ori is another one ori the artist that i always hire to do like my logos and my uh schedules yeah i just like will send them the look of the characters and then like a general idea like i just sent um ori the archivist and the shepherd and said like i want something that combines like all the looks and has a bit of a like a dark academy feel but with some fantasy and some magic and yeah ori just delivered Lamb Mama delivers very good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Try Princess. Thank you so much for donating the full funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. And Kit, thank you so much for donating the full funds. The game looks so fun. It really is. Like, oh my God. I, I think just on Rune Factory 4 special, because technically I played Rune Factory 4 twice, which is another one of the reasons that I'm just like, I, I don't plan on like playing Rune Factory 4 anytime again. Rune Factory 4 Special, I played on the Switch, like, just before I started at um, Jisanji. And that was the second time I'd played it. And I'm pretty sure I put, like, 70 hours into Rune Factory 4 Special. <laughs> oh, God. Who are your Rune Factory 4 faves? You know what? Now I actually have time to look it up. So let me see. Remind myself. Rune Factory 4 characters. Um, I remember not liking um, Doug, which a bunch of people were like, oh... Doug was the best character. How dare you? <laughs> Which is fair. Um, Dolce was actually pretty fun. Dolce with like the little, yeah, kind of like gothic Lolita kind of vibe was good. I actually really did like Forte. Because Forte started off as the badass warrior woman and then became more chill as it went on. That was nice. Honestly, so many of these characters are good. Margaret was good back in Rune Factory 4. Shao Pai was good. Did not like Vishnu. Did not like Dillis. Did not like <laughs> I liked Arthur and I liked Leon. Leon was my favorite of the guys. Um, for the guys you can't romance, Volcanon would have been fun. Bardo was a fucking beast. Leon was my husband. Fair, fair. Again, <laughs> why head anime boys, man? Especially when they happen to be like wolf coded or aggressive coded. Oof. Yeah, I think Leon was the one that I ultimately got married to. Um, but I think, like, Margaret was pretty high up there. Forte was pretty high up there. I don't remember liking Doug much at all. <sighs> Wish you could have gotten with Lin Fa. <laughs> Lin Fa, Bardo, incredible. Um, oh, these are ones from the other games. I was like, Raven? Bar I, I do remember Barrett. Fair enough. Do, do, do. Yeah. I kind of liked Dolce. Dolce kind of remind me of Madeline. But yeah, I think of the girls, Forte and Margaret were my top picks back then. Arthur. Arthur was okay. <laughs> Does Leon's quality his hair? Isn't it basically fur at that length? You know, I don't know. It may qualify as fur. Either way, sexy design, fun characterization. Leon's voice by Matt Mercer. <laughs> Don't expose me. Yes, I'm a Matt Mercer fan boy. <laughs> Margaret and Doug were my faves in RF4. I was so happy that cameos in RF5. Yeah, Margaret had like the really nice story about like being more confident in her singing. And yeah, so like just uh, tied to her whole like character growth. Doug was my favorite in 4. I'm surprised so many people loved Doug. Maybe I just didn't spend enough time with him. I remember just looking at his design. Again, he's better in Rune Factory 5 when he's aged up a bit and the longer hair. Again, it was just like that very generic look, like how I felt about um, the Rune Factory 5 male protagonist, where I was like, it's not a bad look. It's just not as interesting a look as the female form. It's like Byleth and Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm like, male Byleth is kind of cool. He's got like the really nice cloak and everything. But then there's female Byleth <laughs> with like the giant booba window and the really decorated stockings, tights, whatever you want to call them. And it's like, how am I ever going to pick male by <laughs> Oh, God damn it. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Thank you for donating the Foo Fun's kit. I hope you're having a wonderful day and please rest well. <laughs> Kashi good. Thank you for donating the Foo Fun's. Um, no messy. Oh, wait. No, that's it. Arigato. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Yeah, like I said, this is more successful than I expected. Like, <laughs> I was really surprised somebody joined within the first hour. I was like, we'll probably have like two hours of just time by ourselves. It was nice, though, especially, like, chatting to Ike and Aya, like, yeah, very much niji nerd meeting. I was <laughs> just hanging out and talking about, like, anime and books and medieval stuff and fantasy stuff. <laughs> he doesn't look bad. He just doesn't stand out compared to other designs. Yeah, exactly. Needs more men to kiss? I do. 
At least it sounds like there are going to be like more interesting characters when we get into Rune Factory Rune 5 more. I didn't really like Dodge much either, but I didn't give him much of a chance after Dillis and Leon shot. Exactly, Radical Fox. That's what I mean. Like he was an okay character, but it was just like he looked kind of generic, kind of young. And then fucking Leon showed up and I was like, okay, that's that's the one. That's, I'm committed now. <laughs> Ike, Ike. Ika, Ika, I'm confused. <laughs> Niji nerds make me so happy. Yeah, like I said, the last two Tochimachis have been really fun. Um, we had like a Niji fuck yesterday. And we've also decided that, yeah, you could just add the V before the F. So it's just like a silent V that just adds a little bit to like the Niji. Fuck. Um, so that works too. <laughs> like us all talking about like things from the 90s and early 2000s. Like, God, we never get to talk about this in front of other people. And then today, like the Niji Nerd meeting. It's just great. <laughs> Raymond, thank you for donating the full funds. Atsifu-chan. Hello, everybody. Have a good rest of tomorrow, today's forest training. Thank you. So far, we had good forest training. Confidants are only level one so far, but I'm sure they'll be very useful companions in the farm soon. Oh, that's probably why I'm not able to keep them permanently yet. I don't have a monster shed yet. You need a shed and somewhere to actually house them. Right. No wonder. I'm dumb. <laughs> I was like, wait. Why, why, why won't they just show up at my house? I'm throwing things at them. <laughs> As a male Byleth fan, I agree. I mean, yeah, no, it's fair. You can honestly, like, male Byleth is still a fucking good looking design. It's just like compared to some of the other ones, not just female Byleth, but also Fire Emblem Three Houses is so stacked with so many incredible character designs, so many great personalities. So yeah, it's a little bit hard when you have like male Byleth mixed in and it's like, He's okay. <laughs> we have the forest who needs a shed. Yeah, but you live out in the forest without me. I need to kidnap you and take you from the forest to my tiny shed where you will till my soil and reap my crops for me. And then maybe occasionally I will brush and shear you and give you head pats. That is the payment. Deal? Deal? <laughs> it's like offer. So no, 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 no. It's it's not slavery, Agaha. So there's payment involved. Just just not great payment. What is this power world? <laughs> no, if it was, I would totally give you guys machine guns. I I think that was the one moment where I almost like thought powered maybe was just seeing all the cute little sheep characters with giant guns. I was like, <gasps> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be fun. Do we get uppies? You guys get uppies all the time. What do you mean? I'm constantly giving you guys all of the uppies. Exactly. See? There you go. He's a good boy. <laughs> yes, it's us. Say less, sir. You will treat us well. Of course. You never get uppies. You just got uppies. Here, here's more uppies. Good uppies. I don't know why this one's scared. The other one isn't scared. The other one's more frustrated. But yeah, uppies. Technically, I also actually have some decent uppies, really. <laughs> I mean, I don't use this one as much, but I mean, we've used it in the past. There we go. <laughs> we've got like an animated bleep bleep. And we've got a Shiro somewhere. Just dislikes heights. Exactly. It's just scared of heights. That's the only problem. That's a, yeah, that's a, a phobia. Sheepy. Daily salary would be uppies and head pats. I don't know about both of those. I think that's more of a weekly salary. Daily salary is like one or the other for like 30 seconds. I hate heights too. Oh, I'm sorry. Being six foot three and you guys being tiny little sheep, it can be a bit of a problem. Y'all are just so tiny. <laughs> Going through exposure therapy? Oh shit. Good luck with that. I hope it works out. I thankfully have never had to have exposure therapy for anything, but I've heard that it can work for some people, so I hope it goes well. We get the guns, I'm sold. You know what? That's fair. Yeah. Have my gun. You can have a tiny pistol. You can't have my big gun, but you can have the little gun. Also, I haven't updated these yet, but Arena did actually specifically make a lot of these with like the proper arms for the archivist as well. I'm silly. We deserve rights. I say both. No. Both weekly. One a day. Wonder how Shiro looks with this model? Hmm. 
Come to think of it, where is my Shira? I haven't used that in so long. <laughs> God, I never pinned it on either. I really should add that as a pinnable asset. But did I not have it right? Oh, there it is. Oh, he's just kind of low. <laughs> Holy crap. Archivist's, Archivist's stomach was so much further down. Um, oh, uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to pin that way higher in the future. Shiro, the Fudan sheep, my best boy. The true Oshi, let's be honest. <laughs> Raymond, thank you for donating the food funds. Atsu Fuchina. Hello, every. Oh, wait, I read this one. Thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a lovely evening. <laughs> Sorry. So many rambles, so many yapping sessions, so many distractions. Shima, hello, Fudan. I have a small request. Today's my birthday. Can you give me some blessings? Um. I'm going to have to refer you to my channel rules, which are in the descriptions for every video. Um, I do hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for donating the Foo Funds. Um, that would be against my channel rules, though, so I'm going to have to say no. But I hope you have a lovely day. Veli, the comfy shrimp. Oh, <laughs> you turn into a comfy shrimp. Let's go. Atsu <laughs> Foo. I like how the combo goes with Niji Nerds, especially when the old classic anime and manga are mentioned. It feels so nostalgic and old. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to make Ike feel old today Especially since he is like I mean I don't know if he's ever like actually talked about his age to be fair So who knows Maybe he's an eldritch being He didn't even want to mention Eki So Interesting <laughs> Who knows when it comes to Ike But yeah making him feel old was good Old on the inside Hell yeah <laughs> I'd see Fu uh, Thank you for donating the Fu funds Belly the comfy shrimp And yeah Sometimes it makes me feel old too, like the PlayStation 2 thing the other day when we found out that people who... Oh, there's a lot of people in the adult workforce nowadays who were born after the PlayStation 2 came out. That's... Oh. No. <laughs> that hurts my brain. I don't want to remember that anymore. In fact, I specifically want to be able to drink again so I can think about that while drinking really heavily and put it out of my mind and make it erased. That still hurts. Yeah, that still hurts. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Veli. And yo, is that my shrimp? Or is that somebody else's shrimp? Because some people did some really good drawings of shrimps. That's my shrimp. Oh, adorable. Thank you, and I hope you have a lovely day. Kids nowadays don't know what a DS is. See, it doesn't bother me when it's kids. When it's like, oh, kids these days don't know about like the pain of like dial up internet or this or that. It's like, yeah, that's fine. They're kids. The fact that I, oh God. The fact that at any time when I go into like a serious place, this is the scary thing. Like the PlayStation 2 is 24 years old. So the fact that like an actual like trained lawyer or like a doctor doing their residency could be young enough that they didn't, that they were born after the PlayStation 2 came out is fucking mind boggling to me. <laughs> MJ and Lim, thank you for telling the Foo Fans. <laughs> Just saw it. Congrats on the... What? Three million on break free? Fuchan and Noctix? Thank you so much for donating the Foo Fans, MJ and Lim. And also... Holy crap. Again. It, it, it took like two weeks for it to get to one million. Which I was still fucking ecstatic about. I was like, yo, a million views. That's insane. And then it only took like a couple days to get to 2 million. It's only take, it's definitely been less than a week to get to 3 million. My God. Thank you so much, Confidants. Thank you so much, Nocturnals. Thank you so much, anybody who's listening to the song. It is a really good song. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so happy that it's doing so well. Since yeah, so many people worked so hard on it. It's awesome. It means it's reaching further. Yeah, I'm hoping it means that, like more people have like started to hear it and just started like looping it on the daily. <laughs> It's so nice though. Thank you for telling me. I had no idea it kept going. I was like very much paying attention because people were like telling me. Um, I'd seen like some chat things that were like, yo, it's close to hitting 1 million, which is why I was like paying attention to it on like that final day. But the fact that it's just spiraled since then is crazy. Okay, Sky, thank you so much for donating the full funds. Borgman, very relaxing stream. Thank you so much, Okay, Sky. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a wonderful time. Like I said, I was surprised so many people showed up. I was very happy about it. And yeah. Hope we do get, get to get the there. <laughs> what? I hope we do get to do more of these in the future. I'll definitely do another one in two weeks and see how it goes, but I'm having fun. I definitely, yeah, I should have done Rune Factory once off by myself. That was silly of me. <laughs> Sound it out. 
Yeah, it's just my mouth being dumb. It's the British debuff. <laughs> Noeen, thank you so much for donating the full funds. No message, no super sticker, but thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. Please wish well. So what? Like, I just had a dumb mouth moment. It, you guys should be used to those by now. Especially when I do like seven hour streams. By the end of a seven hour stream, I'm just like, uh, uh, nani? <laughs> We've been doing a lot of long streams recently. So I'm glad this was a shorter one. Um, I know for sure, like we're probably going to have a pretty long stream. Wait, let me, let me check one thing real quick. Oh, oh no. I changed my schedule into the height difference chart. <laughs> Whoops. Let me fix that. <laughs> The god, that's been... Uh, yeah, I guess, wow. This is the first time I've shared a schedule since the Archivist debut. How has it only been out for that long? It feels like we've had the Archivist forever at this point. God damn. Um, schedule, 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 schedule. Probably this is going to be way, way the fuck bigger. Rah! I forgot how big I make my schedule. It's like 5,000 pixels. Blah, 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 blah. We... We uh... Oh yeah, night in the woods. Okay, so night in the woods. Oh, I can peek over it now. I'm big enough to peek over the schedule. <laughs> I don't have to like stick my head out to the side anymore. Unless I wanted to. I, I... Eh. <laughs> but yeah, night in the woods is probably going to be another long stream. Because yeah, I mean, night in the woods is like a 13, a 12 to 15 hour game, I think. Depending on how long you take on it. Um, so Night in the Woods part one. So tomorrow's stream will probably be pretty long. I could see it being like five to six hours of gameplay. Um, but then Storyteller, like that full game is only supposed to be like two hours long. So that'll probably be a pretty short stream as well. And that's also where I'm going to catch up on all the damn stream laps because <laughs> I wasn't allowed to do them yesterday. I can catch up on today's ones today. Um, but yeah, I'll try to catch up on all the stream labs that I missed after Storyteller. We'll see how it goes, but... I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm going to do my best. Also, yes, that artwork, absolutely incredible. I was mind blown when I saw it. It's one of the sexiest things I have ever seen. <laughs> Geralt a video? No, if anything, like, that's Geralt me. And then I guess a video would play, um, what's her name? Siri. Oh, Geralt me, Siri, like, little video. And then, like, bigger video as... Oh, I don't want to do that, actually. I don't like the way that they portrayed her in the series. <laughs> you know what? No. Just, just, yeah, just me and my daughter. That's all we need. No, we don't mention that name here anymore, Giannis. We'll mention it when we play the game again. Yennefer is la goddess. I could see Yennefer not being la goddess, but instead being, um... Not the redhead witch, not Trish, but the other witch that Geralt gets around with every hero then. The aggressive one who's just all about fucking shit up. <laughs> I forgot her name, but she's a fun time. Witcher Fu is gorgeous. It so suits you. Yeah, at some point, I'm definitely going to dive into Witcher 3. I never did Blood and Wine. And I mean, this drawing is specifically like based off of the Blood and Wine, like official art where you go against like vampires and stuff. I never did Blood and Wine. I, oh God. So yeah, that'll be fun to do someday. Work our way through the Witcher 3. Oh, so many of those early quests are actually the best parts of the game. Like, the Bloody Baron is such an interesting storyline. And that's, like, really the first, like, six hours of the game. And then you start doing all kinds of crazy shit. Playing Witcher 3 for two years. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know. Maybe I'll play it like Van Van. Maybe I'll play it like Van Van has stormed through Dragon's Dogma and just do, like, ten hours a day for, like, uh, two weeks. <laughs> No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to do that. But it's a possibility. I mean, I did that with FF8, but that was just like a 35-hour game, not like a 80-hour game. And technically, I'm pretty sure you could finish Witcher 3 in like 20 hours if you just like beelined it for Siri. Yennefer Lagardis. The outfit would look good. The outfit would look good. But Yennefer's personality is more like teasing. It's not really aggressive. It's more like sensual seduction rather than like abrasive seduction. Van Van really loves Dragon's Dogma. Yes. You have no idea. I mean, we were talking about yesterday, like me and Pio-chan, the fact that we should be able to play Dragon's Dogma 2 as soon as it releases. <laughs> Van Van freaked out so much when that happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just... Uh, if it'd come out like a couple months from now when I had the Shepard model... 
I'd probably dive into Dragon's Dogma too, but I think I'm going to let this one just pass me by for now. Maybe I'll play it in the future, but yeah. I, I, for now, I'm doing like all the, like the little single content kind of stuff, so, and then we'll move on to other things. The character creator is great. I've seen that. Like you could make like really customized characters. I've seen like their versions of characters from like other games and manga and anime and stuff, and they look so legit. It's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, the character customization is on another level in Dragon's Dogma too. Miss Jerry Lawley, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Having said that, ah, oh, without spoiling it, like uh, Pio Chan's been selling me even more on Unicorn Overlord since I'm still waiting for like to get a week off to play it. And he was just telling me you can customize your entire fucking army. Like it's not just the main character. You can customize every single member of your army in Unicorn Overlord. Change like their colors, change some of their outfit pieces. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Week off after your birthday, you deserve it. It won't be right after my birthday for sure. It's got to be sometime between my birthday and the Shepherd. Probably sometime where even though I'll call it a week off, it'll probably be like closer to the Shepherd's release and I'll be like preparing a bunch of stuff. It'll just be much nicer to prepare things with a week off rather than <laughs> streaming straight through like all the stuff that I had to prepare over the last month. <laughs> Never heard of Unicorn Overlord. What a name. It's a great looking game. I haven't played it yet, but everybody has been saying it's amazing. And I just love tactical RPGs and vanilla wares like artwork and their games in general have always been good. Um, thank you for the stream. Foot Chan, this is my first time seeing a Rune Factory game and I loved it. Thank you. Yeah, this is my favorite kind of farming game. Because, I mean, Stardew Valley, I've tried once. Um, I've enjoyed Harvest Moons. Uh, I wasn't really a fan of Stardew Valley. Just the art style doesn't really work for me. Um, but I've tried some other farming games. Um, Rune Factory has just always been my favorite. I like the ability... Well, actually, and Fantasy Life on, like, the Nintendo DS was really good as well. Um, but Rune Factory has just always been my favorite because it balances so well between, like, the farming, the killing things, the collecting things, the doing dungeons, the doing sellings. Yeah, I like the balance stardew and this gives me the same vibes yeah it's very much like a similar thing like uh harvest moon i think was like the original farming game correct me if i'm wrong about that i may just be talking out my ass but i think harvest moon was the first one where you just straight up like the whole thing was just to like plot some land plant some things grow them and sell them um and yeah it became like a huge hit especially since like yeah a lot of it was like dating game mechanics as well this game reminds me of fire emblem I can only really see that in like the characters. <laughs> Some of the characters are pretty similar, but the gameplay is very different. Not sure of the sound tonight. I mean, yeah, Harvest Moon's a great time anyway. But yeah, Rune Factory is the one for me. Okay. All the super chats done. Um, well, actually, that's all the new super chats done. I'll go through the old super chats too before I go jump into Streamlabs. If there were any old ones. Oh, there we go. Voitan. Butchan, do you remember a game called Thousand Arms? Top tier anime aesthetic game. I don't actually. Thousand Arms. Oh shit. No, I don't think I ever played this one. Looks kind of sick though. 1998 Atlas for the PlayStation 1. No, I never played this one. I definitely, yeah. It reminds me of Jing the King of Bandits, these designs. Very desert punk kind of feel. It also kind of reminds me of like Breath of Fire. Breath of Fire was another good like anime aesthetic kind of game. Especially Breath of Fire 3. Oh, I didn't really like Dragon Quarter. But before Dragon Quarter, like Breath of Fire 1, 2, and 3 were amazing. Especially 1 and 2 had like the very fantasy Dungeons and Dragon feel. And then 3 went a bit more anime with it, which I still liked. And then 4, I don't know. I just didn't have a vibe with the mechanics. I haven't heard Jing in ages, man. Yeah. This like this game, this Thousand Arms game... The character designs just scream Jing the King of Bandits to me. Aye, that's one of the first manga I ever read. Unicorn Overlord, not on Steam? I don't know. It's on like a lot of consoles. Um, oh, and for people who were wondering, because I'm not sure if many people in chat heard me say it. Um, the game I was talking to Ike about where it was like my first game that had like an anime FMV in it was called Alundra. It's a PlayStation 1 game as well. It plays a lot like a Legend of Zelda game. Um, you go to dungeons and collect different items and use them um, against the enemies. You get like fire rods and sand rods and stuff. It was a lot of fun. 
Um, Alundra 2, not so much. <laughs> but Alundra 1 is awesome. The main plot line of that game is you're something called a dreamwalker. Where if anybody's like asleep, you can enter their dreams and find out like what's plaguing their nightmares and stuff. And there were like some special monsters that could infect people's dreams and like to curse them with horrible nightmares that you had to then go in and deal with. Yeah, it had a really good gameplay and it. it was a decent story, honestly. <laughs> Man, I wonder if there's any way to play Alundra nowadays. Let me Google that. Alundra. <laughs> sure, Wikipedia. Um, plot development release. <gasps> oh, you can get it on PlayStation 3. Alundra was released as a downloadable game on the PS1 Classic service for the PlayStation 3. That's still two generations behind, but that gives me hope. Maybe they'll port it to the PlayStation 5 as well. <laughs> I'd play it. I loved that game. It had like, oh, if you just want to see like some really good like 2D animation, anime style, just Google uh, Alundra opening. It's fantastic. It's so beautiful. I love the elf look of the characters too. I haven't heard of Alundra since 2000. Yeah, it's one of those games like I tried Alundra 2. Alundra 2 just wasn't as good as me. It didn't feel like Alundra at all. <laughs> but yeah, Alundra 1 was amazing. I loved that back in the day. What was the other one I really liked on PlayStation 1? It was something about a tower. I remember you had to like collect monsters, train them, and then go up like an infinite level tower. PlayStation 1. Azure Dreams! Holy shit. I can't believe you got that just from what I said. Because that was not a good description either. Yeah, Azure Dreams! Oh my god. That game was crazy. So yeah, you'd like collect monsters, you'd train them, you'd breed them, you'd make them stronger, and then you had to like climb up a tower full of labyrinths and stuff, fight more monsters, and yeah, the, the hanging out with the characters outside was always good as well. Man! You had to take a limited amount of items with you. You could build up the town. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me of Dark Cloud as well. I loved a Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2 as well. I wonder if you can get Azure Dreams. On well, I wonder if it holds up. <laughs> I'm looking at some of the screenshots now and I'm like, huh. There was a lot more sexual content in this game than I remember. <laughs> Eight to ten year old Fuchan does not recognize all these women in bikinis. I'm like, wait, what? That was in my Azure Dreams. Or dreams. Some wild hair. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Curse of the Demon. Oh. Oh, there was a spiritual sequel on Nintendo DS in 2005. Interesting. Never heard of that one. Release. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, no. It's never been ported. It's only been ported to Game Boy Color. Damn. It's a really good game, man. Now I want to play that again. Yeah, now I kind of want to look at Dark Cloud 2. I'm surprised they never made a Dark Cloud 3 because I feel like Dark Cloud 2 was received really well. Dark Cloud. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Gameplay, plot development. Ooh, PlayStation 4 port. Available through the PlayStation 4 in December 2015. Some of the... Oh, man, they're so close. Why don't they just port all these things that have been on the PS3 and PS4 and PS5 as well? Man, you can play it on PS5? Oh, shit. I might have something to do offline. <laughs> I don't think that would be a good uh, stream game, but man, it's... Yo, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of the nostalgia recently. Maybe I will even try to stream it. We can get permissions. Okay. Um, Kogashi Wakai. Takaman Blade Law. The voice actor for the main character yelled so loud when shouting for the Volteca attack that he broke the recording mic twice. You can break microphones like that? Holy shit. You play Dark Cloud? I might try it. I, I doubt many people would be too interested in it, but it's like, it's a nostalgia thing for me. Come to think of it, how long is that game? Dark Cloud. How long to beat? 31 hours that's not too bad we've dealt with worse <laughs> we've dealt with way worse but i love that one because you go out and explore you murder things um as you do you like get things to build your town um you get to build like an entire town more people start to move in the more you build it up it was a really cool mechanic i liked it um sleepy boy thank you for donating the full funds there he is Riker, my favorite love interest Riker's intro comes way later. Yeah, I was scared he was never going to have an anime intro. 
I was like, oh God, is he not a love interest? Is he like one of those cool, mysterious characters that's like so sexy, but to keep them cool and mysterious, they don't make them dateable and they don't make them like actually interactable. I'm glad he's not. I'm glad we can like bring him into the dungeon, get to know him, build up our relationship. I can't believe we've almost got him to level two already. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, okay, that's, oh wait. Oh, somebody else said about the three million before. Rain the Fuchan sheep. Thank you for donating the full funds. Uh, Fuchan, congrats on three million for break free. Thank you. Yeah, I was still shocked that that happened so quickly. That's crazy. Um, ba -ba -bam. I love rogues, man. Me too. That's why I used to play a rogue as well. Like I talked the other day about Dragon's Dogma. My main character was, yeah, dual blade wielding rogue. And also in Guild Wars 2, which I played for like years and years and years. Um, I played like a rogue who had like the short bow that could bounce arrows off of people and then the dual dagger thing. Rogues are always fun, except for in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> in Dungeons and Dragons, they're very useful, especially for like flavor text and exploration. In actual battles, they just feel really boring to use to me. Unless you like min max them and do like the bullshit, like little power up you can do where you can technically hide in shadows behind like a slightly bigger person. So if you just hide behind like an orc or a goliath or a barbarian kind of character you get like all the critical hits that you want in the world and that just feels like cheating <laughs> love stealing in games oh that's always fun as well especially since in dungeons and dragons you could just literally steal from fucking anyone you could just be like hey dm about this adorable lovely town mayor who just rewarded me with a brilliant bo a bo barrel of gold and told me i could stay in the town for as long as i want and is in love with me I would like to pick his pockets and I would like to empty them and steal his rings off of his fingers, if possible. <laughs> I'm the rogue in my latest campaign and critical hits are so OP. They are. It's just like, uh, you can make it like with the right kind of setup so that you get like a lot of critical hits. Really a critical hit like from a sneak attack is really supposed to be like a one time kind of thing. I mean, the mechanic that you could do where you get like the extra um, attack by just being adjacent to another ally attacking the same character is okay but it's just i mean there are so many characters that do so many cooler things so many more interesting things <laughs> stolen from party members but in my defense it was a dagger that was perfect for me and they were a monk yeah they didn't need that dagger then honestly if they didn't just instantly give it to you if you have a party member and you're like oh i could technically use this dagger it's not great for me but i can stabby people with it and you're like, I'm a rogue. That's my main weapon. If they don't give that shit to you, fucking steal it from them. It's the same as like if you're a ranger and somebody finds a short bow and they're like, technically I can use it. And it's like, it's my main weapon. <laughs> like fucking hell, what do you mean? <laughs> give it to the people who need it the most. Unless it's against like your RPing. If it's against like your character's motivation, in which case. Yeah, it's fine for your character's motivation to stab that bitch in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool, but honestly, in any D&D game, I become a fighter and start swinging. See, fighters are fun, though. They have, like, action surges. They have, like, so many cool weapons they can switch between. Action surges has, like, so many cool, like, fighting effects. Fighters are actually really interesting in D&D 5e. Um, rangers less so. <laughs> like, I like warlocks the most because, like, you have a very basic, like... You could just power the shit out of your Eldritch Blast and use that as your main attack. But then at the same time, you have some really fucking powerful spells that every now and then you can just be like, and I'm going to fireball the entire room or, and I'm going to call, I'm going to use like power word kill and instant kill this enemy or like, um, the, 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 the charm, not the charming. Oh God. There's something where you can like give somebody a simple command and it could be like, as long as it doesn't hurt them, it's fine. So you could just give someone a simple command and be like, Turn around and walk until you collapse. That kind of shit. Like Mega Min. Mega Min more of a, like a, a wizard. More of maybe a sorcerer. Sorcerer. But Mega Min, I feel like she's not very book learned. I, she, I feel she's more of a sorcerer. <laughs> but yeah, just like fireball magic is always fun. Even though it's not like particularly great for most of my classes when I set things up, I'm always like, I need fireball. It's just so much fun to turn a fireball into like a sixth level spell and just one shot an entire fucking room of enemies because they all happen to be congregated before they saw you coming. 
halfling barbarian goes hard too i have never seen a halfling barbarian i've seen dwarf barbarians that sounds hilarious <laughs> now i'm just imagining like chilchuk from um dungeon meshi just running around with a giant axe as big as his entire chest and jumping around and trying to swing it at people <laughs> Don't understand a single word of this conversation. It makes me want to play D&D and related stuff so I can follow along. D&D is a lot of fun. It's a good way to get social with other people that are like nerds and normally antisocial. Nerds in obviously like a positive way. I call myself a nerd all the time. Just let me make, point that out real quick. Um, but yeah, no, it's a really good way to like start to meet people and to learn some role playing skills and just in general, like get your story telling fix and like enjoy some worlds that you might never experience otherwise it is the most customizable game in the world because as long as you have a good dm the good dm will let you do anything and depending on the kind of dm you have you can do some really crazy shit as well like a lot of people do like evil campaigns where you play as like technically aligned evil characters that go around like trying to murder the good guys or enslave populations or take over towns and cities and then sometimes you can just like do crazy shit. Like depending on your DM, honestly, like nothing is unpermitted. Everything is open. <laughs> Kami, thank you for donating the funds. And thank you for the beautiful logo for today. As a fan of Harvest Moon, now I really want to try Room Factory. Thank you for the trust stream, fool. What's up for using the logo? The logo was awesome. Thank you so much. I'm probably going to use that much more in the future. Uh, there's somebody else who did a really nice logo as well, but their logo was a bit more cyberpunk a bit more cool and badass it was a really nice logo but i just felt like this one fitted definitely for like this kind of thing where it's just like hey just drop in play head out it's all good really want to play DD, and i really i don't know anyone to play with unfortunately um if you have any kind of like like miniatures stores or like a role-playing stores around you quite often they will have events where it's just like an open play kind of thing where people will show up, there'll be like one or two, maybe like three to five sometimes, depending on the size of the store, uh, DM, D, uh, DMs sitting around and like letting people like join their thing and just being like, oh yes, and this halfling warrior has stumbled in. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself kind of thing and let people play it? As somebody else said, yeah, you can also play D&D &D online. Um, there's this service called Roll20, which I really like. Um, which is like an online version of D&D. It's not like super high graphics, but it's like pen on paper kind of things and with good tokens. You can also pay for like a, a premium kind of thing where they also let you do like different visual effects and use like a bunch of uh, copyrighted music that they have the rights to. Um, so that's all really useful. Um, D uh, bad, bad, yeah. Yes, <laughs> I like those. But there are also other ways to play it. You can technically create a D&D &D campaign in... Oh, what's the Dungeons and Dragons game called that isn't Baldur's Gate? It's three words and I can't remember what it's called. Path? No, oh, fuck. Path of Exile? Is that? Am I making that up? Neverwinter Nights? No, it's one that... Divinity! Thank you. Okay. So I'm pretty sure Divinity Original Sin 2 has like a customizable thing. Custom. Yeah, custom campaigns. Is that official <laughs> yeah okay yeah they 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 added th added a thing where it's like divinity original sins 2's like gm D, D mode so you can actually like set up the maps however you want to um create whatever kind of tokens you want to from the world of divinity original sin 2 um you can basically like set that up where it will just look like divinity original sin 2 so pretty damn good graphics nice customizable stuff monsters that actually do attacks and stuff um yeah you can set up your own campaign prepare everything just like a gm um i've often like wished that i had the time to give to something like that i would never i could never even run like a basic D, &D campaign with just like pen and paper or just like quickly scribbled maps or anything i do not have the talent that some people have for gming um, but yeah, I would love to see people like use Divinity Original Sin 2 and create like their map fully ready to go and then as they stream through it, like bring out all the different monsters in like big, great 3D, 1080p, HD, 60 FPS glory as they show up and terrorize the crew. That shit's so cool to be. Sorry, anyway. <laughs> Kami, thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you're having a lovely day. Please rest well and take it easy. There's also a DND site that shares free maps and advice. Let's go. 
Reminds me of Heroes of Might and Magic 5. Awesome. I didn't even know that one had a custom one either. Mundane. Thank you for donating the full funds. Thank you for the hot dog super sticker. <laughs> hot dog. Glizzy. Oh. Why, why glizzy? But thank you. <laughs> Sonic Hedgehog 34. Thank you for donating the full funds. Oh no. Ike's already gone. Sorry. Question for both Ike and Folger. Have either of you played the new Sonic PO6? And if not, do you think either of you could possibly stream it sometime? Basically a fixed and updated version. Is it an official release or is it a fan-made thing? Because if it's a fan-made thing, probably not. Um, but is it basically like Sonic 06, but made without the glitches? <laughs> Let me look this up. Sonic E06. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. No, it's not an official thing. No. Yeah, we, we, we would not be able to do that. Um, probably. I mean, we'd have to get permission from Sega themselves to be able to do that. So definitely not anytime soon. If somebody wanted to request it, they might be able to. Uh, but they'd have to, like, ask Sega themselves kind of thing. The only Sonic game I recall at the moment is the murder one. <laughs> Yo, we wanted to play that so bad. Actually, the 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 Niji Monster Frickers, me, Pio Chan, Alira, and uh, uh, Wascala. We were gonna, we, we've tried to get permissions for that one. <laughs> I really wanted to play that one. Sonic.exe. No, Sonic.exe is like real creepy. Don't get me wrong. I uh, Yeah, there's some murder in that and some real kinky shit in Sonic.exe. But no, there's a game called, uh, I think it's called Who Murdered Sonic the Hedgehog or something. It's like a detective game <laughs> where it starts with Sonic being murdered and then you just have to like investigate things. Um, we were trying to get permissions and we were going to play that with Niji Monster Frickers, but it never happened. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to get it. Ah, uh, but that would have been really fun. We were just going to all do silly Sonic character voices. <laughs> hmm. We thought that was going to be a really funny time. Okay. Voitan, thank you so much for donating the full funds. Feed her so she can become a chonker. <laughs> do you mean the wolf baby? <laughs> he waited a damn minute. You know what? Yeah. Let's feed her so she can grow big and strong and bite our enemies to death. It's free on stream. I believe it came out kind of recently, right? Yeah, I think it was made, I, I think maybe a year ago, actually, wasn't it? One of the April Fool's Day games. Um, Who murdered? The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Do, 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 do. So yeah, it was actually made by Sega. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> Um, 2023 release date. Yeah, April 1st. It was a April Fool's Day game. Because I remember seeing it and being like, ha ha, very funny. And then being like, oh, you can actually play this. That's kind of sick. I like that new generation of jokes where like people announce things on April the 1st and people are like, that's such a dumb idea, but I kind of want it. And then they actually make it. <laughs> like when they made a Nekopara male version, and they were like, ha April Fools. What if all the Nekopara girls were guys? And everybody was like, do it. <laughs> do it. You won't. And then they did it. And people loved it. <laughs> Shit like that is always so funny to me. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Mira loves. Thank you for donating the full funds. But Jan, this is one of my favorite Switch games. Thanks for playing it. No problem. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I wasn't like voicing most of it. Like, I was reading everything and making sure I was paying attention to what's going on in the story. But I just didn't want to, like, distract anything from the Totsumachi conversation as well. Definitely should have done, like, the first stream by myself. So we absorbed all of that before the daily stuff, but I'm done. <laughs> Yanez, thank you for donating the full funds. Asterian is the best boy? No. Gale is the best boy. Wait, Gale? No. Fuck, what was the druid's name? I can't even remember the druid's name right now. The druid that turns into a bear is the best boy. Also, the drider that you can't romance or bring into your party. The drider that you randomly find underground is sexy as fuck and so murderous. I like him. How sin, thank you. I don't know about Gale, he eats my stuff. Gale does have a nice flamboyancy about him. Like, he's flamboyant in a fun way. So flamboyancy is another one like a sundere where if you're a flamboyant character, you're either like smarmy sensual and sexy or you're like fucking obnoxious loud mouthy and annoying sometimes you're both <laughs> but yeah that's very hit or miss for me like with sundares there are some where they're like very flamboyant oh hello to you my dear commoner i hope you enjoy my beautiful long gold ribbed coat it's so gorgeous oh do not touch it i do not want your grime on it sometimes they're fun 
Asterion is like the bad type of flamboyant. <laughs> He's the theater kid that was like, not a good theater kid. Most theater kids just want to like share their interests and their passions, get really excited about things. Asterion's one of those theater kids that wants to be the center of attention in every fucking scene. Gets in the way for everything. Thinks he's incredibly sexy when really he's a pathetic man, which pathetic men can sell that pretty well if they aren't trying to tell you how sexy they are all the time. The theater kid who wasn't bullied hard enough. Jesus. Nice. Thank you for the slash J. <laughs> God damn. I love Asterion until the day I die. That's fine. I know he's like one of the most popular characters. It's honestly fine if people enjoy him. I just did not enjoy any of the scenes with him. <laughs> the Asterion roasting session. It must be a day that ends with Y. <laughs> okay. Now we're caught up on the super chats. Boop -ba -doop -boop -ba -da -boop. Okay, so let's see if there were any stream labs today. I'll just do today's stream labs, if there were any. And then, yeah, we'll catch up on stream labs properly on Tuesday. Because we're doing a very short uh, gameplay session that day. So we'll have a lot of time for Zatsudani and catching up on stuff. Story is honestly so good and cathartic. Yeah, but is it worth going down that story? <laughs> you only saw a bit of his route. I saw enough to know that I didn't want to know the rest of it. If, if like, Pomu, Scala, and Pio Chan wouldn't have been pissed at me, I would have fireballed that face in a fucking second. <laughs> I was so ready to murder a bitch when he started doing the, like, Oh, well, you said you, you'd give me your blood once, so I've just decided to sneak into your bed every night and keep taking your blood. Oh, yes. Mm. Fuck off. I mean Rosemi. Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> For some reason... Oh, Scala's doing her own playthrough. That's... Oh, my God, my brain. It was Rosemi who kept getting attacked by Asterion. Yeah. Waking up every day anemic. Oof. He did that because you didn't have enough heart points. Well, fuck him. <laughs> Nijituni. Nijituni is very close to Niji Monster Fricker. We need to find a game big enough that we can combine the two. <laughs> we need to, yeah, find a game big enough that we can combine all of them. All of the voice actors from Touch Starved. Just like a huge ensemble cast dating game kind of thing. Pico Park. No, I, I mean, something that suits things, not something that's just going to make us rage for no reason. <laughs> Chuny Frickers, hell yeah. Minecraft. Look right here. We have just had Pico Park and Minecraft mentioned in a row. If somebody adds Air Fryer, you have hit the holy trinity of disappointing Fuchan. I'm not angry. Just disappointed. <laughs> Pressed you found a whitehead character you hate. I know. It's really hard to find one. And yet they did it. Air Fryer. I'm a time you out. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I could if I wanted to. <laughs> Paradox Min. Thank you for toning the Foo Fans. By the way, happy St. Patty's Day, Foo. Happy St. Patrick's Day. My town is hosting a parade right now. Tascaru kilts and bagpipes. And apologies for the American bastardization of soda bread. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Honestly, it was delicious, though. Like, I ate that entire fucking bun. It took a while. It was a big bun. But <laughs> it was delicious. It was just an English scone. It wasn't Irish soda bread. It was, it was strange. A try was made. It wasn't even like a proper try, though. I feel like it was just straight up like, hey... We made a scone, but we want to sell it for St. Patrick's Day. So we'll say it's traditional Irish soda bread. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had fun at the parade, Paradox Mint. They don't do anything like that near me. I saw that they dyed some river and somewhere in America green this year. But why? Why? That sounds so bad for the environment. <laughs> I'm unaware of the law here. What's wrong with air fryers? Okay, so basically there's nothing wrong with air fryers. What is wrong with air fryers is the people that genuinely believe that air fryers actually fry food and make it taste better than convection ovens, even though it is a convection oven. Don't get him started. We're doing this one more time. Somebody hasn't heard this before. <laughs> I just don't like that they marketed it as an air fryer. And there were a lot of people that will straight up die on the hill of like, 
No, it tastes just like fried food. It's different. It's different from cooking it in an oven. It tastes way better. I put my fries in it and they air fried it without any oil. Delicious. It was fantastic. Tastes actually fried, but without the oil. And it's like, it's just an oven. Like you're just imagining it. <laughs> Which, and you know what? I'm happy for those people, but I hate how serious they are about it. <laughs> I hate that they will. Like I have honestly fought with somebody who lives close to me for like a solid 10 minutes about like, no, it doesn't fry anything. It's no different from putting it in a fucking oven. <laughs> anyway, and because of that, occasionally the confidants will just bring shit up and fight me. Is it true Irish people don't say St. Paddy's? Well, it's technically not even St. Paddy's with a T. It's St. Paddy's with a D. And that is actually a racially derogatory term for Irish people. Paddy is like, yeah, like, that's where paddy wagon comes from as well. Um, so traditionally irish people don't mind it too much but it is like yeah saying saint patty is basically like uh, not great <laughs> not great it used to be like a racist term for irish people nowadays like a lot of people just do say saint patty patty is from patrick no i get that i get that and if people are doing it in the friendly way it's fine but there are also some people that say saint patty's and mean it in like a derogatory way of like yeah, happy St. Paddy's Day, you fucking drunks. <laughs> Getting drunk, that's your only national holiday. Low, low, low. That kind of thing. Nowadays, yeah, that's why I didn't like take any offense to it. I don't think anyone takes offense to it because nowadays a lot of people just like hear St. Paddy's and don't mind. Um, but yeah, Paddy used to be like a really bad thing. And Paddy Wagon is just another term for a police car. And they called them a paddy wagon because it was like a way of saying, yeah, Irish people always get drunk, get dragged away from police and get thrown in jails. It was like, oh, yeah, he's getting taken away by the paddy wagon. <laughs> so, yeah, shit like that. Um, didn't know the connotation. It's honestly, it's not a big thing nowadays. But just like, yeah, somebody said in chat, like, is it true Irish people don't say St. Paddy's? And I was like, I think a lot of Irish people, just because a lot of the older ones heard that as a derogatory thing rather than like uh, just a shortening thing. Nowadays, I very much feel it is just like a shortening thing. But yeah, especially when there was like British soldiers in Ireland, like, celebrating St. Patrick's Day was a bit of a problem. Um, and yeah, British soldiers in Ireland was not a fun time. The troubles were not a fun time. <laughs> you learn something new every day? Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, an, a, 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 well, I say pretty historical. It's before my time, but it's not even before like my parents' time. So it's not super long ago that shit was seriously bad. Whoa, why are we getting rained down on red uh, Akasupas? Uh, you may hire. Thank you for donating the full funds. Have you heard of the game Immortal Life? I have. I was actually kind of interested in playing that at one point. I don't know if it's any good since I saw it on a Steam sale last night, but it looks like your aesthetic. Yeah, it's a Shansha based um, game where you're basically running a town, but like full of immortals and you're trying to like cultivate your chi and become stronger and get your way up to like becoming an immortal um, while like managing the town and managing everything going on in it. So yeah, that was a game I was interested in playing at one point, specifically because I was thinking about like simulation kind of games, uh, especially after we played Civilization. Civilization V. I was looking into things like Spore and things. Um, we ended up playing at the time for the King, I think it was called, where you just like, uh, you play the King and the, the confidants were trying to like ruin my knighthood and stuff. <laughs> But yeah, I was looking into that. Immortal Life looked interesting. I may still play that someday. Um, but now I haven't really given it a chance, but it was one that I was interested in. I adore Immortal Life. Oh, good to hear. Civilization's OST. The music be always good. Okay. It really does get more interesting in Act 3, but also... Hoffson. <laughs> exactly. It's like, he may get more interesting in Act 3, but does he ever become Hoffson? <laughs> Because Host is a big boy. And Minthara. I'm not going to lie. I've been watching a lot of like other people's playthroughs of that game. Just because I find it so interesting. And I'm probably never going to continue on stream if nothing else. Um, but yeah. Minthara. Oh. Yeah. That's a fun character. <laughs> we didn't even get to interact with Minthara. We killed her immediately. Oh. And as soon as I saw her, I liked her. But it was just like... Because we had to be nice, guys. We had to be nice to the druids. Woo, woo, woo. I could fix her. Fuck fixing her. Destroy the night. Destroy the light world. Enjoy the underdark. Drow are awesome. <laughs> Camille, thank you for donating the food funds. Congrats on the first and open archive stream. It was fun and relaxing listening to you guys chat. 
I only joined the 30s club in my time zone today. Oh, happy birthday! In my mind, I call it unlocking the Folger Ovid achievement. Because <laughs> I started watching you when you were 30 plus. I'm gonna think of it, was I ever not 30 on Niji Sandra? Oh shit, I was. I started at 29. Fair enough. <laughs> but thank you, the Folger Ovid achievement. You're the one who makes me feel excited to start my 30s. I'm grateful to have met you in the sheep pile in the last two years of my 20s. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Hope you and every bar have a wonderful day. Aw. Full on reverse Uno. Thank you for all the sweet messages, Camille. That's so sweet of you. Happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful 30th decade. 30th decade makes it sound like you're turning 300. I hope you have a wonderful <laughs> third decade. 30 to 40. I hope it goes amazing. Honestly, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to feel about 40s, but I genuinely think 30 to 35 is like an amazing age. Honestly, yeah. Below 50 is great. Like, definitely I feel like at 50 is going to be the point where I stop being like, yeah, this is the best stage. I think up until that point, I'm just going to continuously be like, ha I love being 30. I love being 40. I love being 48. And then maybe, maybe by then I'll have changed my mind and be like, hey, I love being 50. But right now I'm like, yeah, 30s to 40s is the, yeah, it's golden. <laughs> 300 year old sheep, let's go. Uh, you never know. Some of the laws goes wild. If you get to be 300, you can meet Legatus. 20s is chaotic. I would have skipped to 30. Yeah, 20s, you're still finding yourself, essentially. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that either. Like, yeah, it's just, yeah. My 20s were not great. <laughs> well, especially the early 20s were not awesome. Um, but yeah, my 30s look like they're going to be incredible. I have been enjoying them extensively. Been great. <laughs> I'm in my early 20s and I hate it here. Give it time. That's a good thing. Although you can't go backwards, you could always go forwards. Keep enjoying all the new things you get. Crazy to think my parents had kids at these ages. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty amazed. I mean, I've seen a lot of the graphs that try to like take the piss out of like millennials and Gen Zers where it's like, oh, 30 year olds back in the 1980s and showing them like in suits and running the world and shit. And then like 30 year olds today and like sitting around playing video games or going to Taylor Swift concerts. And it's like, Oh, good. So we enjoy our lives more. It's not like we get a chance to... <laughs> no, I'm not going to go into anything else beyond that. But yeah, fuck you. It's fine. We get to enjoy our things. We're not locked into like task to a toxic masculinity or this bullshit where like you have to forget everything you found fun after you turn like 23. Screw that shit. <sighs> Bro, the economies were different. Yeah, that, that's the thing I'm not even getting into where it's just like, no, we're not starting that fight today. It's just, yeah, times are very different. <laughs> Everything's different. We're just trying to live our lives with what's left of this goddamn planet full of plastic. <laughs> with that said, <laughs> let me dive into Streamlabs. I haven't even started these yet. Marshmallow Kitty, thank you so much for donating the full funds. I was completely unfamiliar with Rune Factory before the stream. And for some reason from the name, I completely assumed it was going to be some kind of Terraria-esque mining type game. I was very surprised to find out what it actually is. That's honestly not too far from what it is. So thank you for donating the food funds. That's very sweet of you. That is actually a win. I would definitely say um, it's a mining and crafting game. It's just a different kind of one. We haven't started the mining because I haven't got a hammer yet. We haven't started the crafting because I don't have stone yet because I don't have a hammer yet. But we're working our way to there. So far, we're farming and we're killing shit. So it's all good. <laughs> we're all doomers. You're damn well right we are. God, I can't wait to get... Nah. I need more free time. <laughs> At least I didn't schedule myself too bad this week. I may even get to do some writing this week. I say that as if I don't have a lot of other shit to do that I have to do ASAP. Probably won't get some writing done this week, but soon, at the end of this month, April is the month, man. April and May, I'm just gonna like... Five days of streaming a week, two days of writing a week. At least one day of writing a week. Probably one day a week of like catching up on other shit I have to do. But still. Don't jinx yourself, Mr. Borg. I know. I know. <laughs> I really want to do more Legatus 505 ASAP before the Shepherd starts to come out. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -bam. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, I need to translate this one. It has a kanji in the name. At first, I was like, maybe the Hiragana spells out what the kanji is. But no, that's just different. Bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Wait. Oh. Oh. 
message is in Chinese, but the name is in Japanese. Yuki Usagi, Snow Rabbit. Oh my god, it's been a while, Yuki Usagi. How are you doing? Sorry, I didn't recognize that name. I recognized the Usagi part, but I did not recognize the Yuki. Okay, it's three days late. Thank you, Fuchan, for the White Day live broadcast. Although sometimes I couldn't understand it, but it was still very attractive and surprising. <laughs> Special thank you to Ah for the translation, which made the whole live broadcast experience more complete. Yeah, honestly, Ah, thank you so much for all the translation work you do. I saw you on Twitter, like, respond to the fact that I was, like, sorry about posting so much long, long text recently. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's very sweet of you to say it's okay and you enjoy doing it, but I am still sorry about how much work I've been giving you. And you've even been, like, translating the streams recently, so thank you so much. It's so sweet. Um, thank you for all the illustrators who provided materials. I pray that Fuchan will see it and hope that my words will not cause you discomfort. Oh no, I loved it. So many people drew like the scene of like um, uh, Legatus riding Archivist and it was fantastic. <laughs> I have been loving that fan art very much. And I still, next time I actually have like a full like three hours to myself, I still have a lot of uh, just art from back at the debut that I have to share. I've been like specifically saving some of my favorite art to like, ooh, share it and be able to respond to it properly at the right time. No one ships Fulgardis like Folger does? Hell yeah. <laughs> Love me some Fulgardis comments. Uh, comments? Content. Love me Fulgardis content. Love it when they throw in a video. Love it when they throw in some of the crazy Fooniverse characters. <laughs> I quite like the Alan Bink stuff as well. Self-love? Hell yeah. Which is interesting because like I didn't like Alan Bink much until like other people started taking control of Alan Bink essentially. <laughs> the original design where it was just like black hair and red eyes and a very simplistic look was good. I liked it. Meanwhile, everybody else then gave him white hair, made it more shaggy, made him more terrifying looking, gave him like the evil grin. Things that we now associate with Alan Bink and oh man. Then it was like, okay, this is a cannibal I can get behind or in front of. Either way works. God, he had black hair. Yeah, originally he was very simple looking. He wasn't supposed to be like a Folger Ovid foodie verse kind of character. It was going to be like a one off for Millie's dating stream. Uh, we created him together. Hell yeah. <laughs> I need more Ian Blanc cosplayers. I, I don't think there's been many Ian Blanc cosplayers. There's been like two or three Alan Bink cosplayers, which I'm still impressed about because that is a that is a like deep part of the lore, to be fair. Um... But yeah, it impressed me. <laughs> okay. Oh, Marshmallow Kitty again. Thank you for donating the full funds. I'm so happy that an open archive is finally here. This was so much fun. I'm glad some people dropped by to chat and it was fun checking out the game too. Riker is so pretty. He's definitely one of the best looking characters. Yeah. I like white hair as it is, but especially when it's like floofy, wavy. That is awesome to me. So Riker is a very good looking design. If they just aged him up by like 10 years, gave him some stubble as well. <laughs> I mean, at that point, I'm just begging for fucking Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> but at the same time, yes, Geralt of Rivia is peak fucking design, which is why I'm absolutely in love with that fan art, which drew me as Geralt. But yeah, white hair, golden eyes, big buff, elderly, well, not elderly, mature man with stubble or like a full beard even. Ah. Harold of Rivia is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> and Fluffy Wool. You like Fluffy Wool too? Yeah. I sell it for a high price. It's awesome. It's very easy to shear off of Confidants too. Like Rauru's hair? Rauru's is a bit too big. <laughs> Rauru's hair is kind of crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... Floofy Floof. He's, his hair looks more like wool than actual hair as well, to be fair. It's like Super Saiyan 3 style. It goes so far down his back. It was also like similar to like Link's hair after it came loose in Tears of the Kingdom. I, I, I've, a bit too much. A bit too big. A bit too bushy. <laughs> we did not consent to sharing. Where's our cut? I mean, thank you for donating to the food fun. <laughs> I mean, a lot of us are begging for effing Geralt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bad borg come on man at least i haven't like drawn a naked sheep asset yet <laughs> yet yet is good <laughs> rauru is so fluffy and comfy whoosh 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 he does look like he'd be very good to hug but i just imagine like imagine if you're like laying into laying in bed next to rauru the hair is fucking everywhere you can't escape it especially if he turns his back to you you're getting a mouthful of that hair every time you try to speak. It's just everywhere. 
Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Want to hide in his hair? That might be comfy. As long as he uses a good shampoo. It's a lot of hair. I'd imagine he takes a long time to wash his hair. Just braid the hair. Problem solved. Like Rapunzel? Entangled? I could actually look good for our. <laughs> Try Princess. Thank you for donating the food funds again. Thank you so much for always supporting the channel. It's so sweet of you. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Please rest well. And thank you so much for being here. And MJ and Lim again as well. Thank you so much. What's your food? And thank you for the stream. It was fun listening to you guys. And I'm looking forward to more Rune Factory streams. Take care and rest well. And as always, bye. You. Thank you for donating the food funds, MJ and Lim. That's so sweet of you. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day too. And please rest well and take it easy. I'm not sure if a braid could actually contain all that hair. Oh, it could. You can get a damn huge braid. If nothing else, I mean, there's enough hair on Rauru's head. You could honestly probably just fully... Instead of braiding it, you could probably straighten it all the fuck out. And then, like, knit yourself something. You could make, like, a full-on, like, carpet or blanket out of his hair. That just... A cloak. Give him a cloak that just hangs off of the back of his head. Built out of his hair. Look badass. Demon Creek Ganon appears with his cape. And the Rauru just flips out his hair and it's just like a giant white luminescent cape behind him as well. If Rapunzel's hair could be braided. Yeah, but that was braided by like three-year-olds. Three-year-olds have all of the energy in the world. <laughs> Why did I imagine they did a jumper? That would actually be adorable as well. If it's just like his hair comes like back down his head, back out of the back, but then curls around the front of his shoulders. Knit himself like a virgin, kid, virgin killing sweater. So it just like, it doesn't like go down the arms, but just down like the front and the back. Open sides as well. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Marshmallow Kitty again. Oh, thank you so much. By the way, I'm so hyped for the schedule. Night in the Woods and Finding Paradise. I'm so excited you don't understand. Night in the Woods is one of my favorite games and I've been so curious to see what Finding Paradise is like. I'm so hyped. Honestly, me too when it comes to Finding Paradise. Because I'm... I, I haven't been in the mood to dive into a game like that for a while, but yeah, Finding Paradise, I have no idea what it's about. I've never actually seen anybody spoil it at all. I see everybody always talk about To the Moon, but never Finding Paradise or Imposter... Company? Imposter something. Anyway, I'm very excited for those as well. Finding Paradise should be fun. We should cry our eyes out. We have a lot of games that I'm looking forward to over these next few weeks, because yeah, still want to do like Opus and Pamali as well. Both of those look good. Imposter Factory, thank you. What was I thinking? Oh, I was thinking I was combining it with a lobotomy company in my head for some reason. Night in the woods, let's go. I had a lot to say today. <laughs> well, thank you so much for donating to all the food funds multiple times, Marshmallow Kitty. It's so sweet of you. Hope you have a lovely evening and thank you so much for being here. As a mini prequel too, if you mean a bird story, I'm definitely not going to play that one because I've played that one before. I've played... Uh, well, uh, a bird story before and it was okay it's just like it's very simple like abstract kind of feeling so i don't think it adds much to the storyline some other people were telling me to play like the beach episodes the little bonus episodes um i don't know how long those are Hatoful? <laughs> if i was allowed to play how to full boyfriend yes i would be playing that in a fucking heartbeat we play the two short minisodes i i'm gonna have to look up how important they are it's short. Oh, okay. I mean, I wonder if they have that on how long to beat, actually. To the moon. Mini show? How long to beat? Oh, sweet. They do have them. Um, Holiday mini sewed is 30 minutes. And holiday mini sewed 2 is 30 minutes. Oh. That's way easier than I expected. <laughs> I didn't think both of them would just be an hour long. Okay. In which case... Maybe. <laughs> uh, do I need to do them before... Uh, 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 finding Paradise? Because I definitely don't plan on doing them before Finding Paradise. But I was trying to find something else to play on the same day as... Um, a Memoir Blue. Because the Memoir Blue is only an hour long. So I wanted to find something else that was like another hour or two hours long to combine with that. And while there are some of the games I could do with that, they don't have like the same vibe. I'm hoping to be able to play... F oh no, but they we can't play Flower, unfortunately. And the Pathless is too long. We'll see. 
I show you the company side, some context, and other characters. Interesting. That's super short as heck. Yeah. Almost as short as pineapple on pizza, which I had no idea was that short. Played Powerful Boyfriend for a game design class in, challenge, in college. Powerful Boyfriend is honestly just a really funny game. <laughs> Sometimes it takes itself like really seriously as well, which is always funny. Um, I played Hadful blah, 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 blah. The title is a bird story. I was half listening and got confused. Ah, I got ya. Yeah, a bird story is like a little mini thing between the games. But okay. We have gone through the Streamlabs and the Super Chats for today. We shall head off for today. Nice short stream for once. It's been five and a half hours. <laughs> it's, I thought it had been like three and a half hours. Uh, it's still a, a short stream for us. But no, that's a decent length stream. <laughs> With that said, <laughs> I'm not meaning the allegations. We are going to head out for the day. Thank you guys so much for joining me. T time flies when you're having fun. Am I right, guys? <laughs> um, yeah, new schedule. We are going to be back tomorrow for our first steps into Night in the Woods, which I I hope it'll be good because, yeah, it's um honestly... People have hyped up Night in the Woods so much for me. They've talked about the characters being amazing, the story be amazing, the uh, like general feeling, the like, atmosphere of the game, like being so autumn coded and so good and so rooted into that. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, Storyteller should be fun as well. That's the day after, but yeah. We've mostly got 10 a.m. Oh, we entirely have 10 a.m. streams this week. Sweet. <laughs> so we've entirely got 10 a.m. streams this week, which should be fun. Um, so yeah, feel free to check that out tomorrow morning. I'll be back then. And who knows, depending on if anybody has like any kind of group games in the evening. I know, I don't think Vivi is doing anything for her birthday that's group related. I think she's just doing a game thing, which is awesome. So I hope she has fun with that. But yeah, if anybody like invites me for any things in the evening, I will update on Twitter. And some point today, probably super late at night, I'm going to update my schedule onto YouTube as well. As long as nobody points out that I've made any mistakes in the schedule, <laughs> which happens sometimes. <laughs> Monthly member post soonish. Yeah, again, um, like I said, it's always on a day off of the week. We'll probably do it on Thursday. It'll either be Wednesday or Thursday. Is either of those days thematic? 20th and 21st? Nah, not really. So yeah, either Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to have our monthly membership post. Which will include our first ever slightly lewd wallpaper. <laughs> it's not overtly lewd. I want to make that very clear. But yeah, like a lot of the chest, a lot of the stomach and something. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy that. And obviously there's the normal versions as well. The artist has done like a fully clothed version, a slightly less clothed version, and then the version where like pretty much everything is unbuckled and like shown off. Safe around parents? Yeah, there's safe around parents versions and then there's the less safe ones. What do you mean something? Well, everything's unbuckled. So... You certainly can't see anything, but everything's unbuckled. And you can see that everything's unbuckled. But yeah, you can't see much else. And to change my desktop wallpaper. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's it's a fun time. <laughs> the artist did a really fucking good job. I really like the face that they've gone with on it as well. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Annie. Thank you for donating the Foo Funds. Um, did the comfy grabber grab that one? It did. Bum, ba, dum, ba. I scrolled way past it. Though. There we go. <laughs> Annie, thank you so much for donating the Foo Funds. Archie Foo Foo, take care. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Please rest well. Take it easy. Have a lovely evening. And thank you so much for being here. Mom, I can explain. You don't have to explain anything. Worst case scenario. I mean, I'm definitely going to have it on the membership post. But <laughs> worst case scenario, only download the safe one. Or download the safe one and the dirty one. <laughs> put the safe one as like your lock screen wallpaper. And then put the... It's not even dirty. It just shows more skin. It's only... Yeah, it's, it's only a bit lewd. It's not even like as lewd as a lot of the things that get posted on like Twitter without Cybussy. Um, but yeah, you just, yeah, use that one on the lock screen, use the other one on the main screen, and that way you can like, see, it's a totally normal image. He's fully clothed and he's glaring at me. And then you pop it open and it's like, oh, nope, there go the clothes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna head out for the day. Um, uh, 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 uh. After I do the membership, then I'll check if we can raid anybody, which hopefully we should be able to. It's the weekend. Weekends are normally very active. But thank you guys for all the support of an open archive. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I am sorry. I genuinely like I it was such a brain fart. Like I realized as soon as I started playing the game today, I was like, oh, I really should have gotten through like all the tutorials before I did this as the open Totsu thing. But other than that, I think this is a really good game for open Totsus. I had a lot of fun talking to Ike and Aya. It was great. Theo Chan dropped in for a little bit. Hopefully, yeah, more people will feel more comfortable to drop in in the future. And yeah, we can sometimes trade up and play other games and have fun doing other things. So yeah. Everybody, have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you so much just in general for like the last week. Is it really only? Yeah, wow. It's only been a week and a day since we've had Archivist. That's crazy to me. <laughs> anyway, as always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. It's a movie night tonight. I have time. <gasps> I can watch a movie. I wonder which movie I'm going to watch. Maybe that Bo is Afraid one. That sounded interesting. Could even manage to creep out Ike. It should be fun. <laughs> anyway. Jay, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Vivian, welcome back to the membership. You may hire. Noeen. Adoro Obscura. Lindsay. Muthwa. Jesus. Welcome. Oh, you didn't even get gifted. You joined the membership. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus, as always, for taking care of me. <laughs> Thank you for joining the membership. Jesus Christ. Amen. Noeen. Thank you for the gifted membership. <laughs> Veli, the comfy shrimp. Thank you so much for the five gifted membership. And Tsuki. Thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Your core, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. That's so sweet of you. Hope you enjoyed the stream today. I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for being here. Jules, thank you so much for the gifted. Jiraiya, thank you so much for the gifted. Noween, thank you so much for the gifted. And Yanez, thank you so much for the gifted. Oh, was this when you guys were trying to nail Jesus? That's so Jesus. Him just... <laughs> Not the nailing thing. That wasn't a dark joke. Oh, shit. That worked out really well as a dark joke, though. Um, no, but the joke I meant is that was so Jesus in that he managed to, like, help you guys by giving himself a membership rather than letting you guys spend money. <laughs> yeah, no, that was a funnier joke than I meant, but also a much darker joke than I meant. Um, Ronda PG, welcome to, back to the membership. Natsumeko, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. B Cream, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Lunasa, thank you so much for the gifted. Vivian, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Maltien, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. And Noween, thank you so much for the gifted. There were so many. Thank you guys so much. Claudines, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I hope you have a lovely evening. Please rest well and take it easy. <gasps> Kasumi, welcome back to the membership as well. Thanks for the great stream, no problem. Hope you have a wonderful evening and please rest well. Garcy. No, wait, Gracie. Sorry, Gracie. Son, welcome back to the membership. And thank you for the five gifted membership, son. Although it does confuse me. The name is Sun, but the avatar is a crescent moon. <laughs> thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Hopefully he'll forgive you. He is known to turn his other cheek, so I think I'm fine. But yeah, I'm, I might do some Hail Marys. Appeal to the mother. That's the best way to do it. Catherine Romase. Mr. Moonlight X, Aru, Outer Sea, Momiji, Kumo. The moon is based. Can you blame them? <laughs> Honestly, nah. Moon's awesome. <laughs> Kinako, welcome back to the membership. Lazy Egg Chickadee, No Clover, Kathy Chang, Shy, Isela Cleo, Victory M, welcome back to the membership. Nelay, Wes, Teu, Yuki, Ma Masaka. <laughs> I still love that name. <laughs> Honey, wanna be Bobby? Soft served, ibuprofen, Ying Azalis, Army Shaw. Wu Mian. Oh, this is the final one. So thank you so much to everybody for joining the membership. And for our final new member of the sheet pile, Wu Mian Akira. 
Thank you all so much for being here. Let's see if I can redirect you to anybody on the way out. Not no big deal. Okay, I can send you guys to Ver's working stream. I, I don't think he's talking too much. I think he's mainly just doing typing when he does these ones, but we'll see what happens. Um, it started at 3.15. Okay, so only half an hour ago. Awesome. We're getting in pretty early on into the stream. Sick. Okay. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, and welcome back to the membership, Hanatora. Thank you for the chill stream. No problem. Thank you guys for giving me an amazing stream. This was such a chill time. I'm glad you guys seem to be enjoying Rune Factory 5. I'm glad you guys seem to be enjoying it. Open Archive, even though it was just... For today, it was just Rune Factory 5. In the future, we may, uh, yeah, jump into other group games. See what everybody else wants to play when they head up. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Resting is hard work too, right? Yeah! <laughs> long as you're taking care of yourself that's all that matters <laughs> but thank you all for being here everybody have a lovely evening i'll be back tomorrow and the day after and then i'm taking two days off but yeah i didn't want to miss out monday and tuesday because i know that like a lot of people don't stream on mondays and tuesdays because like it's the beginning of the week and everybody just hasn't gotten their schedules ready so yeah we got ours ready early we'll be prepared <laughs> thank you for being here as always have a lovely evening do not be led astray my confidants and as always i will catch you guys next time i hope you enjoy their stream as well have a lovely evening thank you so much goodbye everybody bye bye